So if we talk about the young generation, a question for both uh, of you. Um, should we start teaching in school maybe with a topic like ecological awareness? To start teaching that in school? I mean, of course you could do that, but I think it would be better to, to include that aspect in all other subjects so that we show that everything is connected. I am not a bigot. I am a good global citizen and believe all the socially acceptable things that the good grown-ups at the big banks tell the TV screens to tell me to believe. Welcome to the planet, my dears. Wipe your feet. Come on in. No more need for coats in your mother's den. What do you see as the biggest challenges in, in conservation? Yeah, the, the growing human population. Because if where we are, there's nothing else. And do you have views about what should be done about that? Don't you guess? Then the doors burst open. The king and queen walk through. There's our precious daughter. If they did not know what love meant, who would? I am so happy that Prince Philip, friend of Jimmy Savile and father of philanthropist and champion of science Jeffrey Epstein's close friend Prince Andrew, and enlightened scientists like Bill Nye will come up with solutions to the hashtag climate crisis. I believe when the TV tells me that science says the earth is dying because of climate change, which is why I became a vegan activist, but I wish we knew how to stop it so poor Prince Philip and Greta can have their futures back. The growing population is a problem, but notice that the rate that the population is growing, human population is growing, is slowing down. It's, it's apparently raising the standard of living of women and girls, people like you. As women and girls get better educated, they have fewer kids, and the kids they do have have more resources, so they're better taken care of and they are more successful. And I think that was the biggest aha to Bill and me when we got into this work, is we asked ourselves, of course, the same hard-nosed question you'd ask, which is, if you get into this work and you start to save these children, will women just keep overpopulating the world? And thank goodness the converse is absolutely true, because they don't do that. In this year's annual letter, Melinda and I take the toughest questions we get asked and give our answers. One that's come up for a long time is, as we make the world healthier, is the population going to get so big that feeding everybody and maintaining the environment is going to be impossible? We find that in every country of the world, this is repeated. That population growth goes down as we improve health. That the faster we improve health, the faster family size goes down. And so we can feel great about saving those lives Having a child means that your net carbon output per year in tons is 59. From one child is 59. Going on a vegan diet removes 0.8. So if you have a child, that's literally making up for like 70 vegans. That's, that's exactly you know, if, right. if you go car free, if I lived in Manha if I live in Manhattan and I don't drive, I am the equivalent of three vegans. If I wash my clothes with cold water, if I hang them to dry and I recycle everything, that's the equivalent of one vegan diet. I am so glad my educated wife knew better than to have children. It gives me more time to become a better version of myself. If we did have kids, she wouldn't have this great job and I couldn't have gotten the vasectomy from Dr. Gregor that her corporate health insurance paid for. My wife's boyfriend suggested I take a break from playing my Nintendo Switch and doing hardcore vegan activism in YouTube comments a few times a week to meditate or exercise but even my spiritual leader, Sadhguru, is concerned about the hashtag climate crisis. Maybe he has a viable solution to this real and not made up crisis that is going to make everything bad happen if we don't do what the good grown-ups in government, banks, and the media tell us to do. Unless you reduce the human footprint on the planet, there is no solution for anything. Then they asked me a brilliant question, how do you reduce the human footprint? I said, you have to reduce the number of feet. That's the only way. <laughs> So, 
right now. It doesn't matter what others think, all of you who are here and those of you who are hanging out with me, we can take it upon ourselves that we will not push the human population. You can have a dog. He, he promoted this on television and, and he went around <laughs> all the agricultural shows and he had a... I mean, he was a one-man thing and it had a tremendous effect, it reduced it from three percent to one percent. But one of the things he said to the farmers, he said, look, you don't need all these children, it's ridiculous. You, you've got to feed them all, clothe them all, educate them all and, and look after their health. It's, so have a few and then if you want to go on entertaining yourself, have a vasectomy. Oh, yes. Well, how do I do that? Well, I'll organize it for you. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we, it, it, we'll, we'll have buses running into Bangkok on the king's birthday, very auspicious day. <laughs> and you will go into, and he took over a whole lot of school halls and that sort of thing. And he, and he, had, he showed me a photograph of all these beds and everything. And people went in and they, and I said, but they said, how did they take it? Well, he said, they didn't like being seen to have the operation. Oh, I said, really, how do you do that? I had visions of, you know, putting up. Oh, he said, it's quite simple, I blindfolded them. <laughs> Global Television. citizens breaking news. I am not a bigot. I am a good global citizen who takes the recommended daily dosage of vitamin TV to keep me in a state of anxiety, agitation, confusion and learned helplessness. I am not a science denier. I trust the experts. I do not deny science. The good grown-up experts from science on the TV interrupt this totally real and not made up hashtag climate crisis to bring you information from a more important and totally real death threat from a global pandemic virus. We must all listen to the experts from science and obey the TV and participate in this totally necessary and justified mandatory panic. Uh, spoiler alert, you're a scientist. What I will say of this virus, I think we're in the middle of a massive experiment worldwide and that and where is where's the guinea pigs uh, uh maybe the experiment is will people listen to scientists <laughs> in, in this case referring to medical professionals medical professionals, in this particular say, case say anthony fauci over uh, allergy and infectious disease for example yep. and um are you washing your hands and are you taking these precautions these are warnings offered by scientists. And for our own good. For our own good. And I'd be interesting if we all paid attention to what scientists say, obeying the recommendations of scientists. It's an interesting experiment we're in the middle of. Report by Johns Hopkins researchers and said that as many as 6,000 children a day could die over a six month period from preventable causes because of healthcare system disruptions caused by the coronavirus. Our next guest, uh, Greta Thunberg, recently gave $100,000 she had received for her climate change activism to UNICEF to help protect kids from the pandemic. She's also helping raise even more money for UNICEF. She recently revealed she believes she may have had coronavirus after returning home from working in Europe. She said her symptoms were very mild and her father, who had traveled with her, also got sick. We spoke to uh, Greta Thunberg earlier this afternoon. During this crisis, during any crisis, it is always the the most vulnerable people who are hit the hardest, and that is children. Um, because there's so much focus on coronavirus, there's a lot of kids around the world who may die of things that are very treatable, but because medical systems are overwhelmed, it's going to impact children uh, in ways that a lot of people don't really anticipate. Coronavirus! I have to say as well, I mean, Anderson and I have traveled around the world and seen the, the amazing work UNICEF has done in various places. I mean, it's a really is a, a terrific organization, Children's Emergency Fund. I am so, so scared. If the extra non-essential people don't all obey science and stop working, wear masks, obey social distancing guidelines from science, and stay home until the good grown-ups tell us it's safe again, everything bad will happen always and all the people will die. The models clearly show that this is necessary and we have no choice but to listen to the experts from science. I am not selfish. 
I am a good global citizen who does not hate children and grandma. I will listen to what this brave, grassroots 16-year-old human shield tells me to do. I am not a bigot. The science is settled. We must accept a new normal. My wife's boyfriend is an essential worker on the front lines. He is a university graduate and a department manager at Walmart and understands the science and the models. He assures me that this is the right thing for us non-essential people to do. I've seen you talk about online too is just how important it is to listen to experts and listen to science. And this is a time when, you know, I was not a very good science student. Um, when I was in school, um, but this is a time it seems that, you know, the global scientific community is so critically important and we're really seeing just how important it is to, to follow science. Yes, yes, exactly. And, and I hope that we can see now the, the scientific community are stepping up and they are, they are speaking up more than they have they done before because Obviously, this is a crisis that re requires the scientific community to speak up, and um, and I hope that people really. It it feels like uh, science is getting. Uh, the role of science is is changing now. It's becoming more. People are starting to realize that we are actually depending on science and that we need to listen to scientists and experts. And I I really hope that we that that stays and that that also. Um, is is for for other crises such as the climate crisis and the environmental crisis that we actually understand that we have to listen to to the scientists. If the world was vegan, there would be no COVID nineteen. Up until ten thousand years ago, there were no epidemic diseases. What changed? We domesticated animals. How's it going? I hope you're being safe out there and in good health. And certainly, I hope you're having enough toilet paper at home. Corona emerged due to the consumption of meat. What can I do in the future to prevent this? Leave the meat off your plate. Don't buy any animal products and don't consume anything that an animal died for or has been raped for or has been tortured for. You know what I'm saying? So in order to avoid a pandemic in the future, you might want to look into your current diet and, and see what consequences to have an animal on your plate might have on a global scale. And you're seeing it right now. You know, this is a small taste. American philosopher John Rawls devised a thought experiment called the Veil of Ignorance. He suggested that when trying to determine a moral course of action on an issue that affects multiple people, we should make that decision from a veil of ignorance in regarding which person we will be. For instance, when designing a social policy that affects two different classes of people, one can imagine that once this policy has been designed, one will be placed somewhere in this society with an equal chance of ending up in either of the two classes. The idea is that placing oneself in a veil of ignorance when designing societies or social policies for that matter should result in a more fair and just society where everyone's interests are considered equally. The British government has now put restrictions in place to slow the spread of this virus. People in the UK are only allowed to leave their homes for specific reasons. This includes shopping for necessities, medical care, and traveling to and from work if it's absolutely necessary. Shops selling non-essential goods have been closed, as well as gyms, libraries, places of worship, and gatherings of more than two people have been banned. It's extremely important that these measures are enforced and that we practice social distancing because potentially every one person can set in motion a chain of events that results in thousands of people being infected. Despite this, it seems that many people in the UK aren't taking this seriously. With photos emerging of packed tube stations and crowded parks, the mortality rates can be expected to increase over time if no countermeasures are put in place to flatten the curve with hospitals becoming overrun with cases. Sure, if you ignore these guidelines, you may not ever see the victims of your actions, but I can't see how that's morally relevant. If I buy cow's cheese, directly affecting the supply and demand and causing more cows to be tortured and killed, I'll never see my victim, but I'm still morally responsible for their suffering and death. This is especially the case when we consider that the government have now told us extensively 
the risks of leaving home and not practicing good hygiene. We have now been told countless times that more people will die if we do not take this seriously. One argument is that going outside is going to give you a large amount of pleasure and that you'll be missing out on something if you don't go outside. Perhaps as a social event you really want to go ahead or you're just bored of social distancing. This is essentially the same argument that non-vegans use when trying to justify killing animals. If we don't think that we can justify killing non-humans on the basis of pleasure, then surely we can't justify killing humans on the basis of pleasure. I mean, come on, what next? Perhaps you also think that because lions don't self-isolate, humans shouldn't either. I think we all know that the behavior of lions isn't an excuse for humans killing animals or humans. You may also think that Hitler self-isolated and he was a vegetarian. And while it's true that Hitler did self-isolate before his death, what Hitler did and didn't do is irrelevant to what we should do. To be fair though, if God wanted us to self-isolate, why would he give us legs? Another argument people may use is that the quicker we all get infected, the quicker we reach herd immunity. This of course is true if a virus can only infect you once, which we are not certain of when it comes to coronavirus. Wow, that is some of the most powerful science I've ever heard. I feel so helpless and afraid, but comforted that the science has a plan to fight this terrible real death threat from this pandemic. The essential workers at the hospitals need our help. We must stay home and implement a global lockdown until the good grown-up experts like philanthropist Jeffrey Epstein's close friend Bill Gates come up with a happy, safe, healthy injectable science medicine to make us immune and healthy. Luckily, this won't affect my vegan activism which is done anonymously in social media comments. I just wish all the non-essential people would listen to us empowered science-affirming activists and stay home and eat plant-based kibble so we can win the battle against the invisible enemy. Toxic masculinity and science denial seem to be at the root of this problem. It seems like both the hashtag climate crisis and this pandemic can be remedied with the same medicine. A global totalitarian technocratic social control grid of government enforced mandatory poverty, and a new normal that redefines old, outdated concepts like freedom, healthy diet, family, and masculinity. What do these four countries have in common? It's two things. Taiwan, New Zealand, Germany, Norway. All four of them reacted decisively to the coronavirus crisis. All four of them kept infection rates and death rates low, and all four of them have female leaders. This coronavirus crisis has shown clearly that we need competent, empathetic leadership, and that means more women in positions of power, and less of the macho stupidity and sociopathic behavior that we get from Bolsonaro in Brazil, Boris Johnson in the UK, or Trump here in the United States. These toxic masculinity exuding non-essential extra people who refuse to wear their healthy muscles, stay home and accept mandatory unemployment are infringing on my rights. These science denier irresponsible non-essential people are the same bigots who wouldn't listen to the good grown-up philanthropists who tried to help them sterilize themselves and give up their non-essential rights to travel, eat meat, have jobs, own land, and reproduce in order to save our poor sick mommy earth from all the toxic CO2 exhalations that the experts say the nasty extra people are off gassing. The, the, the act of killing the animal wasn't the masculine trait back then. It was the act of providing for, for, the, for your homes, right, was the masculine trait back in the day. Gender, gender roles change, right, but this is back in the day, right? The, act, the masculine act was to provide and to, to look after and to defend. But we've conflated that with the masculine thing being aggressive, but also killing animals. And so you, you translate that feeling to a 2019 context and you have people thinking, actually, well, actually to be manly means to eat meat, but actually to be manly doesn't mean to eat meat. It means to, to look after, right? And My favorite vegan activist can help re-educate these ignorant science denial lockdown foes. They just need some inspirational speeches from positive male role models to teach them to accept the new normal. Earthling Ed can help them understand why masculinity is not about eating meat, or having unnecessary things like children, jobs, guns, testosterone, real animal foods, and rights. 
If only more men would be like Earthling Ed we would not have viruses because people would not eat animals, or toxic masculinity because men would be comfortable with their lack of masculinity and redefinition of it. Getting women to find you attractive and it's, it's really grotesque when you watch these adverts and you simplify what's happening in these adverts and what's being reinforced to people, but it really, really works. Like advertising is so powerful. So now you have this idea of that and then as a vegan, I get accused of being a soy boy, right? And now I am a soy boy because I love soy. Like, that's fine. I drink soy milk, I eat tofu. But the idea is being a soy boy, you're what, feminizing yourself, right? Because there's phytoestrogens and soy products, which there is. This brave, stunning activist has me literally shaking with self-empowered, redefined masculinity and an unstoppable drive to stay home and stop this virus and the hashtag climate crisis by continuing my hero's journey of vegan activism in YouTube comments and on my anonymous Instagram profile. Real masculinity is not about having or providing for a family and children, producing and eating real animal foods, or having unnecessary testosterone and muscle and rights. Real masculinity is about using female emotional manipulation techniques to make people behave like you want them to. Thank you, Earthling Ed. I stand with you and you're not toxically masculine man bun and proudly declare. I am a soy boy because I love soy, like that's fine, I drink soy milk, I eat tofu. But the idea is being a soy boy, you're what, feminizing yourself, right? Because there's phytoestrogens in soy products, which there is. Like, um, you know, this idea that we have to reinforce these tropes of what it means to be a man. And so almost eating meat is a stamp of that dominance and authority and is a reminder of, 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 of kind of like more archaic and transgressive masculine traits and roles, which is interesting. Hello, all you transgressive bigots. All you transgressive Bigots. What's going on, guys? What's going on? Bigots. All you bigots. Oh, look at okay showing up in the chat. Some I, I don't see any of the of the blue uh, of the blue names. Sometimes when I don't see my mods, I get a little worried that we might just get slammed. Sometimes those bot things show up. Get those bots where it'll be like the same comment over and over again from different accounts. You seen that? On streams, it's happened like two or three times here. The bot attacks. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Your featured image is ridiculous. Jessica likes the featured image. The face on the far left. <laughs> yeah. Hello, 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 all you bigots. All of you bigots. I hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's doing well. How's everybody's day been? How's everyone's day been? Let's see. We'll come over here, give you a little glimpse at our day from just the back end here on the uh, on the Instagram. Oops. There we go. Here we go. Just another day. It was hot today. Super hot. Um, what'd you have for breakfast? What'd you eat? I had hot coffee. Hot oh, coffee, had, as had... opposed to cold coffee. She sometimes does yes. cold coffee, but um, she had hot I had coffee. Three burgers and two eggs. Burgers and eggs. I think I just had some milk and then a couple bites of cheese this morning. Um, and then after that, in the afternoon, I had I had the slow cooked meat mm -hmm. and broth, which was really good. The smoke, slow cooked meat and broth was really awesome. Too. I start talking and I warm up. Oh, cold cool. beforehand. Start talking, time to take that hat off, sure. release that beautiful bald <laughs> dome. Um, my energy. Yeah. Say. It's because I'm high vibration today, guys. Exactly. I hope everybody's vibrating really high right now. Okay, um, all the mods in the chat, make sure to keep any low vibration comments. Just keep them out. You know, if you see low vibration stuff, just go ahead and just, just ban them. No low vibration comments, only high vibe. High vibration. How do you tell it's high vibration? Well, if I like it, it's high vibration. If it makes me feel good, man, it's high vibration. Um, but yeah, t typical day here, milk the cows, we went and picked up another truckload of a bunch of vegetation, these corn husks or whatever you call that, and ground them up for the cows, the kids came down with me, they didn't come down yesterday, and I'm so lonely, 
It was so lonely when they didn't come down yesterday. Okay, I guess, I guess that's it. A little review of our day. Came home, did some work, and here we are. Here we are. It is, what, what day is it? Tuesday night. Mm-hmm. It's Tuesday night. And the bigots are out in full force. Let me just fix the, the camera here. It's a little bit too, there's all these weird colors. You got the saturation like all the way down. Maybe I'm just a tomato face today from all that sunshine. Tomato face today. All right. Anyways, I got my I got my usual my usual uniform today. The <laughs> same dang shirt I've been wearing every night this week. It's been a little bit cold. It's been a little bit cold, so I get that in long sleeves. Get them long sleeves on. But all right. Um, let's get to it. Let's get to it. We got Bart K coming on in the second hour. Bart K coming on in about 45 minutes. We'll do open lines today with Bart K as well. Anybody who wants to call in, feel free to call in. Friends or foes, you're all welcome to call in. Let's go like eh. Friendlies and foes, both welcome for open lines tonight. Tonight, tonight, tonight. So we... You know, I'm not going to scroll through Instagram. There's always some fun stuff going, going on on Instagram, including the, the comments. I would love I love reading the Instagram comments on my page. And there's been some hilarious ones lately. But I don't think we're going to go for that right now because we just have so much other stuff to hit on. We've got a lot of important news. Uh, Dr. Greta Thunberg has, has, uh, has really given us all a gift. You know, this, this raising of ecological awareness is, is so inspiring. I mean, the, the planet is clearly dying, right? Mother Earth dying, almost dead. Like last gasping breaths of air and just begging us to pay higher taxes in order to fix it. Begging us to pay $13 a gallon for fuel um, so that she can just breathe, right? And that's all she asks of us. Right? All she asks of us is to implement a global totalitarian Bolshevik-style revolution, a technocratic Bolshevism, if bankrolled by international that finance. And gaslighted, then speak out. Come and speak to come, someone. Come Let's and speak. Within the vegan community. If you feel like you've been gaslighted, come out, you coomers. Come. Come. Come to Michelle Lowe. She will not gaslight you. She won't gaslight you. Tommy Kelly went on, uh, went on Michelle Lowe. Tommy Kelly's coming on soon. That's the last time I saw Michelle Lowe. I watched about 20 minutes of her chatting with Tommy Kelly. And uh, we'll talk about that on a future episode. <laughs> but uh, that, we got a super chat. We might as well read that one right now. Uh, Badner Calabrese donated five bucks says yes the Bolshevik revolutionary tactics are being replicated today just slightly modified for our current surroundings absolutely hardly modified at all though really hardly modified whatsoever and shoot the funding's even coming from the same place too so yeah but we got we got Sir David Attenborough one of the uh, the good grown ups from the British elite establishment the chosen mouthpiece of the eugenics movement in the 21st century, Sir David Attenborough. Sir David Attenborough. Remember, he's been knighted. He is knighted. Sir David Attenborough, knighted by the Queen, just like Sir Jimmy Savile. All right, so um, these, these good grown-ups are hitting the web for hardcore activism for the planet. Wildlife broadcaster, 94 years old. He's 94. Met a series of famous faces on a video call in a clip released by Netflix ahead of the airing of David Attenborough, A Life on Our Planet. Uh, what is this, some sort of a biopic about David Attenborough, the great philanthropist David Attenborough, um, whose brother is a lord. Lord, or was a lord. I think his brother passed away. His brother was Lord Attenborough. Right, these, this, these are British aristocrats. <laughs> these are the top shelf British elite And they just care about you and the planet, right? David was quizzed by a series of inquisitive celebs, including footballer and activist Marcus Rashford. He's a footballer and an activist, okay? 
and actresses Judy Dench and Maisie Williams on the call, with each of them asking the expert one question. The expert. So remember, this is an expert. The Daily Mail, who receives massive funding from some of these experts and philanthropists, they say that he is an expert. He's an expert. So uh, where is it? We've got the video here. Sir David Attenborough with the celebs. Let's see what David Attenborough has to say. Hello, Sir David. It's David Beckham here. Firstly, many congratulations on the new film. You have done so much to open all our eyes to the issues facing our planet. Your programs make us care about the natural world and what we need to do to protect it. You have traveled the globe many times over learning about nature. If you had one message for our children about the future of our world, what would it be? Wow, that what a what a hard hitting zinger, off banger, off the cuff question. D didn't even I mean, this is just spitting freestyle. David Beckham ad libbing the hard hitting questions. How do you how do you even respond to that? How do you even respond to such a difficult question like that? Let's see how gracefully, um, sir. Sir, David Attenborough can, uh, can handle this. To look after the wild world with which we are a part. To care for the animals that you see. Don't waste things. Don't waste food. Don't waste electricity. Don't waste things of food and electricity on poor people. Please sterilize your sexual object partners and, and make sure to give as many happy, healthy medicine injections to everybody you know. Also, teach your children, teach your children to trust the BBC, where we helped to cover up for Jimmy Savile for several decades. Also, I would like to remind you all, please listen to Greta and go out and vote. Your vote truly counts. Your vote really counts. And if you would just go and vote for one of the two parties that we've presented you with, if you vote for your favorite party, all of the problems in the world will be fixed. Look after the natural world. It's the most precious thing we have. And we are a part of it. Also, stop, stop looking into Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell. These are just people who may have uh, been mis misunderstood. Don't, don't look into the connections of, of uh, Ghislaine Maxwell and her father. Please, stop, stop asking questions. Stop asking questions other than the questions that the philanthropists and the experts and celebrities on the television tell you that it is okay to ask. This is what I ask of you young children. Hi, Sir David. It's Billy here. I wanted to ask you, how do you cope with your personal feelings about all the animals that are losing their lives and or going extinct? How do you actually deal with that as a human being? I don't know. I, I don't understand. I don't know how. Oh, oh, let's let's pretend that we're that I'm doing this live with you. Oh. Oh, I, I'm so pained. I'm so pained by all the animals dying. I just wish the humans would die instead. Uh, please, please listen to my friends, the royal family. Prince Charles and Prince Philip will help you to understand how we must reduce the human population in order to stop the climate crisis. If you, if you believe that you oh. are being gaslighted, then speak oh. out. Come and speak to someone. Come, come and make speak. Friends with please, the vegan please make sure, please make sure to give your children electronic devices, which require cobalt mined by child slaves in Africa, because those are the extra people which we don't need. Make sure the British children all take their happy, healthy medicine shots. Maybe a double dose for some of them. And let them be raised by their electronic devices. Uh, keep them indoors. Don't let them ever go out into nature. Because we plan on setting aside a bare minimum 
of 30% of the planet where you filthy, disgusting humans will never touch it so you can be kept in your smart city coffin apartments, getting your cummies on OnlyFans, twerking with the essential twerkers of the hospitals on TikTok, and consuming plant-based kibble fortified with nutrients like sodium fluoride. You feel desperate. Um, I think the most uh, astonishing sight in the natural world that I've ever seen, um, and one I shall never forget. Now this, this old, this old fucking toad. I gotta say, it's it, this old fucking toad has brainwashed more children into thinking that they're pieces of shit who need to be exterminated than almost anybody else in the world. This guy is such a little lackey for these eugenicists. I, I, I gotta say. It does not pain me to see this spiteful old, old toe's demonic, twisted face aging almost to the point of meeting his maker. Sir David Attenborough. Sir David Attenborough from the BBC. Sir David Attenborough from the BBC who covered up for Jimmy Savile for how freaking long. Sir David Attenborough, you will meet your maker one day, sir. You're 94. Not too long from now, you'll be gone from this planet. You've been teaching children to hate themselves and despise themselves for how long? And how many children do you have? And have you taught your children not to, be, not to reproduce? Have you taught your children that they're extra people? I bet not. I bet you taught your children just what your pappy taught you, that you're special. Now you're a part of the elite. That your germplasm is superior. That you have superior elite British genetics. Right? That you built the greatest empire in the world. That you built the modern world. Oh, we, we are responsible. We, as British people, are responsible for the enlightenment. We are science. I wonder what his kids are doing. I don't know. And, uh, David Attenborough, 94 years old. Billy, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I can handle much more of David Attenborough. I'm getting pissed. Look at this old toad. Look at this disgusting old billionaire toad. Best buddies with Prince Philip. The first time I dived on a coral reef, you go into a new world, and it's a world of extraordinary beauty and complexity and wonder. So they, they, they show you this... Footage of the natural world, this beautiful footage of the natural world, of God's beautiful creation, and then bastardize it and brainwash you with this anti-human ideology. The natural world. And I went to almost exactly the same places where I first saw that on the Barrier Reef. And instead of that pageant of life, it was like a cemetery. It was stark white. The planet is dying. It had died. Oh, it had been killed. It's dying. It killed. If only the children would die, and the planet would be okay. That was a terrible sight, and a terrible vision of what we are doing to this ourselves. This is what these people I'm see. Much you bigger and stronger than you. You ice me. Who does time? All right, Sir David Attenborough. Sir David Attenborough. Sir Greta Thunberg donates 7-Eleven. Thank you, Sir Greta Thunberg. I appreciate that. Sideshow Bob donated $5. Donated $5. Says, check this out, dude. Pulls a, what is this article? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. A partially fictional look at what America has become and will become. What is this? Headline 20, okay, so we got, we got like kind of an onion style article here, headline 2029. 20, Pedophiles <laughs> uh, rally at Capitol. Yeah, I mean, well, we all know this is coming. We all know that P, we all know they've been trying to tack that P onto the end there. And they even did for a while, but they said it's for plus. It's for plus. The P is just for plus. <laughs> Jared Bear donates 1126, says, can we all agree there is something wrong with the Anglos. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, you look at the history 
of the world since the Enlightenment, there's something absolutely wrong with the Anglos. And guess what that is? The demonic philosophy, right, that they push on the world through the lodges of Freemasonry and the Scottish Rite, through the Royal Society, through this Darwinian mythos, this Darwinian moral philosophy, right, that that is what is wrong with the Anglos. It is their worldview and their philosophy. Completely psychopathic. Systematically, psychopathically exterminating with cold Machiavellian precision. On the land and in the air. Hello, Sir David. I'm Trish. I am Asa. And I'm Kido. And we're the cast of Sex Education on Netflix. We feel a disconnect from nature is one of the reasons. <laughs> the cast of. Well, you got. Wow, look how diverse the cast is. Asa, Trish, and Kedar. <laughs> the sex education cast. I don't, I've never heard of this show, but let me. <laughs> one can only guess if it's on Netflix. These are, these are like children, too. That guy on the left looks like he's about 16. What the hell is this? Kedar. And where the cast and, and of course, sex education ties in with this moral landscape. <laughs> These people like David, La uh, Dave, Sir, excuse me, Sir David Edinburgh, are, are painting for us. This moral landscape where reproductive health services, aka infanticide, is normalized. I'm not having any difficulty. Again, I'm bigger than you. I'm stronger than you. This moral landscape where they've hypersexualized children. And here they are again. Oh, the, the, the sex education class on Netflix. Talking to Sir David Attenborough here on Netflix. How are we going to save the planet? Right, but this... Uh... <laughs> I don't know. Let, we'll just keep going. I don't have to stop. Every time <laughs> freaking Netflix shows its hand to point this out. I think it should be abundantly obvious to so many people out there by now what exactly Netflix has been doing. And uh, the whole cuties thing, the whole cuties thing should wake a lot of people up. And did. A lot of people were upset about that. I've never heard about this, this show, though, Sex Education. Um, I guess they probably have freaking uh, Elmo, PP and the Poo Poo Elmo teaching the chick. Hi, kids! This is Elmo! I'm here on Netflix to teach you sex education on how to save planet. Oh, kids, did you hear that the planet is dying? Oh, Elmo's so sad about planet dying. Elmo's friend, Uncle Jimmy Savile, tell Elmo that there's so many different kinds of love that we can have. And if we all would just stop putting our pee-pee in ponies and put the pee-pee in on the poopoos, then we can stop the climate crisis. Oh, that makes Elmo happy that there's so many kinds of love. Sex education on Netflix. We feel a disconnect from nature is one of the reasons the planet is the way that it is today. So we would like to know how you think people can reconnect on a budget. It is amazing how much the natural world can come into our cities. Most of our cities, thank goodness, have parks of one kind or another. And there are many parts of the country that are wild parts. Uh, they've been put aside as, as little corners in which nature can flourish. And yeah, nature can flourish. Right? This idea that nature can't flourish without human beings. Human beings who are here and can actually transform landscapes in incredibly beneficial ways. Right? We are managers of forests. We are managers of grasslands. And this technocratic mind state, this British aristocratic mind state of leveraging slave labor, essentially, through international capital, right, using ideologies weaponized against cultures, right, weaponized ideologies of capitalism and communism, both funded through the same big banking mechanisms, right, this British aristocracy that you speak on behalf of is the force that has destroyed the natural world more than anything else in the world, okay? It's, it's your mind state. It's your industrial model that's all about crushing humanity and dominating humanity, animalistic dominance, but in a cunning Machiavellian way, using finance, 
using culture degeneration, flooding cultures with drugs like you did in the opium wars, when you destroyed China, China wouldn't be what it is today if it weren't for the British Empire meddling there in the Opium Wars, using the same script that was run over 150 years later in Afghanistan. They're controlling the vices, controlling the drug trade, flooding nations with pornography. You just look what the Sassoon family did in the Opium Wars. Read about what the Sassoon family did in the Opium Wars, and you'll understand a lot about the British aristocracy. If you watched the last stream, we also talked about the nature of the Bolshevik Revolution, the sexual liberation. Liberation, right? Sexual liberation, which is truly enslavement to the passions. Sassoon, the hair people? No, it's not Vidal Sassoon. The Sassoon family, the, uh, the, the patriarch of the Sassoon family was actually born in Baghdad. And these were international drug traders, the opium trade, banking family, married into... Married into the, uh, the, the famous, infamous Red Shield family. Like the, the Sassoon family is not, not very well known, but played a very vital role in the Opium Wars and in the bringing about of the conditions that then allowed for the Industrial Revolution. You know, this is in the 1830s through the 1850s. And then after that, you had this massive amount of capital that was being drawn in through the British Empire, through the enslavement of areas, regions in the East, Right, they were growing the opium in India, shipping it over to China illegally, and going to war over free trade. Right? Oh, it's free trade. The, 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 the Chinese actually ran a drug war. Right? They started a war on drugs to keep the opium out because it was destroying the fabric of their society. But then the British aristocracy sent the military in two different wars to go there and open up China for freedom and free trade. And they used the same rhetoric that you see now they, we got to give freedom. We need freedom. The free market, the sacred right of the free market is going to save the planet. And this is, these are the people, these are the families, this is the big money that is behind David Attenborough. That's behind the World Economic Forum, the Great Reset. And if, you, if we don't understand history, if we don't understand where this stuff came from and where it's going, how are we going to do anything about it? And so it is under, it's, it's important to understand these things. It's also important to understand that this guy, this creepy old toad, <laughs> this creepy old toad uh, does not care about the children that you're allowing to watch these shows that, uh, that he's brainwashing them with. Right? This is weaponized propaganda. This is worldview warfare against you, against humanity. Right? To make you view yourself as this pathetic little thing that shouldn't even touch nature. You're this gross little abomination to the natural world. And if you get, all, get away from it, then nature can heal. So they're gonna be setting aside all these, part, all these parts of the planet to heal. We can heal it while hurting you into these smart city coffin apartments where everything you do is tracked, traced, and controlled, where you're treated like slave cattle mutants and actually turned into slave cattle mutants. <laughs> turned into slave cattle mutants through the industrial slop that you're fed and through the human experiments that are gonna be run on you, that are already being run on you, that have been run on you for hundreds of years from people like this. The people who fund both sides of wars. Hey dude, mm. good night. Oh. Do you know who that is? Mm. That's a creepy old toad called David Attenborough. Mm. Sir David Attenborough, excuse me, sorry Dave. Good night dude. We'll see you in the morning. You're so, you're half asleep already. <laughs> Good night, guy. Nice pants, by the way. <laughs> All right. Okay, we got some super chats. What's up, guys? We got some supporters. Some supporters up in the stream. Thank you guys for the support. We get none of that support from Miss, uh, Miss uh, Wojcicki at YouTube. This channel, you know, if, if you search the specific, you can search the name of the exact video, the exact video name, some of my videos, and put them in quotations, and they still don't show up in the YouTube search. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the term shadow ban gets kicked around quite a bit, but uh, go ahead and do some experiments 
and just see if you think this channel might be shadow banned. Uh, these all get demonetized. And the only way to support, the best way to support, rather, is through the Streamlabs. I just threw a link up there. If you guys got any questions or comments, hit me up via the Streamlabs. You can send that support over right there through the Streamlabs. And the, uh, let's see, the YouTube Super Chats are cool, but Streamlabs is better because they don't take a big fat cut. And that money ain't going to Wojcicki and Google and Alphabet. So we got... Here we go. We got a super chat over here from uh, Eng Gontivor. Eng Gontivor, what's up, Eng Gontivor? Donates five bucks. Says, what are the most important books that you've read that influenced your life? Well, that's a really good question. I mean, I, I'm kind of a voracious reader. I'm, I love reading. Ever since I was a little baby boy, I learned how to read. I, I loved it. Um, I mean, I could start naming... See, Cat in the Hat, just incredible. Uh, Hop on Pop. Right? I mean, like the moral philosophy that that Seuss put forth there. It's like, they, he didn't want to get hopped on, but they kept hopping on him over and over again. They wouldn't stop. They didn't stop hopping on him. So they, the, that really liked that tragedy. Uh, and, 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 the, uh, and the comedy of Hop on Pop. Uh, huge fan of uh, Brown Bear, Brown Bear. What do you see? You know, just the, 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 lyri the, the lyricism of that book and the flow of it and the flow of ideas, right? Like brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a red bird looking at me, right? Like what, is, what does that mean? He's looking at you? You know, what the, the eyes, the eyes, they're the, the windows to the soul. So the red bird is looking through the windows to the soul at the brown bear. But does the brown bear feel, right? So these deeper questions that are raised in some of these books um, let's see, there's also, no, <laughs> I'm just kidding, the Berenstein Bears, <laughs> um, no, I mean, I'll, I'll throw a few out there, um, well, first of all, get, get an Orthodox study Bible, right, I mean, as far as, you know, books, and it's not just a book, right, so, Bible, obviously, uh, Father Seraphim Rose, Orthodoxy and the Religion of the Future, really good one. Uh, Father Seraphim Rose, Genesis, Creation, and Early Man. Let's see. Those are a couple good ones. Books that influenced my life. I mean, recently I would say Father Seraphim Rose. Um, there's a, another book called Wounded by Love. That's pretty amazing. Um, yeah, those are a few. And has gone to four. That's a great question. Really, really good question. Let's see. All right, thanks for the support, dude. You guys, support is appreciated. And if you guys like these streams, keep supporting. We'll keep doing the streams. Keep doing it if you keep supporting it, guys. All right, so David Adver, I guess I guess we're kind of just, I don't know. I think I'm done with you. We got this one more clip from Attenborough, good old Attenborough. He's disgusted with humanity. David Attenborough, good. Orange man, bad. White man. Well, they're getting on bigger and stronger than you, so I won't worry too much. I'm worried, Hedge. Why do you have to remind me of that? Why? Carnivore Alliance donates five dollars thirty-five cents. Says new short rap backing track out for you to record something over, and I rapped over it too. Anyone is welcome, even vegans, to return fire. If you watch, we can watch the original first before my rap. Otherwise, it won't make sense. <laughs> We're not doing that right now. We'll, we're, we're not getting we're not getting sidetracked with that right now. Thank you. Maybe at the end or uh, or on the next stream. I'll make sure to watch it though. But if we got to watch like five, you got to make we got to do homework before we watch your rap track. What's up with that? Why don't you combine them? Combine them into one. So um, also is that like are you trying to you trying to challenge me to a rap battle or what, dude? You trying to rap battle me? What's the deal? All right, David Attenborough is disgusted with humanity. Let's see what he's got to say. As I walk through Chernobyl, you can see the wild has started to reclaim the land. I have painted you an image of the world in the next 50 years. We huh? can still save this planet. He's painted us an image of the world in the next 50 years, and it's Chernobyl. It's in abandoned places, and humans are just gone. <laughs> Desolate, abandoned places. But this is beautiful to him, right? Death and destruction in the past... The blood of humanity watering the fields, watering the soil, and regenerating the earth. This is what this guy wants. This is sick. 
Right, there you go. Play. Uh oh. Rut row. Come back, David Attenborough. David's frozen. Sir David Attenborough, return to us, sir. Return to us, David Attenborough. There you go. Cut. David. You know, honestly, I feel like a broken record. Oh, they're not going to listen. Oh, this is so real. Hot my head. No idea that this would be released. Oh, then. Oh, 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 they're never going to listen. They just don't care. They just don't care like I care. Oh. David. You know, honestly, I feel like a broken record. They're not, I mean, not going to listen. You know, you know if, I, if I said what I wanted to say, it would, it would be something more like, I'd, I'd say like, just get your shit together. Like, I mean, there's so many things you could do. For what? Stop watching me and getting all emotional. Oh, stop watching me and getting all emotional. Look, listen to this put on right here. Oh, you have no idea this was going to be released. Oh, it's so candid. Oh, he just cares. He just cares. Thank you. Going to do something and then forget about it really uh, 40 seconds after the credits. It's do something. Do anything. Stop telling everyone that you're vegan and then secretly honking down a bratwurst on a flight to the Maldives. Oh, 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 hot mic, go fully vegan. Don't stop being a plant based poser. Then eat your kibble, you little bitch. Eat your kibble, you subhuman scum. Accept your Beyond Burgers. Enjoy your Bill Gates fake titty milk. Suckle on the pap of mammon. I mean, wh why is a teenager the only one who seems remotely bothered? Like if this girl can lead the fight against extinction while doing her A-levels, and the least you could do is stop lathering yourself up in palm oil. <laughs> this footage of these dudes greasing themselves up. <laughs> Four guys fully shaved. Four hairless young dudes, jacked young dudes, greasing themselves up. With palm. Stop getting together in groups of four homosexual men and lathering yourself with palm oil and rolling around each other and writhing like... Muscular worms. <laughs> what is this? We can all stop recycling because of government. Well, you use soy oil instead. Your palm oil is destroying the planet. Please, purchase Monsanto's soy oil instead. They'll try to say the vegan ideology, you've been brainwashed, come over here. That's brainwashing. <laughs> that is the actual brainwashing. Thank you, Bert Purcell. Bert Purcell donated five bucks. Says God bless you and your family. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. We feel we feel blessed to be in the position we're in. Um, you know, we cashed in most of our white privilege coupons, and um, basically just we don't even have to, we just we just get everything we need for free. Basically, like I'm um, shit. Was I not supposed to talk about the white privilege coupons? Was I not supposed to talk about that? <laughs> um, young Boomer up in the chat. Young Boomer. What's up? Um, all right. Thank, I appreciate the support, you guys. Keep them. If you guys want to keep these streams going, keep them super chats coming. Keep them super chats coming. We got, uh, we got Bart K coming on in about 15 minutes. Arch Bigot Bart K is going to jump on. And uh, we'll open up the lines later. I thought that would be a fun... That'd be a fun little idea. So we got open lines tonight. There's a link in, let me make sure the link's there. There you go. The call in link's in the description. Open lines, call in, friend or foe. You wanna chat? You wanna tell me why I'm wrong about something? You wanna tell me why I'm right about something? All good? Of course, keep it YouTube friendly. Um, so yeah, Bart K coming on, 15 minutes. You guys like these streams? Support the dang streams with the stream labs. There's a link in the, uh, in the chat right now. Thank you, okay. Anyway, oh and my god, no, stop electing this f 
fucking piece of crap, critted piece of shit, dog, bollocks, dick shit. There's not more class under my fingernails. Honestly, Jesus Christ. Wait. <laughs> Wait. What? <laughs> is this, is this a, is this parody? That's his, that has, that is his voice. That is his voice. Nobody can. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't know that this was coming. I hadn't seen this. I just liked the title. What the hell? All right. Let's back it up. I mean, what, why is a team stop lathering yourself up in palm oil? And we can all stop recycling because the government just shipped it to Indonesian landfill anyway. No. Oh my God. No, stop electing this f***ing piece of crap, critted piece of shit, dog, bollocks, dick shit. There's not more class under my fingernails. Honestly, Jesus Christ. I cannot stress that enough, people. Oh, and this guy, a mother f Okay, okay, this is, this is someone doing a bit. <laughs> this is someone doing a bit. That's not even his voice. <laughs> yeah, that's a bad. <laughs> All right. Very fitting. <laughs> Hans, Hans, I'm trying to make a serious point. Can you just bring it down a little bit? Thank you. That's a pretty, it's a decent, it is a decent Admiral voice. That was good. I don't necessarily agree with the dreadlocks. At least these people are trying. <laughs> Honestly, humanity, can you stop popping out brats for five seconds? Not only are your kids ruining the planet, they're also very annoying. <laughs> Tonight's not your night, mate. Earth is full. Seriously, I've I've just watched Avengers. And I'm <laughs> starting to think Thanos, the big purple, yeah, big purple one. Like initially, I was thinking I was not really on, but now I'm sorry. You know what? You might have the right idea. I mean, do you know how many years it took to build this planet? Like five billion. And you've just scoffed it in under a century. Like some greedy, mad parasite. Like, I, I don't come to your dinner party that you've worked on all afternoon and just scoop up your carefully arranged dauphinois potatoes and just shove them down the toilet, do I? No. I sit there and I listen <laughs> to your boring anecdotes about the equity of your house and I smile through gritted teeth. And if you drive one of these, you're a twat. Not even related to the environment. You're just the worst. And Instagram influencers, my goodness. Stop <laughs> trembling precious ecosystems so you can feed your narcissism and sell Herbalife to your equally vacuous followers. <laughs> Ooh, sponsored by Manscaped. If you want that baby smooth chin look, look no further than the surface of the Amazon rainforest. Sorry, not sorry. This is Dave signing out. Because to be honest with you, I've had it up to here with you. <laughs> I, for the first minute there, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even pay attention. I was like, oh, okay, I just assume it's, this is Attenborough. Well, well done, dude. Charlie Hopkinson, did you make that? Did you do the voice? That was freaking good, man. Oh, he sells, he does voiceovers and stuff too. He sells voiceover. You know what? That was solid. That was solid. That was a solid Attenborough. For like the first minute, I, I was pretty convinced that that was David. Fantastic. I'll give him that a like. Charlie Hopkinson. Is it just like a one-hit wonder? Is this dude super funny all the time? That was good. That was good. I'm going to have to remember this guy. I'll, I'll revisit Charlie. <laughs> that, was, that was quite the base to take there, Charlie. I appreciate that. So, Yes, so David Attenborough. David Attenborough leads call for world to invest $500 billion a year to protect nature. What do you think that means to protect nature? And, of course our old friends at the World Economic Forum. The World Economic Forum who have taken this opportunity to bring about the Great Reset. The Great Reset. The Great Reset 
is an overhaul of every aspect of our life into a global technocracy. Right? They use terms like the circular economy. They use terms like carbon credits. What the Great Reset is, is the Fourth Industrial Revolution. Excuse me. What they call the Fourth Industrial Revolution. Fourth Industrial Revolution tech is surveillance tech. It's just next level surveillance tech. Centralized, globally, so that all resources can be tracked, quantified, and scientifically doled out to you. This is the rationing economy. The Great Reset is a global Bolshevik revolution bankrolled by the Fortune 100, by inter <clears throat> international finance, and pushed by guys like this. So, David Attenborough, The Great Reset. You want to understand where this is going. You want to see where this is going. Read the book. COVID-19, The Great Reset by Klaus Schwab and Thierry Malheureux. We'll talk more about this one later. Um, so, avoiding a climate lockdown. Wait, whoa, 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 what? The experts say that we must avoid a climate lockdown now. Climate lockdown? <laughs> what, what is the climate lockdown? As COVID-19 spread earlier this year, governments introduced lockdowns in order to prevent public health emergency from <laughs> spinning out of control. So that's why they implemented a lockdown. It's just to, to save you, right? To keep it from getting out of control. They, they gave the lockdown. Um, mm, mm -hmm. So under a climate lockdown... Governments would limit private vehicle use, ban consumption of red meat, and impose extreme energy-saving measures, while fossil fuel companies would have to stop drilling. To avoid such a scenario, we must overhaul our economic structures and do capitalism differently. Hmm. Many people think the climate crisis is being distinct from the health and economic crises caused by the pandemic, but the three crises and their solutions are interconnected. What have I been telling you? They're going to pivot all this COVID crisis bullshit will pivot directly into climate crisis and economic crisis. Guess what these are all caused by? The same people. These same economic entities that want to consolidate all this power now to save you are the ones who brought this about, brought the lockdowns about, promoted the lockdowns, ran and war-gamed the lockdowns in Event 201 back in October of 2019, right before this all happened, exactly according to their script. Hmm. 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 So, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Attenborough. We appreciate that. Um, the climate lockdown. The inevitable climate lockdown. That's what they're going towards. So, um, anyways, we'll talk more about some of this stuff later on. Uh, I'm gonna let's see. We got we got a few more minutes here. Bart K is about to jump in. You guys ready for Bart K? Y'all ready for Bart K? Bart K is gonna come on. We're gonna have a chat. Bart K, the nutrition science watchdog. We're gonna talk about all this science, all right? We just got we just got nailed in the face with so much science. The science is settled, guys. The science is settled. I didn't even get to. I have so many other things pulled up here, and that Bart K just jumped, just jumped into the waiting room. He just jumped in the waiting room. Let's pull in Bart K right now. We'll pull in Bart K from the waiting room, and Bart K, can you hear me? I can. Hello, Tristan. Yes. Hello, Bart K. How are you today, sir? I I am quite quite toxic, quite masculine, maliciously existent, and, and entirely unnecessary, Tristan. <laughs> well, well, I, I'm sure we could figure out a solution to that. We could figure out many final <laughs> solutions to that if we if we work hard enough. And the World Economic Forum seems to be working on a final solution for all that as well. So. Um, Oh, I'm so pleased, so pleased, yes. yes. Good, good. The, here we go, let me, uh, I gotta adjust the video here. Bar K, Nutrition Science Watch Dog. How you doing, man? I'm doing great, man. How you doing, boys and girls? How you doing, Tristan? Promise we'll try oh. to befriend you. Oh, anecdotes! We've got some anecdotes coming in. You've been brainwashed. Come over here. You got you a history. Evidence, of course, just anecdotes. That's all. the actual 
brainwashing. Now, Barquet, I know you have a little history with, uh, with this lovely woman that we see up on the screen right here, this high-level academic activist, uh, Michelle Lowe. And, dude, ethical, you know, she is too, very ethical. Quite ethical, quite ethical. You know, it's oh, funny, yes. when I first, when I first like, encountered you and Michelle Lowe's thing, I actually was sympathetic to Michelle Lowe because I saw you were getting kind of upset with her, right? And I, I just remembered, like, damn, like, Bart K, this chick's making Bart K a little bit unhinged. And uh, I don't know, th things have obviously changed since this was maybe almost two years ago, before Michelle Lowe came on my stream. Um, but since then, I have gotten to know Michelle Lowe a little bit more, and I think I understand why. You may have been upset with her back then. Uh, I've, seen some, I've seen some games being played by these vegans, man, and she, she seems to be kind of an arch... And uh, an arch uh, gamer in this whole soy op vegan yeah. community. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I play the I play the odd game of my own, of course, Tristan. Um, actually, it's it's a bit of an act. The whole flying off the handle thing. It actually it's it's for clicks and notoriety. It it, it works its ass off. It actually all comes from this guy. He actually whispers in my ear and tells me, "This is what I need to say and stuff." Yeah. And I just keep telling him, "No, no, we couldn't possibly." That's perfectly to reasonable. Clean up the mess. That's perfectly reasonable, and that's yeah. Mm. I think. Uh, I think we can all relate to um, to psychotic delusions and uh, and speaking t to stuffed animals. <laughs> and, and if I if I repeated everything Yellow Ted said, we'd be kicked off the air, Tristan. Frankly, well, it's, please. It's no, we we talked about this before. You sent me some emails that you did, you know, from from the, that persona, and, and I, I don't like the way that Ted talked to me. Um, and uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know yeah. if you remember. You may have been blacked out mm. during that during that yeah, episode. Yeah, he was talking about he was talking about his pee pee and your poo poo, wasn't he? <laughs> it, was, it was very and it was it was graphic. We'll say graphic mm. to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, anecdotes. We love our anecdotes here, don't we? We've it's never just, got any actual evidence to talk about. Just anecdotes. It's just anecdote. It's just an anecdote. So, man, <laughs> all this science that we've been hearing about from the vegans lately. Um, Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, we haven't been hearing any of that from the vegans lately. We've been hearing scientism from the vegans lately. And I think, I think Barquet does a pretty dang good job at breaking down what the difference between scientism and the scientific method really are. And uh, there are a lot of fallacies you see in these, um, in these debates with vegans. But Barquet, what do you think when you see comments or when some vegan tells you, well, the, the science is clear. A vegan diet is perfect and suitable for all stages of life. For all people at all stages of life, the science says that. Do you deny the science? Like what? What? What comes to mind? How does it make you feel when you when you hear a statement like that? Yeah. It sure makes my blood boil. Um, it it used to make my blood boil, but these days, Tristan, I just kind of I take the approach where I go, okay, that's great. Multiple studies say such and such is what you just said. Bring them here. Bring them to the table. Let's see these multiple studies that say. X, Y, and Z, okay? Um, Ornish has proven that uh, heart disease can be cured with a plant-based diet. Great, bring me that paper. Hmm. And then what I usually do is I will go through that paper, we will break it down and go through the scientific method and say, here's where they break the rule number one, here's rule number two broken, here's rule number three being broken under here, here's rule number four, Validity zero, veracity zero, um, science is not canon. Mm. It's, it's not the indisputable word of God. It is something that is written by a man or a woman, and it's written according to an agenda. And it, it's, it's easy to, to twist and to bastardize a message to say whatever you want, mm. All you have to do is, is tell people what they want to hear and brainwash them against actually looking at the paper themselves or actually talking to someone like myself who can read this paper and say, oh, look, there's your problem. Um, I'll, I'll give you an example. There was one paper that was, it's, it's part of the Seventh-day Adventist suite of, of soyology. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is a paper that claims that the lowest death rate was experienced by the people on the vegan diet, uh, followed by the vegetarians, followed by the ones that ate some fish. Mm -hmm. And then you read the paper and you find out that's um, adjusted results, is what they call it. They call it adjustment. 
How did they adjust those results? What was the adjustment that was made? Well, what they did is they took the numbers that were actually collected, the actual data, mm -hmm. and they put that data into the rubbish bin over here, and they made up some other shit that suited their ideology. But what, is what they did. But the experts wouldn't do that. The experts of the science, they can't do no, that. No, no, the good, the good adults at Williams wouldn't do that, would they, Tristan? No, no, because there's, cause there's obviously there's so many checks and balances, right? You have, you have peer review, right? You have the sacred process exactly. of peer review, and if okay. it's peer review, it's true. Here's how I deal with that one. Every time a scientist, uh, a scientist says to me, oh, peer review is, is flawless and, and you're an absolute charlatan and they call me every name under the sun and all of this and blah, 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 and I'm a pseudoscientist and a science denier. And I say, well, I have peer reviewed over 1,000 papers in my academic career. What do you think about peer review now? <laughs> well, it, it, is, has the peer reviewed process itself been peer reviewed? That's another question. Uh, well, no. Hmm. So peer review is not peer reviewed, and oh, okay, All right. <laughs> so it yeah. kind of does fall apart, right there, well, isn't it? What do you think about this? Um, and I've referenced this. I think it was in the Lancet or one of these scientific journals where it was revealed that up to like fifty percent of the published scientific research out there is falsified, and. Mm and fraudulent was that was that 30 percent or 50 percent i forget um where that said do you know what i'm referring yeah, to there it's upwards upwards of half mm -hmm. of everything that has ever been peer-reviewed in science across all disciplines cannot be replicated hmm. and therefore as such has no value because the idea of doing science is so that you can predict what will happen in the future based on what we've observed in the past yeah so if we take your observations from the past and we follow your method to the letter that is written down in your paper, and we recollect that data again, and it doesn't match your data, then we've got a problem, haven't we? Well, but what if the experts put their, their stamp of approval on it? And they, like, you know, if Dr. Greta Thunberg says, no, this is good science, like I, I reviewed yes, it. Yes, yes, we, we must respect the experts like Greta, yeah. who um, had to be re reminded by the Chinese government not so long ago that uh, bamboo is in fact a grass, <laughs> uh, not a tree, and and quite uh, quite renewable, and and so therefore chopsticks chopsticks were not such a problem actually. Mm. Uh, perhaps if she actually went back and finished her A grade school level, um, sort of to backfill that doctorate that she now holds, of course, uh, she might have known that. But uh, unfortunately, she she missed that class that day because she was busy. Um, training around the world, telling all of us to stop being so malicious, existing so maliciously, and mm -hmm. and, uh, and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, so, mm. I, so you're a science denier, obviously. Uh... Well, what I'm actually, I, I guess what I would really call myself is a science denier from the standpoint of having been involved in the science myself for 20 yep. years and seen every dirty, underhanded, dishonest trick that's played by scientists on a day-by-day, week-by-week basis for the entire time until I pulled out of that, uh, that industry just in time, uh, as it were, yeah, just before yeah. the money shot, um, and, and, and therefore you know, wasn't contributing to, to the population of scientists' problem. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I've, I've seen every, every single trick. The thing is, yeah. what people don't understand, if you are working as a scientist in science, there's a thing called publish or perish. And what that means is exactly what it says, is that your tenure, your continued employment at that university depends entirely on your credibility, and your credibility entirely depends not on what you know at all, but on what you can get published, true or otherwise. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And so I wanted to ask you a little bit about a little bit of your experience in academia, about your experience in... Mm. Uh, in the sciences, you know, uh, publishing research, working with other researchers. Mm. You, you mentioned right now you've seen a lot of dirty tricks. Uh, I think oh, the yeah. general public has the idea that, you know, science, once somebody, once you don that white lab coat, right, and you put that stethoscope on your neck, like Dr. Greger when he makes his videos, even though he's never seen a patient, mm -hmm. when you put that white yeah. lab coat on, that this is some sort of like a sacred vestment, and, uh, you know, the gods of Mount Olympus have, uh, you know, have touched you and blessed you with absolute uh, neutrality, right? Total neutrality. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, no faulty assumptions, no faulty presuppositions. That it's just pure, unadulterated, fact-collecting, data-harvesting honesty, right? Like th there's this that's idea true. that that's that that's what a scientist does and is. Yeah. And I mean, obviously, anybody who spent time in academia uh, realizes that's not exactly the case. What was it? Uh, what was it in your experience, like with academia and the scientific world, that left you a little bit? Um, uh, I don't know how you'd say it, dis disillusioned, uh, a little bit upset, a little bit skeptical about the um, the institution that we see that people call the science. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, f first of all, I would absolutely trust Dr. Gregor when he says if you don't eat your fruit and vegetables, you might die. Yes. Die, Tristan, he said. Uh, I would trust that absolutely, of course, yeah. about as far as I can throw He wears the lab coat when he says it, so, I mean, that mm, pretty much means it's true. You could die! Well, you're not wearing a lab <laughs> coat when you say it, so it doesn't scare me as much as when... when there you go, it. of course. Okay, the, the thing that probably finally settled it for me and made me realise that I could not possibly ethically, emotionally continue in that industry and continue to play their game their way was for about 20 years, I had been saying to students, look, here's your textbook, here's what the textbook says, here's why the textbook says it, here's the history behind how that so-called knowledge has developed, uh, now here's everything that's wrong with that. Here is some actual science for you. Here are where the, the rules of science are being broken by these people who have this ideological um, bent. For those that don't know, my particular academic background is in physiology, health You science, want to find out? Find nutrition. out. Find um, out. You'll come at me and you'll find out how strong I am eating a plant-based diet. Whew. Okay? You'll find out. It's pretty intimidating. Sorry about that. I see. Mm. Did you did you urinate? Mm. Did you just urinate yourself? Um, I, I think I upset that man. If you want to change your pants, if you want to if you want to go change your pants, you can. No, right? no, that no, that's 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 fine. Okay, he, I just he, I um, leaked a little bit. I've seen what? that guy. I've seen that guy before. Not that guy, actual that guy, but I've seen people who play the role of that guy before, and <laughs> and the one that barks the loudest is the one who actually probably can't uh, can't uh, true. come up with the goods. That is true. Uh, on the day, <laughs> but anywho. Um, so I'd been sort of saying to students, you know, if you want to be a scientist, if you want to know what's wrong with scientists and, and how science is done by scientists, then you need to understand this additional information. This is why what the book says is no good. I was always discouraged from doing that. I was always kind of frowned upon by my colleagues. Oh, no, you must just teach the book. You mustn't undermine the book. The book, the book, they say. Um, Although they always, always used to say to me, well, when you've got a suite of publications yourself that do definitely undermine the book, some science of your own and your own publications, then perhaps uh, that would be all right. Uh, and then when I did have a suite of said publications and I had done some science and I had proven the book to be wrong, I said, and here are some publications by some clown called Kay uh, that actually underpin what I've been saying for 20 years. Here's the actual research. Um, and I can promise you mine was actually, you know, valid. I, I didn't cheat or use underhand tactics. Mm. Um, promise, because, uh, you know... Um, um, I you, believe you if you um, were wearing the white lab coat yeah, when you said it, but, I mean, exactly, I'll take, it, I'll take um, your word for it because... Still, yeah, still not okay for me to say to students, this is the real science. Not, yeah. not okay at all to, um, to break the rules of the academic thought police. Um, of course, legally, I was allowed to do it because there's a thing called academic freedom, which is a law that guarantees the right of academics to hold and espouse any opinion they should see fit, popular or otherwise. Uh, but then that comes into conflict with an institutional document called the curriculum document that says you must teach what's in the book. So uh, a legal problem. Hmm. And I just thought at the end of all of us, 20 years into an academic career that was killing me slowly and distressfully, I thought to myself, Fuck this for a game of soldiers. I'm going to go and be a YouTube star because YouTube's great, I thought. Oh, God. More fool me. <laughs> uh, dear, oh, dear. Dear, oh, dear. Mm. You, me, you know that Genesis song, More Fool Me? Or that, it, was, it was a minor song on one of the, What was that album? Which album is that from? Was that No Jacket Required? No, it was a, it was a Peter Gabriel Genesis. It was like a... Uh, 
I think it's one of the earlier um, albums. It's like a transition song, but no, no jacket required was a Phil Collins album anyway. Okay, okay. Phil, yeah, Co- there's a couple the 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 Phil Collins the first I think the first or second Phil Collins Genesis album called Duke. I really yeah. like that one. That's a good one. Okay. Duke's Travels. Good we'll, have song. To, we'll have to go and have a look at that. That's a good one. Mm. Listen to that track, Duke's Travels. The last song in that album is good. Um, yeah. So yeah, so, man. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's upside, kind of dissonant. I get to say whatever I want to. Kind of. And and YouTube YouTube really really pour love and praise upon me for so doing. <laughs> And they yeah, and, and, they, and they give you totally me. real statistics on you know what's going on with your channel, and uh, I, I don't know if you've oh, experienced absolutely. this, but I can search my video title, the exact title, and uh, it doesn't mm-hmm. it doesn't show up. I can sh- search it in quotations, yeah. and it doesn't yeah. show up. But right, so four weeks ago, I had fourteen point two k subscribers apparently which as it turns out is not even a count it's an ai generated estimate of the number of people subscribed to my channel yes and i did a little experiment with my people which i did promise i would report back to on so here it is here are the results i asked all my people to set up second and or third youtube accounts on on new um on new email accounts so they're not connected together and resub all these new accounts uh, and send me lots of messages uh, to tell me that they'd done that and etc 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 and I just I thought I'd just sit there and watch my subs count just go up and up yeah. and up I thought anyway I asked everybody to email me when they'd done that and I got um, a goodly number of hundreds of people that went, yep, absolutely, here's my second account, I have subbed to your channel, I have done this and that and the other thing. Anyway, as of today, I have 14.2k subscribers, Tristan. Well, listen, Bart, that's just because, I, mean, I don't know if you understand this, this is a concept that I was recently introduced to by a vegan YouTuber. Your view count and your sub count, that's how you determine how true and good your content is. Okay, so... Mm. So I was recently informed that my channel also sucks and that a, a vegan who has a smaller sub count has more engagement. And he, he, he told me, and this was amazing science, he said, if I had as many subs as you, I would have, I think he said like 500 million views or something like that. So this is, uh, yeah, yeah the, your, the truth is determined by how many views and how many subs you have. Um, I guess according to, to some people, but I'm obviously joking. But yeah, no, it's it's a joke, man. That I I can't tell you how many people. I mean, the these are real people, like actual people, not bot accounts, have told me that they've been unsubbed for my channel multiple times. And these are people who like super chat all the time. So and these are people who, when you super chat like through YouTube, YouTube takes a thirty percent cut. When you super chat through Streamlabs, Streamlabs takes nothing. So basically, I think there's a there's a small processing fee or something. They're making margins in Streamlabs, and so the best way to support us from Streamlabs for you guys watching right now, if you enjoy this, uh, please support via the Streamlabs link. But um, the, these people who were donating via the um, super chats, YouTube unsubscribes them. So YouTube doesn't even care about the money. And this is simply about social engineering. This is what people don't realize. The and I've been saying this for years. The algorithms that run this. You're not getting real view counts. You're not getting real sub counts. None of this is true. This is all social engineering. They want to tell people what is popular, what you can watch. I get MSNBC, Fox News recommended to me all day. I never click on their shit. Every once in a while, I watch a hot take from like Tucker every now and then because he's the only one who's half, uh, not even halfway. He's he's, he's actually pretty, uh, pretty straightforward most of the time. But other than that, why are you giving me MSNBC, CNN recommended videos all the time? I don't want that shit. Right? Why are you hiding my channel? We could, from we the- could, you know, in New Zealand here, we could have saved a lot of money in the last in the last couple of weeks. We've been having our general elections to decide who our next prime minister is, is going to be and our next government's going to be and stuff. Instead of actually, here's here's my here's my card, uh, the one that they give you to say here's here's come and have your vote and choose. Wow, this look at that the, little. What is that like autistic cartoon guy at the bottom? That's so weird. Oh, he's 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 the little he's the little come and have your vote guy. This is you. That, you're just a little. Zero. Look at you. You're a he little. Says, hey, you're a dehumanized cartoon. You're not a real person. Come vote, you little retard child. Yay! And don't don't forget to put the pee pee in the poo poo. Yes, sir. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah. 
So, I mean, we could have not bothered with the actual voting and the actual counting of people's actual votes. We could have just made an, an AI-generated estimate on, on how many people want this person to be yes. in the government, yes. how many people want that. We've also had uh, two referendum questions uh, posed to us this year. Uh -huh. We've been asked whether or not in New Zealand it should be legal to smoke weed mm -hmm. uh, and, and also whether it should be legal to kill yourself. How lovely, um, how lovely. So the, the, they'll allow you to, to, to make decisions on uh, can you get stoned, can you kill yourself, but, but no, mm -hmm. if, if you want to go and open your business or if you, you want to go outside and live your life, you don't have that option, right? It seems like New Zealand and Australia are crazy with the lockdown stuff now. Um, oh, look, in the, in the, original, the original situation, March time, we, we sat in our houses for seven weeks. And, and it was the like curve. military the, the curve is martial flat. law around the place. Yeah, flattened the curve though. It's good. It's flattening curves. Curves are flattened. Oh, in New Zealand, the death toll from from that thing is is twenty three. I think it is. And the, not thousand. Yeah, twenty three individual Mi people. Twenty three million. No, no, twenty three. Huh? Wait, wait. Two tens and three extra. Oh. One score plus three. Yeah, I, I'm just, I am, dude, it's crazy to see. But that's I, because we stayed in our houses, Tristan. That's why we have to so see, Right, here. that's the narrative, right? Well, it clearly worked. It clearly worked. Because if you yeah, looked at the is. science, right, check it out. Here's, I'm going to show you some real science. Here's what would have happened. I'm going to make some science for you right now. This is the curve. Yep. No lock down. Good. All right, so the science clearly shows that if you didn't lock down. Uh, look, studies show, yes. Absolutely. Look, do you see that curve? It's like almost straight up. Oh, wait, let me, let me fix something. Make it a little bit more scientific. Okay. Here. Sorry. I just make it a little bit more scientific there. So without. Uh, there you go. Yes. No lockdown. That's the curve. But with lockdown, here's the curve. Look, that's what we did. That was definitely going to happen. The science said, but look, that's all that happened because we listened to the grown-ups. Exactly. That's science, right? Mm. That's how we do science yeah. now. We just we just throw up graphs on the screen and say that the experts say that that's true, and that's science. Yeah. Um, man, I am I'm kind of dumbfounded. I feel like so the things I was talking about a couple years ago that to a lot of people they're like, yeah, no, that's that's not that's definitely not happening. Like no one's trying to no one's trying to like take away. Your uh, your ability to move freely in the world. Nobody's gonna nobody's gonna you know create a global technocratic dictatorship that's based on eugenics and constantly testing you and taking tissue samples and blood samples from everybody. That's insane talk. That's crazy person talk. And now here it is. And now it's happening. But then but people still say, oh no no that's just crazy talk. Like, this is just temporary. Don't worry. Like this is just we need to do this. This is science. Um, this it's all good. You're right, Yellow Ted. He's on to us. <laughs> uh, I'm part of the science, you see. I'm, I'm, I've been involved, so I, I know the <sighs> secret handshake. I know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Someone mm -hmm. says, <laughs> yeah. Jordan says, pretty sure Primal Edge Health just stole that graph from ABC's Good Morning America. Yeah, that's yeah. What I did. I plagiarized <laughs> yeah. it. I, I took that from the newest BBC nature documentary about the dangers of, uh, of having children and exhalation. Mm. Yeah. So the take-home message, boys and girls, is be responsible. Stay away from each other. Um, don't don't go out and maliciously earn any money at all. Whatsoever. <laughs> don't do that. Malicious um, business. <laughs> yeah. Stop, ah. stop maliciously existing. Well, that'll be okay once we've passed the law that says it's okay for you to decide for yourself whether you exist or not. Oh, and then and then you'll uh, get the uh, yeah. Once once the once euthanasia is is normalized. Um, you already have a media that's constantly telling everybody it, you're being gaslit by media constantly into this almost suicidal catatonic state, right? Oh, you're so bad for the planet. The future is so bleak mm -hmm. for you. There's no jobs in the future for you. They're telling you everything's going to be robots and we just got to get rid of you and everything's going to be miserable if you don't just kill yourself. They're going to give you incentives to kill yourself. And, and, and here you go. And I've been talking about this for years too. And this is coming. This Neuralink type stuff where they tell you, oh, you're going to like upload your brain to the freaking cloud. We're going to upload your consciousness, man. They're going to start trying to tell you that, oh, look, if you just come over here, we're going to do this MRI scan. And if you take a couple of these 
quizzes. We already have all your data from your whole life. So we've created a digital you and you can actually live in this digital world. They're going to sell people. They're going to really, they really are going to do this. They want to sell you on the idea of uploading your consciousness into a digital interface, into this transhumanist, weird matrix like reality. They're going to tell you that that's how you're going to live forever while you're just killing yourself. But it's okay because you're going to live in Google Cloud. But your body will be dead. Maybe that's why they've. Maybe that's why they've also feathered in the the pot referendum at the same time. Mm -hmm. Oh, exactly. Make All the drugs. And compliant. Absolutely. No, the 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 drug, the flooding countries with drugs, flooding nations with drugs, is a part of breaking down the psyche. And these, a lot of these drugs that are being promoted now, especially things like MDMA, psilocybin, um, LSD, DMT. These have been historically used in other cultures, right? So the Aztecs. I got this book. Somewhere, I don't want to pull it. They, they read some quotes from this book the other day about the ritual nature of uh, the mushroom, as Terence McKenna used to call it. And they used to use the mushroom for human sacrifice rituals where they would let the blood from the human beings and they would have giant orgies where they would consume the flesh of their enemies and they would give them the mushroom to make them compliant and they would also consume the mushroom themselves the nobility while they are lopping off heads and eating their hearts on pyramids so this the, these drugs have been used for that historically to make people complacent and compliant and um this is, this is absolutely coming a lot of people thought this was crazy talking about this a few years ago when it was connected to the climate crisis. But now with all this great reset stuff, my, uh, my tinfoil hat seems to, uh, to be spread into other normies who once thought that this is just crazy talk. So, um, yeah, that's, that's common. So, of course, being, being a good global citizen and a responsible adult uh, and a scientist as I am, Tristan, I, of course, voted yes on both, on both proposals. Yes, absolutely. Give us lots of drugs and give us all sorts of choices that are usually taken care of by a higher power, that'll be fine, I said. Absolutely, of course. Yeah. Let me come over here. I'm, I got a... Uh, and, yeah. and of course, of course, I also voted left wing, hard left, uh, because I really support the welfare state and I really think yeah. that people maliciously going out there to earn a living and look after themselves and their families, just not acceptable behaviour at all. Um, we need people behooven to our to our state enforced soil control. Yeah. So that's how I voted um, <laughs> in, in our election this week. So I've done my part for the world, frankly. And and now I'm I'm just going to throw myself prostate on the floor in front of Dr. Greta and and beg her for <laughs> for acceptance of, of my behaviour. Well, I, I you know I'll, I'll go ahead and take the next level of virtue signaling for you. I uh, I when I vote I just write in Greta's name on everything. For every for every single position, I write in Greta Thunberg. Greta Thunberg. I only vote Greta. Um, I got a couple super chats here to read though. We got just for kicks donated twenty. Says, does holding my breath help save the climate? Um, well, Bart's not wearing his white lab coat right now. But can you go ahead and answer this on behalf of the science? Yes, absolutely. Of course, you must hold your breath. Um, the best way to do this is to submerse your head entirely underwater twice and and come up once, and and that will sort that'll sort that one out. Never mind the fact that you'll then be deceased, and then you will have to break down and release all the carbon stored in your body or any of that other kind of science and stuff. Um, what we'll do is we'll just stick purely and entirely to the ideologically driven. Um, mass hysteria that that we all should stop being so malicious about existing and things yes i'd support that entirely i would just yeah. say yes holding your breath can help but also if you wear your mask all the always inside outside and double mask that'll make sure you're getting less oxygen and retaining and breathing and rebreathing more of your carbon dioxide and that'll help you get um to uh cleanse mm. the earth of you quicker mm. so go ahead and do that and yeah. um that'll help yeah. Joshua Schmidt. Study donate. show that's the best advice I've heard all day. That's cool. But do you have a do you have like a peer review study that can tell that can prove that? <clears throat> that all, all you have to do is say study show, trust in those are the rules. Okay. Um, right. You don't have to actually provide any evidence for any ridiculous claim study that you want to make. Show. Um, so long as the people who you're making the claim to want to hear that and it's in within their echo chamber, mm. perfectly safe, I think you'll find. We got Joshua Schmidt donated four ninety nine through Super Chat. It says, science is pretty gay, to be honest. Um, 
you're gonna have to show me you're gonna have to show me some sort of like a peer review uh, or do you have any studies to back that up that's what I'll say Joshua Schmidt I don't really I don't see any studies can you give me some citations for that thank you um, good, good. So we got somebody just entered the waiting room here. We have, we have our first call in. Remember, you guys, we're doing call ins. We got there are a lot of vegans out there who seem to uh, be quite upset with Mr. K here. He's another member of the mm. uh, the Bald Man Bad Crew. Uh, they're also yeah. very upset with me. But for some reason, Bart, they never seem to call in when I open up the lines. They never seem mm. to call in. But I don't know. We'll, let's see who, who we got here on it, the line. It's because, Tristan, they're all so busy. They're all listening to herself and Chawla with her anecdotes and her and her uh, her ethicalness and stuff. <laughs> anecdotes? Come, come make friends with the vegan community if you've been <laughs> gaslighted. <laughs> if you've been gaslighted <laughs> by Bart K. Come, talk to the vegan community. All right, we got, we have a, uh, we got a call in. Let's see who this is. Caller. Hi, everyone. Uh oh. Hold this on. This is Richard Burgess. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> hold on. Let me. Uh, I gotta hide self view. Why is it like that? We need them these next to each other. Okay. This. What a surprise. What a treat. Uh, Go ahead, Richard. Yeah. All right. So. Just been scrolling and I saw Bart K was on Tristan's live stream and I just wanted to talk some smack and from my, my only fans. So Bart, why do I why am I deficient on a vegan diet, but I have more hair on my balls than both of you guys have on your head? Whew. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> hey, wait, 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 wait. Do you have do you have like a peer-reviewed study that could prove that? Because I'm not, I'm not, do you have any citations? He, he, he does, worry. he does have a channel that you can pay some money and go and have a look at his balls if you want to, Tristan, apparently. The I promise we'll try oh. to uh -oh. befriend you. They'll try to say, Oh, we've got some more anecdotes. What's this anecdote say? Is there any actual evidence here? Is this anecdote? That is the actual brainwashing. Whoa. Yes. Michelle, right, so... back again. Why am I deficient on a vegan diet, but Bart K, why am I so much bigger and stronger than you? Well, the first part, the bigger part is probably to do with genetics. The stronger part is, is probably debatable. Um, if, you, if you don't recall, I have actually challenged the actual real Richard Burgess to a cage match on about four or five occasions, and I've, I've never had a response to that invitation. I can only... Only surmise that uh, that he's scared of me, dude. I'm six three. I would beat your ass, bro. Whoa. Do you think so? Come to Toronto and I'll beat your ass. Uh huh. Uh huh. Good. 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 I'm um, six three. How tall are you, Bart? Yeah, I'm five foot six and 140 pounds dripping wet. I and choke I you to death. And I will not out four times before he hits the floor. <laughs> oh. I will choke you to death. To death. Ooh, I'd love to see it. To death. That'd be awesome. Mm. <gasps> wow. Wait. Um, all right. Let's right, hold, hold on. Give... Hold. Oh, go ahead, Tristan. Oh, you're so polite, Richard. <laughs> so nice. I to hate me. your guts, Tristan. Shut up. <laughs> Wait. What's with? The... I'm getting dual <laughs> messages from you. <laughs> what is this guy talking about? Richard. Richard. Just. Sorry. Go ahead, Tristan. <laughs> Are you gonna interrupt again? Okay, well, Richard, this is beyond the scope of our conversation. Um, my my lack of hair, my alleged lack of hair, uh, and and my um, and and my bald man badness. That's beyond the scope of our conversation. But I also I, I want to see. Do you have any like studies, any peer reviewed, uh, double blind scientific studies that uh, that will prove that you could beat up Barquet? No, I don't. All I know is that I can probably bench press his body weight. And that's pretty much all the studies that I need to know that I can beat his 5'6 ass up. Okay. Uh, do you have but any... I do want to say one thing. Go ahead. I was just wondering, do you have any other things to say? Like, it seems it's really clear that you want to beat Bart K up. You don't like me. You hate me. Uh, but is there anything else? Do you have any other arguments? Do you have anything else to say? Um... Well, Bart K, he likes to give out diet advice, even though he says that he doesn't give out diet advice. So, um, he likes to talk about his authority, 
But he's not a dietitian, so why are you giving out diet advice when you're not a registered dietitian, Bart? Oh. Well, why would a registered dietitian be the authority in, in nutrition? Yeah. Don't know Wait, Richard, you just, you just called him out for appeal to authority and then asked him to appeal to authority. And mm. <laughs> what, 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 that doesn't make much sense, Richard. Is that... Um, sorry, my brain can't wrap around that right now. I think it's the sugar rush. I just had a couple of donuts. Um, so, Bart K, you're on the carnivore diet? Um, in your recent video, I, I saw you consuming a couple cloves of ginger on your steaks, and you're eating this, these pills that are bacteria, but they're not plants, they're bacteria, but... Um, that doesn't sound like a carnivore to me. I don't see lions or, like, blue whales consuming any plant material. Can you justify that? <laughs> There's a good little soy cackle there, Richard. Yeah, that's, 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 that's an interesting one. It really defi it depends on whose definition of carnivore you find acceptable, really. Um, and also, the other thing that you need to keep in mind is that Nobody with more than three brain cells gives a rat's asshole what you think about anything because you're a high school dropout. Um, sorry? <laughs> do you, do you want him to, would you like him to repeat that, Richard? Did you just call me a dropout? Yeah. Richard, are you okay? You said and, a drop, and a drop kick while you're at it. <laughs> Richard, don't cry. Are you... Richard? Well, how dare I? How, how dare we, Tristan? Richard, are you the... Come you on, Bart. You're stealing Richard's dreams. No, you're stealing Richard's dreams right now. Richard, you sound... Are you okay? You sound a little sad, man. Richard. Jasmine! Jasmine, get my rollerblade! I was too rough with him. <laughs> oh, no. Is he leaving? Me. Wait, are you going to... Tristan, gonna... I'm really sorry. I, I broke Richard. Richard, are you going to leave? Are you going to go rollerblade? Sorry. Richard? Just fight me, Bart. Just come to Toronto. I'm going to beat your ass. <laughs> okay, good. As, as soon as we're allowed to travel again, um, that's a date. It's a I'll date, pay for boy. your flight. I'll pay for your Excellent. Flight. I make $10,000, sorry, 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 10,000 Gs a month, Bart. I can pay mm -hmm. for your 10, little Gs? flight over here. Awesome. Wait, awesome. you make 10,000 Gs? That, that's a, What's that, 10 million? 10,000 Gs? 10,000 thousand a month? $10,000. Oh, $10,000. You, know, you know what I mean. <laughs> you said, you said 10,000 Gs. A G is $1,000. I don't, I don't know if you... Yeah. Okay. Ten, sorry. I need more of my degrees. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. I need more algae. Uh, sorry. Oh, nothing, thing, but you said there's aldehydes in omega-3 supplements? Yeah. Oh, well, actually... Uh, 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 huh? Talking about there's aldehydes in omega-3 supplements. I've been taking an omega-3 supplement for the past two years, and I'm not mm -hmm. dead yet. Right. I, I've been a carnivore for four years, and I'm not dead yet, and neither do I have heart disease. Um, it just sounds like an anecdote, Richard. You've, you've no actual evidence for anything, have you? Just anecdotes. All right, so, Bart... <laughs> Richard, hey, wait, wait, Richard, come on, hey, man, dude, don't cry, it's all right, man, Richard, vegan gains, are you there? Yes, sorry, sorry. Is Jasmine with you? Jasmine? Could you, wait, wait, Jasmine? <laughs> vegan gains, sorry, look, can, can, can I just ask, is, is it Jasmine in the background laughing, or is that Jessica? <laughs> It's both, probably. I, I hear it. I think Jasmine's laughing back there. Then Jessica's Jasmine giving is you. in the background laughing. Look, yes. hey, just, just Richard, just lay your head on those fresh, warm buns. Take a little nap. You know, it's you'll be okay, man. Wipe your wipe your tears away, and um, you know, shoot some OnlyFans content or something, man. You know, go go count your OnlyFans subscribers or something. You'll feel better, dude. Yeah. I, pop pop your thumb in there, Richard. Just just go just go give a thumbs up to. Just, Jasmine, just go oh, give shit, now I've broken Tristan. Oh, no. <laughs> just go give Jasmine a, a nice thumbs up, and uh, <coughs> and you'll you'll feel better, Richard. Are you there? Uh, yes, yes. 
Oh, it's, it makes me so sad to hear you cry. Richard, call back. I, I really appreciate you calling in. Thank you so much um, for, for popping in. And maybe call back later when you're not so emotional. Right. Eat, eat a few donuts. You guys. It's okay. I guys. I, we, we, Excellent. Yeah, we hate you too, Richard. Bye. Oh, he was a nice man, He's, wasn't he? There he goes. Richard Burgess. Um, mm, mm. All right. We got, we got someone else in the waiting room. Let's see. Let's see who pops in now. We got Maddie. I've got a whole new. I've got a whole new attitude about Richard. He's usually such a douche. He was so sensitive there. I feel bad. Mm, mm. I kind of so feel bad. Soft and feminine and round and warm and inviting. It is really rotund. Six foot three. He is really rotund. Mm. I, the, the roundness is. Uh, it's, it's snuggleable, right? The, they, ladies say yeah. that they prefer the dad bod. Science shows that dad bods are. They're a lot more popular uh, these days among the ladies. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. I'm waiting. I got. And two. studies show that uh, Tristan's channel is the best damn channel on the internet. That's studies show that uh, that is that is true. Even though you don't have your lab coat, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say that's true. Maddie Andrews, I know this troublemaker. What are you doing, you bigot? I can't hear you. You better connect your audio. Have to wait for his audio to connect. There we go. I can hear you now. Oh, Maddie. Excellent. What's good, Tristan? What's happening, dude? What is my name on here, first of all? It just it, it says, should be Maddie Andrews. I don't it, know if that's right. It says Maddie Andrews. It's not your I alt account. Hear. It's not your alt account. It's not your uh, PP and the Poo Poo Elmo alt account. It's just Maddie Andrews. Hold on. Probably put the cans on. Put the cans there on. There we go. There you go. What's okay, up, so uh, hold on. So uh, let's see. What was I going to say? I forgot because I was playing video games. But oh, so you told me to cut my carbs out. I. I cut my carbs off for lunch, but like I, when I went to the gym, my only option was Chick Fil A, and I ate two sandwiches. So is that good or bad? <laughs> we got, we got, we have some work to do, Maddie. The, look, yeah. just ask if that's good or bad. It's like it's it, it's neither, right? I mean, it's it, it really depends on your context, right? So what's your? Let's give some background. Uh, Maddie, he was he was trying to get jacked. And it seems to me from the we've had like three messages, and I'm just trying to help you off the cuff, right? If you were like a client, I'd give you a questionnaire. We'd, right. we'd go all through the questionnaire, and we'd we'd look at it, right? So, Maddie was trying to gain some muscle. It sounds like he got fatter than he wants to get. So now he's saying he wants to lose some fat. So I told him simple, real simple way to do it: keep everything the same, make sure you get enough protein, and cut half your carbs. I just said you can either cut carbs or you can cut fat. Simplest way. You can either cut fat down or cut carbs down. For me, I cut carbs down. So I told him, cut, cut half your carbs out, right? So if you're eating, say, 300 grams of carbs a day, cut down to 150 grams of carbs a day. You keep everything else the same. That's a simple way to do like a, a cut if you're, uh, you know, if you're not so uh, well-versed on macronutrient manipulation. That's a real simple rule. So I think you're probably fine. You said you normally eat like a bunch of carbs and you just had a couple pieces of bread. It's probably not super high in the carbs. But if you're not if you're not like really consistent with meals, then you don't know what you're doing, right? Like so eating the yeah. same thing all the time makes it easier. That's like as simple as I can make it, right? You have the same freaking meals all the time. So mm -hmm. You don't have to think about well, it. Well, I'd, I'd like to say that studies suggest and studies show quite clearly that anyone who eats any carbs at all is not a carnivore. They should hand in their carnival card immediately to Office of Tough Anal of the Carnival Police. And they should then report back here for public naming and shaming because they clearly did it wrong. If they um, eat carbohydrates, um, is that you, sir? That's right. Yes, I'm very, very upset with you. That's so He's great. super yeah, upset I, with you. My, my, okay, for... My parents own like a, a bagel place, so like back home, I work in that, and I eat a lot of bagels. Turns out, so uh, I don't know if that's true. Also, like every oh, you, sandwich you never, you right never on. really were accountable. You did it wrong. Um, yeah, no, no, no. yeah, well, I didn't start working yeah. out until like a, a couple months ago. But mm. well, why are like, you trying to? Are you just started? My you, you just started working out a couple months ago. Why are you trying to? Yeah, you try, aren't you? And your goal is to put on muscle, right? Right. So why are you trying to get so lean right now? Why don't you just focus on? Hitting macros consistently, get enough protein, build muscle, and then you can recomposition if you want later on, or you can draw, you can do a cut later on. Like the goal right now, because you're young, well, you're like 18, right? 19. 19. So you're 19. Put put muscle on. Don't worry so much about cutting. Just don't get too fat when you do it, right? Put muscle on. Watch watch okay. watch your belly. Watch your waistline. Don't get too fat and uh, manipulate carbohydrates as you need, right? Just do you eat candy and stuff. Yes. Okay. Uh, not really, no. Okay, you had a look on your face like, yes. <laughs> um. <laughs> mm. 
And don't forget, if you don't eat your fruits and vegetables, you might die! <laughs> That's true. Mm, I don't know. Most definitely will. But you know, that one. Fo focus on meat and fat. Get, a, get, good, get good meat, get good fat in, and, um, and you have some carbs, but focus on building muscle and then cut later on. Like you're not gonna you're gonna lose fat from like one day of dieting, right? Like you like you messaged me yesterday and then now today you're like okay I kind of cut some carbs out. <laughs> yeah, well I'm just wondering because like I don't really I have so many people tell me different stuff like yeah. what they're trying to do. Yeah. Um, like in my Discord, I have a lot of people who are uh, working out and stuff and yeah. or trying to lose weight. So I've heard lots of things. Someone said don't listen to you, and they said you need to have at least one thousand two hundred grams of carbs or whatever and oh, i was shit. like i just sent him a picture i just sent him a picture do you know how much tristan because you're like the, the one where you're like ripped and like your veins are falling <laughs> out i said well this is what they told me so i'll take my chance but, wait but 1200 grams uh, of carbs do you know how much that is do you know how much rice you'd have to eat to yeah 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 because yeah i know because i was uh, i was looking into like rice and beans or whatever right like i know beans don't have a lot but rice has like 50 grams a serving or okay. something. So how many servings would you have to eat to get your 1200 grams of carbs that this gentleman told you to eat? I'm, I'm, look, I'm not, I'm not a math major, so. I'm, <laughs> I'm not either. That's why I'm trying to get you to do my homework. <laughs> hey, um, I know a bloke that's really good with his math. He's called Richard Burgess. He lives in Canada and, and he can help you with all of that. Um, and stuff. Bart, that's that's beyond the scope of our conversation. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm just look. I'm just gonna. Okay. I'm just gonna work on gaining muscle. It's not yeah. too much of a worry. It's just like I used to. I used to do like a lot of uh, cardio, like related sports. I guess so I was really yeah. thin. And then once I moved to college, I stopped those because like yeah. I just didn't. Do, I don't do sports at college, so I guess that's kind of why I started putting on a little bit of weight. But oh, you're back in the dorms. I, I don't know. Show me your dorm, dude. Yeah. I'm, I'm, Show oh, me the dorm. God. Okay, my roommates and. A mess. So one he roommate. Like his laundry all over the floor. Dude, what a piece uh, of shit. He's from Guatemala, so I don't know how close that is to Ecuador, but uh oh, did, is that racist? Uh, did, if I just called him a piece of shit, does that make you right racist? <laughs> but go. yeah, it's it's a tight <sighs> room, kind of. Dude, um, you're bringing me back. You're giving me flashbacks to 19 years old, 18 years old. I was 18 in the dorms. Um, dorm life well, is I'm a, crazy. Thorn life is nuts. Um, cool, man. Well, oh, it was 30 years ago, Tristan. Are you a boomer? Are you technically a boomer? <laughs> mm. What year were you born? Uh, this year, 70, 72. Me? Oh, no, Bart, Bart's oh. not a boomer. Bart's a Gen X. Bart's a Gen <laughs> Xer. We, got, Am I? we have um, three generations. I'm 33. Um, Bart's I'm, 90. I'm pushing, I'm pushing 50. Oh, gosh, dude. Yikes. Yeah. yeah. Too old. <laughs> yeah, uh, my, so, so I'm told. So I'm told. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My name actually shouldn't be Maddie on here. It was that because uh, I had joined it. I was doing a video, Tristan, after after you and I did ours. I was going to do like a – I was like crashing a social Zoom meeting or whatever. So I named it Maddie and like pretended to be a transgender. And then I ended up having to throw the video out. Why? Because I didn't – I couldn't get the audio right because I, I recorded a Mac. And it was like my first time using OBS. Yeah. And for a Mac, like desktop audio doesn't record on OBS unless you get third-party software. Where'd you so find I, Where'd you I find the Zoom doing. meetings to crash? How do you decide which ones to hit? And uh, like, are you going through activist networks, or how are you finding it? Uh, I just looked up on Google. I looked up like socialist feminist Zoom meeting or something like that, and there was like some organization that's uh, based in DC. And it was actually big. There were like a couple hundred people in the Zoom call. But me and my friend were in there and like we uh, went into the Q&A or whatever. We had a really good conversation with them. And it was going to be a great video. <laughs> and there's no recording. So you got no it, recording? It was hilarious. Shoot, man. All right. Well, maybe you might yeah. have to hit me up. We might have to collaborate on some of these. These sound like some fun adventures. Uh, <laughs> uh, you, Maddie, yeah, we your, should. We should. Totally. What's your YouTube channel? Maddie has uh, interviewed I, me. Uh, I did an interview with Maddie. He's also interviewed Jay. I think he interviewed Gavin McGinnis and uh, Milo, a few other big yeah. names. Uh, but the biggest name by far so was me. my YouTube channel. Look, we got some, we got some only fans right? in the background there. Only fans going on in the background. Oh, this is my Guatemalan roommate. <laughs> He's changing right now. Henry, say hi. Hey, tell, tell him to show us his, his uh, pecs. Tell him to show us his boobs again. Show us your boobs. 
<laughs> this is my I love I like how you don't even introduce him by name. You're like, this is my Guatemalan I said roommate. Henry. I said this is This is my Guatemalan roommate. He's not worth naming. Well, he's, he's from so or he lives in Ecuador. So I figured that was close to Guatemala. <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't know. I'm not, look, I'm not a, I'm, I'm not a math major. I'm not a geographer. So Okay, don't hey. <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, my my YouTube channel. I'll plug that real quick. It's Matt Andrews. Uh, I'm not plugging your TikTok. Don't listen. I'm about to, okay. Plug so, TikTok. Uh, my YouTube is Matt Andrews. It's got like 450 subs, so you'll you'll see that. But I, I was curious earlier. You were talking about like subscriber count versus view count. Yeah. And after you get a thousand subs, does it matter too much? Because I know that's when you can be monetized or whatever. But, like I, 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 I average like 2,000. 2000 views and my subs are only at like 400 something. So yeah. how much does subscriber count matter to you, Tristan? Cause you've got a big channel. Uh, I mean, nothing at all. Cause I know it's not real. Right. Uh, because I have so many long-term viewers who've supported the channel, like even just monetarily support the channel regularly. Uh, they get unsubscribed four or five times. It's all algorithm based. We have no idea how many people are really watching videos. That's the nature of it. It's a black box. Like it's a, the, the numbers go in and they, and the algorithm spits it out. So to me, I stopped caring back when uh, YouTube stopped the growth of the channel in October or like September 2019. I was getting 3,000 new subscribers every month and then they had this apocalypse happen back in late 2019 and when that happened, uh, I started losing like 300 to 1,000 subscribers every month and then I would gain some, lose some, gain some, lose some and it's just, yeah, it's um, now we just lose subs. They we're not allowed to gain them anymore, only lose. So I, yeah, okay. that I makes know. sense. I think we need to. I think we. I think it's good to uh, put stuff on other platforms just in case, and and just don't even worry about view counts. Or I mean, obviously view counts are kind of important, but I wouldn't worry so much about it and just try to put out good content. Um, I, I don't think they actually are honest about the view count either, Tristan. I yeah. think they tell lies about how many people actually are watching. Yeah, yeah. There's. I think there's like probably. I mean, I'm estimating. Probably two billion people are watching the stream right now, but they only show 195 in the live stream. Yeah. But there's at least. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I mean, we're huge. Yeah, studies cool. studies show that I've had 5,000 subs unsubbed from my channel in the last six months. Wow. Um, and and studies show that I should be a multi squillionaire by now. Squillionaire, I like that squillionaire. Mm. Bart K, the yeah. squillionaire. So yeah, Matt Matty Andrews. What's the channel name again, dude? Matt Andrews, not Maddie. Matt Andrews. Uh, I'm worried I'm gonna get. I'm not gonna get monetized, by the way, because I've got, I've got Gavin, Milo, Catboy, Cami, and Laura Loomer, all who have been banned from YouTube. And then Jay was demonetized. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm worried about that. I don't know how that's gonna work, but no, I, I wouldn't. And even if you do get monetized, get here, here's a little secret. Even if you get monetized, you ain't getting shit from YouTube. You're not getting anything. Oh yeah. Like I used to, you I made. To, you need to diversify. You need to set up income streams by working with the people that are interested in what you have to say on YouTube. Don't rely on YouTube for your income because that's completely unrealistic. It's not going to happen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't don't ever count on YouTube to send you money. Uh, stream, monetize through Streamlabs if you stream. Uh, don't you try. Don't don't if you stream. Don't promote uh, super chats through YouTube, promote super chats through Streamlabs because that takes some of YouTube's revenue. And they, YouTube just uses that revenue to, uh, to crush small channels anyways. Like YouTube has, been, YouTube has been at a loss since YouTube Well, was, again, I'm bigger and stronger than you, so I won't worry too much. Right when we're, thank you, Hench. Uh, oh, look, it's Paul from Norris with his Wednesday afternoon basket weaving certificate. Basket weaving? You, mm. Do you get more? I would imagine you get more through like donations and super chats, right? Oh yeah, I don't. I, mean, you get I like get nothing from YouTube. Time sometimes. Check it out when I when monetization first happened. I knew I knew YouTube was done when monetization happened, but when we first monetized the channel, I made about four times as much as I'll get monthly now off of views. Right now, if I don't do any streams, I'll make literally like less than two hundred bucks, probably. Right? Yeah, it was one hundred and thirty. $130 one time when I just took a break and didn't do anything on YouTube for a month. They only sent 130 bucks. And then I, some of my videos have them, like there's a couple that are over a million views, um, half a million view videos. 
So yeah, they don't expect to make any money on YouTube now. But when I when it first got monetized, YouTube paid out pretty well. But that's how they trapped everybody. So then people started flooding it, and I knew this was gonna happen. I talked about it before, and it's uh, yeah, the the monetization is not something you should be worried about with YouTube. I think just concern yourself with building up the uh, the audience and brand and whatnot, and then. Um, you know, monetize different ways outside of YouTube as much as you can and always expect yourself to be a get, like I could wake up any day and be kicked off of YouTube and I know it. Sell green pills instead. Sell green pills to people. That's the way to make money. There Sell you go. Sell pills. Sell pills. Well, you, not those type of pills, Maddie. College kids. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. He's like, I'm also, working on it. you know, just just before we close off, just for some sort of fatherly advice from the from the oldest gentleman here, uh, wear your mask, stay inside, don't touch any of those uh, journey girls at all. Um, don't talk to anybody whatsoever. Don't maliciously try and earn any money or learn anything, and and uh, and stop maliciously maliciously existing and using resources and things, and and that'll help the universe at large. And Dr. Greta will get her her future back that way. Right, and vote Greta. Yeah. Twelve year old, that one. What's that? Is that who you're referring to? Or is there a different Greta? No, there's just one Greta. The great Greta. Oh, okay. Greta Thunberg. <laughs> the Greta Thunberg. Um yeah, let me, I'm going to read some super chats. I got, I got three super chats here. I got to read Delbridge. What's up, Delbridge? Donate it's five bucks. Um, and this one, this is a great one for Bart. Mr. Bart K, what are the flaws with peer review? Um, number one, anyone in academia that will even entertain a request to peer review something gets to do it. There's no real check on the veracity of the peer reviewers. Nobody reviews the reviewers. Um, usually peer reviewers are mates of the editor of the journal concerned who have agreed to undertake a certain number of peer reviews. It's kind of a chore. We don't get paid for it. Usually we don't read the thing that carefully as a peer review. We just go, mm, is, is there anything that I'm going to get absolutely caned for here? And then you think to yourself, well, it doesn't matter anyway, because actually peer review is anonymous. So no one will know it was me that peer reviewed this, except that editor who's my mate anyway. So fuck it. All right. Thank Pretty you. Pretty much, that's what's wrong with it. It, it doesn't. It does not confer veracity on anything that's published. Yeah. All it says is that there are two people who are prepared to sign off on it, probably because they were running out of time on their peer review window of opportunity. Because usually the the editor will send you this and say, "I need it back next week or in two weeks or whatever." And then usually it's about half an hour before the cutoff that you go, "Oh shit, I better do that peer review." Uh, fine, fuck it. Off. There you go. That's Del peer review. Delbridge got another question. He donates five bucks. Says, does plant agriculture uh, result in more environmental devastation than animal agriculture? God bless you, Tristan and Bart, yes. forever. Yes, it does. Absolutely. Yes. I would agree. Study too. show. Study show. There. Oh, whoa. All right. <laughs> it has been spoken. Study show. Um, <laughs> yeah. essay. Why is that? Why is that? All right. Well, when why you is it that plant? Go ahead. Go on, Tristan. Uh, the, uh, all right, so plant agriculture, as far as uh, pesticide usage, herbicide usage, all these petrochemicals, agrochemicals that are used to spray on them, super devastating for the environment. A lot uh, The NPK fertilizers, those nitrogen fertilizers, they're artificially putting nitrogen into the soil, spraying all sorts of crazy fertilizers, chemical fertilizers. Um, all this stuff runs off into waterways. Uh, pollutes our water, destroys our gut. Glyphosate is highly toxic. It is known to be carcinogenic. Glyphosate destroys our gut. That's Roundup, and that's sprayed on all these crops. Um, the industrial plant agriculture is very devastating for the environment. Now, that doesn't mean that all plants are bad. Like you know, plant agriculture in general is bad. Organic agriculture, or organically grown plants that require animal input, are part of a, uh, a system that one would use if they're farming regeneratively, you would be using animals, you would be using plants, and you would be actually sequestering carbon into the soil. And I don't think that carbon is a pollutant or a toxic thing, but you do put carbon into the soil when you build good, loamy, black, deep, rich soil uh, by engaging in proper uh, grazing practices using animals. And yeah, I mean, as far as like, if you're gonna pair, compare something like a Beyond Burger or an Impossible Burger with real grass-fed beef, from an animal that's you know just grazing on grass, 
it's incomparable as far as the environmental devastation goes, right? So we feed our family. All, all the food we eat comes from the valley we live in here. And, um, and we eat mostly animal foods. So uh, when you're importing tons of these pesticide-drenched monocrops, you are supporting the destruction of soil, the destruction of our guts, uh, the increases in autism rates, um, and all sorts of devastation to the, uh, the water as well. So um, yeah, properly, you know, organic agriculture can be great. Uh, there are a lot of permaculture practices can be uh, very beneficial, but overall, plant agriculture is much more devastating to the environment than animal agriculture. But a lot of the vegans, they'll say like, oh, well, most of the plants that are grown for crops are fed to animals. And that's also false. Even when you look at the industrial model, when they feed animals corn, they're feeding them the indigestible, inedible parts of the corn and the soy. While they take the soy bean, they smash it and they make oil with it. They press and they remove that oil using all sorts of chemical solvents like hexane and shit that are going to destroy uh, people's guts and the environment as well. They take that out and then what's left of it is that soy cake. They feed that to pigs and stuff and that's inedible to human beings so yeah there's a lot to unpack there but that's the the long-winded answer thank you delbridge for that question we've got another one Ascent. that would have been great in in the in the attenborough voice all of that i think <laughs> you should record all of that again later using the attenborough voice the attenborough voice is only when you're talking about eugenics and depopulation that's the only the only way <laughs> no we got aesthetic donates five bucks says do you think the push pull leg day split is a good workout plan it could be great it works for a lot of people a lot of bros and bodybuilders have done that for their whole lifting career, it gets results. Is it the only way? Is it the best way? No, the best workout for you is gonna be the one that you can stick with. Uh, the best routine for you is gonna be what you can stick with long-term and get the results you need. So uh, push-pull, leg day, bro split can be fantastic, but so can things like uh, Wendler's 531. Um, those can be good progressions as well. There are a lot of different programs out there that are super effective. Uh, if you're just starting out, like a five by five can be a good way to go. Um, you know, strong lifts, five 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 by five. They have a good program that's good for beginners. If you're just learning, um, so yeah. Don't don't you bigots know that all that extra exercise, maliciously using all that extra energy, is adding carbon dioxide to the atmosphere, Tristan? Not you, why could you? How could you possibly encourage such behavior? You're, you're it's irresponsible. Wear surely. the mask and you just rebreathe your own, so you're good. And you could offset it. Global warming is a good thing. Exactly. I would rather be warm than cold. Yeah, it's too cold. Yeah, and carbon dioxide. Who, will who disagrees with that? Yeah. You just really? Made... Yeah. Uh, the uh, the question about uh, <laughs> about the uh, plant agriculture doing more harm for the environment, I I realized that like halfway through that I had already asked you that question on our video. Yeah. And then I just stopped paying attention. That's why I was laughing because. <laughs> I completely forgot, but then I remembered. So, what do you th is man-made climate change real? Man-made climate change is man-made. Does it have? <laughs> it's a man-made myth. <laughs> I mean, you can change okay. the climate. Uh, right. I mean, you could spray you could spray aluminum dioxide and barium dioxide in the upper atmosphere, and then blast frequencies through it. And there are tons of patents for weather modification uh, um, uh, methodologies. There is an entire uh, it's like stock exchange for weather modification for predicting weather. Uh, you can pay somebody to make it rain over your area or to dry it up over your area. There are uh, weapons that can create hurricanes and stop hurricanes. There have been geoengineering for over a hundred years and the patents from Edward Teller, the guy who uh, helped make the atom bomb, uh, are all out there. You can look them up. Look up all these patents for geoengineering, uh, for stratospheric aerosol injections, all these different ways that they modify weather so man can modify the weather and man has been experimenting with weather mo weather modification since i mean it's well known that the that um the u.s military was creating typhoons uh, on the ho chi minh trail in order to wage warfare against the north vietnamese the Viet Cong. it's well known that china uh, was what weather doing weather modification around the olympics so yes we can modify weather we can change microclimates uh, in the immediate, and we have technology that can m manipulate all these things. Uh, but as far as like carbon dioxide from us exhaling, is that changing uh, climate, the climate? Uh, that's, that's a myth, and it's a pseudoscientific s religious cult that is um, uh, very, very dubious in its uh, exploration. How dare science. you, Tristan? How dare you? How dare you? 
How dare you? Mm. All right, we got. All we got... you can talk about is money. All you, your, your dreams of infinite economic growth and of going to college and being around other young people in close proximity without a mask. How dare you, Matty Andrews? How dare you? I wonder if, I wonder if, if Greta has, a, has one of her dreams is to one day experience puberty. She's about to retire because she'll be 18 in a few months, man. I think she's 18 in like March mm. and then you won't hear from her mm. again. But she, she still looks mm. nine, so I guess they'll, they'll pull her out. How crazy, how stunted yeah. that chick is, is ridiculous. It's so sad. No, 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 no. come on, I won't, I won't have it, Tristan. The vegan diet is completely sufficient for all stages of human development. I forgot she was Study vegan. Study show. Yeah, the, the vegan diet is the only diet proven to prevent all stages of life. That's it. That's, that's mm. the new... That's the have, new you seen, uh, have you seen that vegan teacher on TikTok? Yes, she's, she's the best. Dude. Or have you heard about her? Yeah, have you seen her daughter? Is that that right. crazy skinny woman that... Oh. It's gonna, yes. Well, that's not like narrow it down, is it? Hey, Maddie, she's got a daughter. <laughs> Does she really? Yeah. Is she hot? She's, uh, How old is she? No, she look up, look up. Someone, Vegan Booty is her name. Someone v- said in your chat. V-G-A-N Booty. Someone in your chat's complaining about Zoomers. Like a gay idiot, LARPer. Jordan Moore. How old are you, Jordan? Uh-oh. Idiot. Zoomer, you done made a Zoomer Oh, mad. he's a Zoomer. Oh, that's such a retarded argument. God. He's a Zoomer. You gotta support the Zoomers, guys. Hey, if you, if you, the Zoomers, the Zoomers are important in this battle. They are important, and they're the best trolls. They're the best trolls. So you gotta get the Zoomer trolls on your side. You gotta leverage the autism of the Zoomers, and you have to use it. You have to use it to take down <laughs> and steal Greta's future. The Zoomer's the only one who can take Greta's future from her. And I and I I know Matt's working hard at stealing Greta's future. And I and I don't blame. Zoomers you. are literally the, the last line of defense. For American culture, anyway. So, uh, any of your followers in America dissing Zoomers are retarded. Zoomers are based. like Gen Z. Gen Z are the ones who are rejecting cancel culture. Anytime I've had someone come after me, it's been a white middle-aged woman or a white boomer woman. Yeah, me too. I had like a millennial, <laughs> it's millennial always... write a book about me on Facebook. I had a millennial show up at my house. I had a millennial come into my place of work and yell at me, nice. and then I had a boomer yell at me on camera when I was covering a protest. So. And they were all white women, of course, but Gen Z are the ones who reject cancel culture and all this silly behavior. So we're going to save you. You all ruined it. We're going to save it. So shut your mouth. He's going to save it. Who, who was it that, that, was, that was hating on the Zoomers? Who hated on the Zoomers? Jordan, Jordan Moore. Jordan, Jordan Moore says, got, look at that. You done shamed him, and he's apologizing. He says, I got nothing against the Zoomers. Zoomers are based, he says. Oh, no, yeah, that's Jordan uh-huh. T. I bullied him in a submission. Look you at just, that. You Zoomer bullies. <laughs> what a Zoomer bullies are just, you're hurting them. You're hurting them, man. Oh, he's a millennial. He's a millennial. Of course. Of course. Of course. But Zoomers, it's okay if you guys make fun of millennials, but millennials can't make fun of you. Uh, we can make fun of any generation. Okay. Okay, good. Literally every generation alive above us is worse. I think Gen Z is like, isn't Gen Z the most conservative generation since World War II or something like that? What do you mean conservative? I think I heard that somewhere. What is worth conservative uh, in America? Socially conservative, probably. <laughs> cool, man. Like, I don't know. We got... And uh, 2020 is definitely turning Gen Z even further right. We'll see, man. How do you show that I'm the most conservative from my, my generation that I know? Most of my friends mm. are pinko, left-wing, apologists, you know... That's actually a so that's, that's a message to all my friends. I hate all of you. You're all left-wing apologists. <laughs> Get fucked, all of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, we got another caller on the line. Maddie, shout out your shout out your YouTube, your YouTube channel one more time, dude. All right, so Matt Andrews on YouTube. It's got about four thirty subs, so you'll see it, and you, uh, you can sub there. And Tristan, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll collab soon on some sort of online mischief. I'll let you know. All right, dude, hit me up. You know where to find me, dude. And let. Let me know yep. how it goes with the cutting. Uh, uh, well, you're not trying to cut anymore. Just put some muscle on and then worry about cutting in a year after you've added 15 pounds of muscle. You should be able to put on 15 pounds of muscle in the next year. If you don't, you're doing it wrong. All right. All right, Zoomers Unite. See you, boys. All right, dude. Respect. All right, let's, let's see. All right. Wow. We got, we got millennials, Zoomers, Gen Zs. We even had... Jay Dyer, who's an honorary boomer, he was in the chat earlier, um, but oh, he's trans boomer. Maybe he's trans boomer. 
We've got another guest. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. This is Farron. What's up, everybody? What's up? Very here. <laughs> Just What? coming in to, to remind you, if you do not drink raw blood and eat raw meat, you're fucking retarded. What? Now, <laughs> you can look at my diet and see that these two bald guys are bald. But even though my hairline is four feet behind my skull, at least I have hair. Sverige, um, do you want to talk to us or you just want to address the audience? Uh, I'll talk to you guys. How's it going, man? Are you, where, where are you these days, Sverige? Um, just been hopping around inside everybody's house that I can find, just squatting around. Squatting? Like, like taking, a, uh, taking a dump or something? Or? Yeah, squatting around everywhere, every house I can find uh, on this flat earth. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. So uh, how, how long exactly should I stare directly at the sun every day, theory A? About four hours until the UV rays burn 60 holes in the back of your cornea. And that will actually reach you into enlightenment. And... Um, <clears throat> That's about all. I try to get about six hours because I try to do better than everyone else. Wow. Mm. Now, I, I, cook, I, I cook all my meat. Does that make me a fucking slave? That, I cannot believe you, Bot K. I swear to God. Oh, wait, I don't believe in that. That's for mentally ill people. Yes, of course. Yeah. <clears throat> Spirit, so that... Spheres, are you in Romania right now? Someone in the chat says you're in Romania. Uh, yes, I'm in Romania. Location is irrelevant, though, on this flat planet. Okay, I get it. Um, any advice so, for any advice for the Zoomers? Would you, what do you think about the uh, the Zoomer generation, man? We were just talking to a to a young up and coming budding Zoomer. He was in his college dorm room with his Guatemalan roommate. His name was Guatemala. They were getting naked together as well. It was his Guatemalan Guatemalan stripper roommate. Um, what, what 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 advice do you have for the younger generation, the Zoomers? I know you're a father now. Um, do you have any advice? Oh yes, I am now a father. All he does is eat, drink titty milk right now. But anyways, my advice for the Zoomers is eat raw meat, drink raw blood and drink lots of orange juice. I mean, I didn't mean to say that, but anyways. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> tell, us a bit about getting on, tell us a little bit about getting on with your, your mates at school from your school years. Uh, rumors rumors uh, have it that you were a, a little bit stabby. Okay. Joey so Armstrong style. What happened is, is that they tried to cut my non-existent hairline back further, and I tried to stab them back but the thing is, I'm not crazy, I swear. I only did it because I thirsted for blood. And that's perfectly reasonable. Yeah, until you discovered sun steering, which will meet all your nutritional needs, of course, won't it? Studies of show. Course. Studies show. Mm. Good. Only when they agree with my beliefs. <laughs> okay. This is this is great. We've had we've had we, thank Spheres. Thank you so much for jumping in. I appreciate I appreciate the call. Let us know how everything's going. Maybe call in again. Um, any any last words? Any last advice for the uh, for the audience? We got Zoomers, Boomers, Gen Xers alike. The the generations um, are uniting. What do you have to say? I I'm better than everybody. And if you try to refute anything I say, I'll just say you're wrong without saying anything to back it up. Okay. That is all. Well, thank thank you, Sverge. Richard, just back again. Thank you, Sverge. I appreciate that, man. <laughs> uh, have, have a good night, Sverge. Take it easy. Yoto. Ciao. Ciao. There we, go. we got, we got like celebs popping out of nowhere. We got... He was a nice man, too. He was nice. He was nice. I don't, I don't feel at all like a slave having spoken to him. Vegan Gains. Mm. Vegan Gains was pretty nice, too. Yeah. Look, we got another... Maybe I'm a trans slave. Translate. We got a trans vegan in the chat. Let's see. Let's see who's coming next. We got we got lots of calls. You guys, if you want to call in, there's a link for the Zoom meeting down below. And again, if you like these streams, support the dang streams. 
We had a couple good streams the last few weeks as far as audience support goes. Y'all a little slow today, but please support via the Streamlabs if you want, uh, you want your questions asked uh, or if you just like these shows. We'll keep them coming if you guys keep supporting. There's a link down in the description below uh, for both calling in or for supporting via Streamlabs. Transvegan, you're, on, you're live with Bart K. What's happening? Transvegan left. Okay. Rude. How rude. How rude. Mm. All right, let's... Maybe Transvegan is trans here. Yeah. Transvegan is... Here, now I gotta... How do I do this? Make this smaller. There we go. There we go. All right. So, dude, what what else is new, Bart K? What else is uh, what else is happening with you lately, man? Um, I'm all about the green pills. Since the beginning of September, I've been I've been on this ridiculous, unnecessary supplement for ten years, which uh, which I believe, in my humble opinion, has saved my life. Um, and I've never told anybody about it or promoted it at all until the start of September. And then I thought, well. It's a multi-level marketing company. I'm entitled to promote it if I want to. I just never have. YouTube aren't going to pay me any money to do anything, so I might as well. So I did, and and I thought maybe you're being a bit selfish not telling people about this thing because it's so great. And so I did, and and so, yeah, diversifying the old income stream, which is always a good thing. Nice. Helping a bunch of people to sort out a bunch of, uh, a bunch of things to, to do with supporting their overall health. I've got to be careful because the FDA is very, very, very hot on what we can say and not say. Uh, but basically, for those that want to know, it's a supplement that is derived from a blue-green cyanobacteria, uh, which is not a plant, uh, neither is it an animal, it's something in between. This is an extract from one of those that grows in one lake only in Oregon. It's, it's, uh, it's the Upper Klamath Lake, for those that want to know. Uh, and it's a product that encourages your bone marrow to release your adult stem cells into your blood which then float around and do all sorts of wonderful, magical things in your body. Interesting. So Repairing like... and renewing tissues, basically. Yeah. So it's a nutraceutical. It's, it's not about nutritional shortage of anything. It's, it's, although there are some micronutrients in the thing because the company saw fit to throw them in, I don't really care about those because I'm not deficient in anything. I'm interested in the stem cell effect. Um, so people that want to know about that, the address that you can email has been above my head for the entire time I've been here. Just right. to the right of my head there. And, and above my other head and further up above my third head down. I've got three heads on the screen. So that way you'll never forget my face either. Because I'm, I'm actually a complete narcissist. It's, it's really the only thing better than one bald man bad is three bald man bads on the same screen. Yes. That's yep. the only thing better. Let's see. We got, we got someone in the waiting yep. room here. Let's pull in. Um, Haley, can you hear me? You're live. Hey, can you guys hear me? What's up, man? Oh, yeah, so I got to make this really quick because I got some things to attend. Yeah. I'm going to watch this back later. I want to know if you guys think because of the current economic hardships, if we should reinstitute slavery. Um, of who? Who should we enslave? Maybe, maybe this is our opportunity, Tristan, to, to overpower the Vagoons and, and get them under control. I, yeah, I mean, yeah. I was going to say, like, if he had some names of people he thinks we should enslave, but he didn't want to expand on the, the troll. Uh, I mean, you got you gotta, to you gotta come with a little better than that if you're going to, I don't know, good try, mm. I guess, but yeah. Mm. I don't know, maybe you got a little nervous. Yes, I'm, I'm all for slavery myself so long as I don't have to be the slave. I mean, it's all about uh, me, you see. Mm. Yeah, I mean, because I'm toxic and male and 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 unnecessarily existent and things. Yeah, and I thought I thought they say they say meat is murder and meat is slavery. So if you eat meat, then I guess you do support slavery according to the vegans. But um, yeah, mm. I don't know. Ned, you could you could try try a little harder next time. Come with like you, you gotta you gotta set it up better and then like ease into it somehow. But uh, so, yeah, yeah. Some, some work on that delivery would be good, yes. It was a good try. It was a good attempt. It was a valiant attempt. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we got, let's see. We've got another guest here. Robles, 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 Robles. Robles. Can you hear me? Yeah, you're live. We can. Robles. Robles. Can you hear me? Yep. We can. Yeah, this is Austin from Robles. 
Hey, this is Austin from Rob. You gotta turn. So mute, going back a lot. Mute your uh, browser, Austin. Suppose it Austin. Okay. This is not Austin. Yeah. There's there's too much they test. Had a way for too a much a testosterone in that cucumber, voice. Cucumber, lime, and cilantro. Ugh, cilantro. God, the only thing I'm less likely to eat than cilantro is fungus of any kind. Personally. You don't like mushrooms. Nice. No mushrooms. Oh, nice. Oh. Gosh. Yeah, my last girlfriend had that. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Can I share with you a story from today? Sure. So, um, I went for a massage uh -oh. in Cambodia, <laughs> and it was like a, uh -oh. it was a long, slow massage, and she was feeling slowly making her way down my bony body. I hope this has a happy ending. I don't like stories that don't, don't end happily. Well, is this... Uh, then you, I realized... This is not... This is a Cambodian a, lady boy. Okay. That was massaging me. Yeah. And I ran out of there because I am a pure leprechaun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. And then we, me and my friend found some really good... Jackfruit. <laughs> okay. We, <t> <laughs> All right. we, <laughs> we totally jacked it. <laughs> you jacked it? <laughs> Wait, you jacked the jackfruit? What does that mean? You stole it? You stole the jackfruit? No, no. No, we just ate it on camera and did like a vegan mukbang. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> This is, remember, this is YouTube, not OnlyFans. Um, wait, you jacked the jackfruit in a vegan mukbang? What? It was so good, you guys. Okay. Well, if anyone else wants to share any fruit-related stories, I'm what? always listening. I'm Austin from Robles. Wait, Austin, are you, are you, uh... Are you cooming? Why are you telling <laughs> No, I'm a leprechaun. I'm pure. I'm actually doing push-ups. <laughs> what, uh, how many push-ups can you do now? I just did four. It's like my new record. Okay. <laughs> is this, wait, is this... Is this the same... Is this who is this? is this uh also this is the same dude that's doing vegan gains? No, this is this is a leprechaun from the end of an Irish rainbow. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Um, so I was just asking if you guys liked any fruit, but you didn't answer me. Excuse me? What kind of fruit? What's do I your like? favorite fruit? I, feel, I just love talking about fruit. I feel like it, well, look, Austin, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I feel like if I tell you what type of fruit I like, that I'm engaging in some sort of a degenerate behavior by helping you to, uh, to perhaps um, uh, spread your slippies and your chippies in around. <laughs> well, okay then. Well, you are always free to comment on my channel. With what? Thank you, guys. Like descriptions of and fruit. Don't, don't forget to put the pee pee in the poo poo. Thanks for calling. It's okay. I'm in Cambodia. Okay. <laughs> Robless Austin. Anything, anything goes, apparently. Oh. Man. <laughs> Thank you so much yeah. for calling in. Are you still there, Austin? Any, anything else? Any? You have any questions for us or uh, anything like that? All, all of your bigots that follow your channel are degenerates, Tristan. I think that's what the problem is. That's why you're being shadow banned. <laughs> that was one of the funniest calls. <laughs> we jacked the jack. We we got a jackfruit. What did he say? We found a jackfruit. We jacked the jackfruit. And we jacked we totally it. jacked the jackfruit. <laughs> we found the jackfruit. And we jacked it. And then we had a vegan mukbang. I can't... I can't tell. Um, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. Thank you, Austin. That guy is good, though. That guy is good. That was good. I was trying to. That's why I was asking him if it was the same one who did the vegan gains. That was that was a pretty good Rob Liz. I think it's the same character. Yeah. Whoever that is, I like it. You complete me.
<laughs> you complete me, the last caller. Email me, and I will. Uh, <laughs> Hey, was was that was that Jessica complaining about that comment that you just made there about who completes you? Yeah. Yeah. You've, you've been told now, Tristan. You are in the dog box. What do yeah. you mean he completes you? I thought that was my job. <laughs> Goodness. Dude, that was mm. that was a good call. All right, remember, guys, we got open lines today. We got open lines tonight. If you got, if you want to call in, if you got anything to say, if you got any questions for Barke, I and mean, we're still waiting for all you, all you. Uh, logical vegans out there all you uh There's great vegan studies, debaters studies show that i have the answers to every question in the universe so please do feel free to uh, to drop to drop by any anyone that is a big goon and, yeah. uh, and tell us all about it yeah and you know studies also show that none of you vegans call into debate we get open call we get open calls and none of you none of you have called into debate yet someone says tristan has to be in on these calls no i'm not i have no idea who that he is officially gone. No, there really is a raw bliss lady boy massage moment. Okay, I think. <laughs> now I'm I'm a, I am confused though whether that's a story that had a happy ending or not. I don't know that that happy ending almost made me choke on my laughter. I almost I almost just uh just coughed to death laughing at that that dude. <laughs> That's a good Ash one. Ashton Ashton Crow is saying that we need that fart K character to call in. That would be funny. Is there a fart? Who's fart K? Oh, Tristan, where have you been, son? Goodness, um, do a do a search on my channel for any videos concerning fart K, and you will laugh and laugh and laugh until you stop. And in my case, it's not yet, and I've seen it I don't know a hundred times, and I'm still pissing myself every time I see it. <laughs> um, look, look for a video where Auntie Pim and I are reacting to the Fart K versus Thunder Bay trainer Logan debate. Because, yeah. Oh, I've fact, seen that, recently, that Thunder Bay person. I recently posted it. All right. Mm. I know that Thunder Bay dork. That guy used to try and uh, try and get me to debate yeah. him, uh, but it just didn't yeah. interest me because he just seemed. Yeah. I mean, so if you look at some of my recent videos, Tristan, you'll see there's a there's a I think it's called Trips Down Memory Lane, Volume Three or something, and it's it's all it's 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 all about Fart K. You, if you don't know who that is, boys right. and girls, go and check it out. You will piss yourself. All right, I dig it. We got Funniest some shit you've ever seen. Some people in the chat are like are calling out for a debate. So look, look, if any of these people want to debate, they'll call in. We got open lines. Excellent. Right? I've done, I did open lines three nights in a row. Not a single, only one vegan called into debate, and that was Veganica. Shout out to Veganica. Veganica has uh, had more rotund, tested cows than most of you vegans out there who talk shit all the time <laughs> and try to. Uh, you, you vegans out there, you beg for debates, and then I open up the lines, and you don't call into debate. You don't call into debate. And the guy that keeps on saying the same comment over and over again. Tell that dork to call in and debate if you want to see it, right? He's always welcome to come in. And I told him he can call in. Even after his stupid little soy ops that he tried to pull, I still told him, you can come on and debate. You got an argument, come and debate. So we got someone, we got Trevor up in the, up in the, uh, in the room here. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Trevor. Hey, guys. You guys hear me? Yeah, man. Hey, yep. yep. Um... No, so I just see how, like, especially in America, how pedophilia is becoming more, like, accepted to society. And it's more of, like, a political question, I know. But even I was on Netflix and I saw um, a show called, Q uh, a movie called Cuties. I'm not sure if you guys saw that. Yeah, that was a big, uh, big debacle. Actually, there was a guy that made a YouTube video about how much he liked it. And in that video, he says, like, oh, these 10-year-olds are hot. And they know it. Yeah, no, no, no. That's the thing. That, yeah. it, I saw like a trail. I didn't watch the thing because I can't. How the fuck am I going to be able to watch that myself? Also, you, you can't even I use that word YouTube. If you even use that word, like you got to say other things or they'll they'll like hide videos if you even talk about this stuff. So you got to talk about like, you know, you got to say like, I don't know, messing with children and stuff like that rather than those words because YouTube openly, and I guess, you know, maybe they, they say they're trying to prevent that type of content, but they have smashed out a lot of critique of the um the the kitty diddlers as we can call them uh they they yeah. they seem to like they're almost protecting these folks and enabling them no oh. yeah and, that, and that's the thing i i also uh was, yeah like i was saying I, was, I saw the trailer on netflix for it and um no i was just creeped out <laughs> yeah. 
to yeah, be honest, really. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. They're trying to throw a P at the end of that thing, and that's that's what it's about. Is sexual liberation is a tool of cultural degeneration that has been used for ages to break down nations. And on the last stream, we talked about the sexual revolution and how this was used in the Bolshevik revolution, how what they called uh, free love and... Um, there was this big push back in the 1920s for free love, and H.G. Wells was actually one of those guys pushing for polyamory and free love <laughs> and the sexual revolution back in the 1920s. Um, yeah. So the, yeah, it's it, this is a tool for cultural degeneration, and the more you break up and destroy the family unit, you are by destroying families, by destroying the family unit, you are removing the transmission vehicle for generational knowledge on how to live right how to feed yourself how to live uh, worldview formation that happens in the family so if the state can replace the family um these right. nutcases believe that they can create a utopia uh but right. it's, it, i'm only like 24 that's the thing so i'm young but i it's like i've seen it shift from like completely like oh pedophilia like all this is bad right so to, to now accepting like almost anything yeah that's the thing is once you, and, uh, when you liberate the passions like that, you're, you're enslaving people. You're making them. So the, the sexual yeah. revolution, it's not about, oh, it's going to be free love. We're just going to have so much fun. We're going to have rock concerts and orgies. No, it's about enslaving you to the passions. It's about enslaving you to your desires. And the same thing with drugs, right? Yeah, sure, drugs feel good for a little bit, but then they enslave you, right? So it's, yeah, thanks. Yeah. Um, also, I have, a Trist, uh, I have a question for you, Tristan. Yeah. Um, since it's becoming accepted, can I get a piece of your eight-year-old voter? There we go. Bye. There we go. So he can't even stick around. He can't even stick around after his stupid little, his stupid little thing. Oh, you're so edgy, bro. You're so edgy, bro. Dude, you, chill out with that edginess, dude. You couldn't even hang out and 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 uh, and enjoy the edgy aftertaste of that, right? You couldn't even hang out and enjoy Come the edgy aftertaste. That. Come and say that to Tristan's face. This is the thing. It's like you never. It's just the internet. These people think. Yeah. These people think. Look, I'm not a boomer. I look. I grew up on the internet, just like you Zoomers. Like I, I, I grew up here. <laughs> you, you think you're cool and edgy? All right, let's see. We got some more people here. We'll. Uh, what we'll do now. Here we go. We got Bumba. Bumba, 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 Bumba. <clears throat> What's up, Bumba? Bumba. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Tristan, uh, I noticed that you have a bald head like me. Yes, and Bumba. My name is Bomba. Oh, yeah. I am from a village in Nigeria, and I would like to give you some advice to stay cool. You see, one day I went to my village leader named Kumbolo, and I said, Kumbolo, my head is hot. And he said, why? And I said, it is hot. And he said, you must take the mud and put it on your head. So I listened to Kumbolo. I put the mud on my head, and it made me cool. This is very, very wise. Very, very wise. You must take this advice. This is all I have to say. Thank you. I appreciate that, Boomba. Um, oh, Boomba, yeah, how yeah. do you feel about putting the pee-pee in the poo-poo? I do not understand that. No? Mm. No. No. What well, is this? It, it, what is this? It, this, is, this is the way to control our population so that we don't all malicious, maliciously exist, you see. I think they and, need and to this is how we get more tobacco in the future. <laughs> Put mud on your head, okay? Yes, yes, yes. Put the mud on your head. Put the mud cool. on your head. It will make you think better. You put the yeah. lime in the coconut, you shake it them very, both up. Very put the lime in the coconut, they shake them both up. They put the mm, lime good. in the coconut. Right, thank you, Bumba. Mm. Soyan, sir. We got Soyan, sir, coming up next. Look at this. We we finally get some callers. Oh, nope, they just disappeared. Nope, uh, now Soyan, is back. Soyan, sir, what's happening? Just so we know, Tristan, I've got uh, 30 minutes remaining. 
and then I'm gonna have to race because I've got my car in the shop and I need to go and collect it before they. What's up, up with the car? So, what's what's wrong with the car, Mr. K? Uh, Mr. Oil, Bar oil K. change, new filter. I've been maliciously using it, uh, maliciously driving it around, and maliciously existing, and and it just needs a bit of maintenance really before we go away. Maliciously once again this weekend to maliciously go to my friends who I hate fortieth because I hate all my friends because they're all left wing apologists. Uh, but I'm going to spend a lot of money and resources and put a lot of carbon dioxide into the air. Uh, this trip involves driving up the road, driving the, the car onto a boat, uh, driving, well not driving, but riding on the boat for three and a half hours to get to the other island. Um, and then driving it halfway up that island uh, as well to get to where I'm going. And uh, yeah, so we thought we'd, uh, we thought we'd have an oil change before we do all of that. There you go. Nice, mm. man. Well, yeah. um... Yeah, well, maybe, maybe we can, uh, maybe we wrap it up now and uh, I, I can, uh, let's see, Soyancer, I don't think Soyancer. No. There we go. We got no. Soyancer here. Soyancer, you're live with Bar K and myself. What's happening? What's going, lads? You well? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Right enough. That's the job. I was just wondering, is uh, Tristan interested in finding out a way he will um, debate that idiot, um, LVL lifting vegan retired logic. <laughs> well, he's always welcome to come on. Like I said, that dude can call in anytime. Would you Would you be interested in debating on modern day debates, one on one, neutral platform, etc.? Uh, not really. I don't really like that channel, and I think they have a lot of lame what about debates. Barquet, and... maybe. What's that? What about if uh, Barquet was to debate him on modern day debates? Will I debate Barquet on modern day debate? No, would Barquet debate? Uh, Lifting vegan logic on look if mind. if, if lifting to, vegan logic wants to the bloke. if he wants to actually debate and bring arguments he can come on anytime and he knows it he knows that so if he wants to come on he'll come on he doesn't want to come on he wants to play soy ops okay look I can only ask but yeah no no I'm I'm, I'm totally down it, like I said before the uh, the invite is open any of you vegans out there any of you vegans who want to come on and debate you're welcome to come on. There are a few. Rules apply on my channel. There you go. Okay, thank you very much for answering my question. I, I have know. no more to say. Thank how, you very much. How's everything going on? And how's everything in Ireland right now? I hear it's getting kind of crazy. What's that? How's everything in Ireland right now? Are you not in Ireland? Yeah, we're in level three now tonight. Level three lockdown. So three weeks of uh, no pubs, no restaurants. Just grab a bag of cans from the shop and drink away. Yeah, is that what everyone's doing? Everyone's but Jesus, three weeks of no drinking. No drinking in Ireland for three weeks, unfortunately. I saw I, I saw Conor McGregor kind of hoeing out for it and saying, we should do, we need this lockdown and we, maybe we need a level five or something like that up on Twitter. You see his tweets lately? No, I didn't. And if we don't do this, we might die. McGregor is, he's like, he, McGregor's become like the Greta of lockdowns over there in Ireland, it seems. He's been very pro lockdown. And he was, he was, before this even happened, he was like, you gotta lock it down. We gotta lock it down now. We can we do this together, Ireland. We gotta lock it down now. Um, yeah, I'm wondering where he's, where he's getting his, uh, his little instructions from. Well, he wouldn't know. He, he's hanging out in the pizza or someplace like that on the yacht, so he yeah. wouldn't know what's happening. Yeah, he's hanging out with the Princess of Monaco. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Shit, man. Hey, well, look, I, under, I, I get that you want to see that LVL debate. I'm down for it. The reason I do it on my channel, I don't have time to go on these other channels, man. When I come here and I do a three, four hour live stream, at least I get to get some super chats. At least I get to get some income going. And that's why we do it here. All right. So if he wants to come on, he can come on. And um, you know, he, he knows where I'm at. He knows where to come, but yeah, I, I think he's, uh, I don't think he's got the guts to come on and actually debate, to be honest. I think he just wants I'm, to I'm pretty it. sure he's probably stalking your live stream at the moment. Oh, he's here. I'm Point sure he's here. Point. I'm sure he's here. Shout out to and the... I'm hoping he, and I'm hoping he's watching us chat right now so he can get his um, A game going. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey man, thanks for calling in, I, and I uh, appreciate the desire for more debates. Those debates will happen when those vegans step up to debate. So we'll see. All right, thanks, man. Yeah, bro. Thank you. Have a good one, man. Top of the morning to you. It's after three in the fucking morning over there. Top of the morning. That's a prime. That's a prime Irish accent there, man. 
And hey, Bart K, I know, I know you mentioned you got 30 minutes left. Anytime you want to jump out, let me know. We can, uh, you can plug whatever you want, and we can, uh, we can let you do your exit, whatever you want, man. I'm not trying to keep you here. Uh, and, that's, uh, yeah, no, no, that's, that's cool. We can, we can do that. Look, a uh, couple of things. Um, obviously, subscribe to my channel for all the feckin' good that'll do. Um, that's, uh, you'll, you'll find that up there. That's, that's where you can find my channel there under that name. Bart I've got K. another very fine, fine channel as well that you can also subscribe to. It's that one there. That one's also pretty easy to find on the YouTubes. If you want to email me uh, about anything, including this fucking marvelous product here that will increase the release and uh, trafficking and proliferation of your own adult stem cells, comes from a cyanobacteria that only grows in Klamath Lake in Oregon. Uh, email me about that. Um, that's me, pretty much. That's that's all that's going on at the moment. Um, also, send me all your money because studies show that I need it more than you do. <laughs> Bart K, Nutrition Science Watchdog, everybody. There's a link to Bart's channel in the chat right now. I'll put a link to Bart's channel in the description as well. Sub to him. Even though if you sub to him, his sub count won't rise because it's all algorithmically based. But, you know, it is what it is. Bart's out there. He's working hard. He's spreading the word. Meet Militia, Bart K, Bald Man Bad. Uh, it's been awesome chatting with you, man, and I, I appreciate you coming on, Bart. I'll see you soon, brother. Not at all. Thanks. Thanks for having me very much, Tristan. I appreciate it. I always, I always love your show. It's always good fun. Thanks, man. Um, shout out to all the bigots. You're all fucking degenerates, every one of you. Terrible. Every one of you. You're all terrible. See you next time. Um, don't do anything I would. Trust me on that. <laughs> all right. Later, Bart right. K. See you, mate. Take okay. it easy, Catch bro. You. All right. That's Barkay, everybody. Barkay. Barkay's out of here. We got we got someone else here in the waiting room. Hello. Hello, you can unmute yourself. Oh shit. Okay, fantastic. How are you doing, Tristan? Oh, hey, Isaac. How are you? What a surprise that you would come here. How surprising, Isaac. Yeah, How's yeah. it going, fag? How you doing? Well, you know, I thought I would, thought I'd come by. I know you so, did. Yeah, I know you did. You always think you'll come by. And you've been obsessively trying to come by for about two years now with your little narcissistic wound. Because I'm wondering we've... if you want to... Huh? Speak hey. again? Excuse me? Excuse me, Isaac? Well, I'm watching you post. Excuse me? As if vegans want to. Excuse me, Isaac? But when a vegan. Hey, when faggot. Here... Hey, faggot. When a vegan's here to debate. Excuse me, fag? Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Hey, Isaac. Wanna... Hey, Isaac. The fact? The fact? The fact? The fact? Hey, let's... Here, we'll pull up everybody's favorite video here. You guys, big shout out to Ask Yourself, Isaac. You can find Tristan, him. I'm wondering you can, if here, here we go. can get an argument from you. Here we go. So we've got Isaac. Ask yourself, yet again, yet again. We've already debated, fag, and we're not doing it again. I know you got a little narcissistic wound. You're quite upset. You're quite upset. <laughs> but you're the only, you're the only vegan who's not willing, who we're not willing to feature on this channel again. All right, so you're out of here, Isaac. Thank you for calling in, you pathetic little faggot. We'll see you later. All right, what a, what a surprise. Isaac shows up. Desperate, desperate Isaac shows up. <laughs> Ask yourself, what a surprise. Just, I, I, this dude is just stewing in his room all day, every day. Deputy Dave says, Isaac makes me moist, though. <laughs> Carnivore Alliance says, we want raw bliss. Ralph Benj says, that was a surprise. Look, he's, he keeps trying to enter the waiting room as well. Let's see. He keeps trying to enter the waiting Look, he's back again. He's back again. Let's see. Hello? Hello? Can you grab me some ice? Hello? Oh, hey, the fag. The question is, will you stop hiding? Stop hiding from who? Who am I hiding from, ask yourself? From a debate. With who? The guy that we already smashed in a debate? Why don't you do it right now? What do you... No, dude. I'm not debating you. Why would I give yeah, you... Go hide. Why would... Oh, so go not... hide. Oh, go hide. Oh, we're hiding. We're hiding. We right already now, smashed you, dork. You aren't debating. What right? is your argument? What do you even want to debate? 
Well, 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 see, uh, what is oh, the trait? Name the trait. Name the trait that if it was I, true, if name the trait that if it was true, that it would make it OK to mute Isaac. But if not true, it would make it OK to smash Isaac in a debate again. Name the hey, trait that if it were not true, that it would make Isaac not an annoying, obnoxious, obsessed, spurg faggot, that if true, it would let me kick him from this room yet again. Won't defend your view? Can what I? view? What is my view? What do you even want to okay, debate? Well, I take. Will you let me characterize your view? So I take. No, you won't view. characterize it. You will. You let me Going state your view for you. Said will you go time. ahead and let me? You will. Will you let me make your argument for you and then uh, pretend to beat you with a, a straw man argument? Oh, will you? Oh, huh? yeah. Will you? Huh? Huh? All right. So you're gone. Isaac is gone yet again. Here we, here we have an actual person, an actual human. Here we have an actual person, an actual human. This is nice. This is a good surprise. Father Deacon Ananias, what's up? This is a good surprise. Father Deacon Ananias, what's up? Long time listener, first time caller. Long time listener. Mute, mute your browser. Go ahead and mute the browser. Mute your browser. Bring me a towel. Just spill right there. Got it. There we go. Father Robo. Deacon, Dr. Adonais. Hey. Great to have you here. Thank you for having me. What's happening? How are you, my friend? Good, man. How's Mon Yeah, how's Montana? Fantastic. What a fantastic day today. Uh, beautiful weather. It was 82 up here. And yeah, I wish you were here, man. Hey, likewise. I got my new private jet. You got a the, you got that private yeah. jet. You best you, you better send that down here, man. Send that down here and fly me up. I'll come visit Montana. I'm gonna pick you up and dry, uh, fly you up here. <laughs> uh, Wouldn't that be? That'd be I cool. wonder if that's what people think like about our Orthodox clergy. Just flying around in their jets. They don't realize that Orthodox clergy actually work and are real people. They don't just live off of, you know. They sound like with uh, like a lot of these evangelical churches, where it's all. It's a weird thing where it's like it's a business at the same time as supposedly a spiritual endeavor. Yeah, what's his name in Lakewood Church? Um, Joel Steen. Yeah, exactly. Tristan, I just, I just feel that the God has given me a word of faith right now, Tristan. That, that if you put your heart and open your heart. <laughs> that you will get a million dollars. That's it. That's like the, the mega church thing, right? It's like if you just if you just go on and open your mind, put put your hands up in the air. Everybody put your hands up in the air. It's all that feeling stuff, right? Put put your hands up in the air and just just say and, and, and just say the words and they'll say stuff like uh like I open your hearts and open your wallets and <laughs> exactly. the Lord will bless you. <laughs> but then it becomes and then it's like the prosperity gospel stuff too. It's like just say like I, I yeah, am he's rich. Actually prosperity gospel, that's right. I am rich mm -hmm. in my heart, I am rich in my soul. Say I'm rich in my heart and rich in my soul out loud. And and go ahead and just shell over all them dollars. Put them in the uh put them in the basket there. Is that just basically the pyramid scheme for Christians? Yeah, yeah, it seems like it. And Southern California is a hot spot for it, right? Like Harvest and all those like the mega churches down there? Uh, yeah, I mean, they've got a lot of mega churches. I was thinking the prosperity gospel is really big in Texas for, my, for some reason. Is it? Where does Joel Osteen live? Does he live in Texas? Yeah, he's in um, Houston. Um, I think, what was I? I was when uh, Jay and I were down there for the conference we're in Houston. Wait, don't don't say J. You're gonna you're gonna conjure up. Ask yourself again if you say the J word. You're gonna conjure up. Yeah, conjure yeah, up Kingsburg. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's funny that he keeps coming on. I can't to... believe that he and twice. I'm sure he'll try again. Hey, by the way, let me just let everybody know that um, you don't have to answer any up, and you don't have to debate anybody who challenges you. There's no rule in the, <laughs> the rule book that says you have to debate everybody who challenges you to. Well, I do say I'll debate anything. any of these vegans who want to come on, but I, I should stipulate humans, no, vegan yeah. humans, not, not, not vegan uh, spurg bots. 
like uh, like ask yourself. And vegans who I haven't already debated and smashed and destroyed. Uh, and of course, he he's he's so confident in his arguments. Why does he want to rematch so bad? I thought he believes he won. I thought he believes he won the debate. Why is he obsessed with us? <laughs> that's, oh, that's a good point. Yeah, I thought he won. Shouldn't he just take his take his W and and parade through the streets? No, he wants a rematch. Why is that? That's a really good, really good point. Man, you. Um, how how uh, did you hear that one? There was a caller who tried to troll earlier with the. Uh, I don't know if you heard. There was like a, a, a weird caller that tried to, say some. Were you, did you did you catch oh, that? <laughs> we, yeah, that was weird. Very strange. Yeah, gave him the boot. Yeah. People were just getting weird. Um, half of them might be due to your diet, right, Tristan? Mm. <laughs> If you feel like you're getting weird, it might be because you're not getting uh, your fats and proteins up in yes. All right. So there's another, isn't it a moron in the chat? Uh, Ellie Count says, is the fact the only vegan that will come on the stream? Also, be less toxic and just make a public statement that uh, Isaac isn't welcome. That statement has been made 50 times, you moron. Okay. And then say, be less toxic. Don't be in my chat, you moron. So you're out. Look, I'm sorry. I, I have no patience for you and your stupidity, Ellie Count. So you're out, you moron. You are now not in the chat anymore. Okay, so I've said a hundred times that that guy is not allowed on this channel. <laughs> he, has no, oh. he, has no, he has no space on this channel and the debate has already been done many times. So anyways, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Like once you've made that formal that you can kind of poke fun. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't mind. Yeah, it's, it's like you... You can uh, anybody can call in. He can call in again, but he's not going to get a debate. He's not going to get what he wants. He can call in. You can call in as many times as you want, Isaac. I'll even pull you back in, but you're not going to get what you want, dude. You can keep begging, and you can beg nicely for the next two years, like you have for the last two years, and then maybe I'll consider one day debating you yet again. Somebody asked me, um, ask yourself. Uh, was in the Discord and wanted me to debate him today. I today? Him. Are you serious? Today? Yeah, I saw Wait. somebody was messing with me. Ask yourself, came to your Discord debate. and tried to debate you today, and then he came Not to my Discord, somebody else's. Somebody else's Discord and asked to debate you or somebody else? Me. <laughs> I cannot believe this. So he's, he's following, he's so obsessed. He's following you everywhere, and he just, look at this. You guys want to see something funny? He somehow, mm -hmm. look at this. I just pulled up Discord, and here, I'll pull it up so you guys can see it. Um, yeah, speaking of Discord. Be in there? Yeah. Right here he goes. He's, he's messaging. He's trying to DM me again. Tristan, why don't you stop hiding and defend your view? It's almost like you want to prey on white belts and hide from anyone who knows how to pwn you. You and Jay flee every time. Every time. Dude, we already debated you, fag. Why do you keep doing this? What is your problem? <laughs> Why are you so obsessed? Do you want to, do you want it to try to... It is weird. Yeah, it's so weird, it. dude. You're pathetic, That's ask weird. yourself. You're pathetic. You are pathetic and obsessed. The fact that you tried to you tried to find Father Deacon Doctor Ananias today on Discord. <laughs> Either that or somebody else is wanting me to. It's not clear from the message. Okay. It says, do you want to add, do you want to debate? Ask yourself in the. I don't know if I'm going to bet the server. Is so. obsessed. Totally obsessed. It's the same. Watch. He'll 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 yeah. come here. He'll come in the Zoom again. If you come in the Zoom again, we'll let you in. You can, you can get a few words in again, ask yourself. I like seeing your face. It's, <laughs> it's, I like seeing your little twisted, spurgy face. <laughs> it's, it's really, it's enjoyable. I wouldn't mind. You could come back. You're cute. You're cute. You're like a, like a little sad puppy dog that's been locked outside and scratching at the door. It's funny. Um, man. I like this. All day. Yeah. <laughs>
And there's so uh, California is not. I don't, I don't think you're regretting leaving California, are you? It's so peaceful here. You know what's amazing is that politics isn't even on my mind. Um, everything's feels normal. Yeah. I mean, I have to like actually research and find out that the world's actually going to hell and on fire and everything's falling apart because up here it feels normal. Yeah. My parents just came and visited and then they left this morning. And, um, yeah, it was really good. They like it. That's amazing. Now we just got to keep all the Californians out. So I'm praying for a really cold winter. <laughs> yeah, I'm always, I'm always. I, I saw this, I saw this t-shirt that says, don't California in my Montana. Yeah, that's nice. Well, that Idaho is getting, getting hit too. I, every once in a while I jump in oh, because. Idaho. Crazy. Yeah, I, I've been looking at like the real estate in Idaho and just watching the just the listings and how it's it's you see the prices are pretty high. People are getting they're getting dreamer prices now. And this happened in Ecuador in 2010. Tons of people were trying to leave the states. Like in the beginning of the Obama administration, you had the um, what's it called Obamacare and all that. And a lot of people were concerned with the direction the country was heading. And a lot of people skipped out on the U.S. in 2010, 2011. Um, and what happened was the real estate prices in a lot of areas in Ecuador, especially the town we live in, because people had heard about this town for some reason, people just jacked the prices up on what they wanted. And it's been inflated ever since then. Like since 2012, like people are just... It hasn't been really adjusted at all. Yeah, the people, that, like they're, the Ecuadorians, they'll just sit on it and they'll just wait until some idiot comes and gives them the price they want. So they'll wait for years. And um, so, yeah, people are still, they have their dreamer prices listed, but I don't think people are buying at that price now. But Idaho is, it seems like it's going to get, it's going to get uh, invaded. And Texas, obviously. Yeah, well, thank God. I was worried that Toe Rogan was going to come up here because it was uh, Montana and Texas was his. And, of course, we have to worry about it. All his followers would, I'm good, bro. I'm going to Montana. Um, what was this guy made a joke today? So we live in Helena, Montana. Yeah. And they get really upset if you call it Helena. Oh. Because uh, that's like so the California guy, accent? <laughs> Helena. Helena. He's like, oh, are you are you coming here to Helena, Montucky? <laughs> I thought that was really funny. Helena Montucky. Mont Montucky. Um, but Joe decided to go to Texas. Mm -hmm. Which is crazy because that's like a zero tolerance state. Isn't he a big Yeah, that's what I was wondering. How is he gonna get his uh how is he gonna get his weed thing? I I think maybe Austin is more liberal in those laws, but I mean Austin is already I don't know anybody who's ever been to Austin. It's kind of a college town type vibe. It feels like mm -hmm. California there. Austin feels a yeah. lot like California. Very liberal. So I would expect, unfortunately, Texas to kind of sway more towards California's politics in the coming years. Yeah, it's funny. So you ever heard of these things called um, ring? Like the ring doorbells? No. What is that? Ring, like, and it's got like a camera... And you can um, you can see who's coming to your door. Oh and yeah, when yeah. I was in yeah. Russia, like any like it was like a motion detector. So when I was in Russia and Romania, I could watch like my neighbors mm -hmm. and creep on. Be like, oh, <laughs> that's what they're doing. Um, yeah, it's a type of thing like people stealing packages and stuff like that. But then it becomes like this neighborhood app where everybody starts reporting like crimes that they see around like a uh, car being broken into. Um, a lot of them will post like the, the videos of like some weird like homeless person like coming up and be like, and they'll have a blanket. And um, it's a really weird phenomenon because you get really intrigued watching. You're like, sweetheart, look at this. Look at these dudes. The scariest one is like three or four huge big dudes came with like 
mass, like straight out of a horror movie. And they were like, doo, 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 on the, and I'm like, oh my gosh. So one of the bad thing, I mean, the good thing is you get to see, there's kind of like a neighborhood watch through this. But the bad, the, the downshot of this, and the, the bad side of it is um, you start getting super paranoid. Mm. And your mind's constantly, mm. it's like having a police like a CB and picking up on like all the, yeah. the crimes going on. So what I've noticed is that I still get the, the app, like all the messages come in. <laughs> and I don't know what's going on in California these last two weeks, but it's crazy. It's just like every minute, it's like guy getting jacked, car getting jacked person crawling wow. into somebody's house and like I'm like what is so I don't know I bring that up because I don't know there's no tension up here it's so yeah. peaceful um but for those of you in California um I've heard that the tension feels like it's building and one sign of that might be um higher crime rates more stuff going on yeah I don't know if you have any California folk that are feeling that right now yeah, I worry for my family. I imagine any of the big cities. It's not just California. Yeah. Yeah, I worry. I worry about my family out there. It's um, it's hard. It's it's hard to uh, it's hard to see what what happened in such a beautiful place, right? It's such a like physically and geographically gorgeous place. There's so much good. There's a lot of good people there too. Like I grew up with a lot of cool people in California, but it's a mess right now. That whole state is a freaking mess. My wife and I just talked about that, that California is hands down probably one of the most beautiful states. The type of geography it has, the variety. Mm. Um, and I really like looking at photos from like the 20s and 30s yeah. before it was developed. Um, just beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the history of but California. Then you gotta go run it. Yeah, it's, it's kind of been running to the ground. The history of California is crazy, too, with how they brought water in and, I don't know, all the, just all the water games that got played, and they still get played in the Central Valley there. You know, they have artificial droughts that are created just by the redirection of water. It's very political, the, uh, the management of California. It's very politically skewed. Great movie. Remember with Jack Nicholson, Chinatown, yeah. and then what was the other... Chinatown, right? You know that was... What's his name? That was, uh, yeah, it was a Polanski movie. It was Roman yeah. Polanski. Why can't I remember the name of the other movie? Um, Chinatown and is it Two Jakes? I didn't see that is one. That the... Anyways, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I just wanted to jump in and say hi, unless you want to get asked yourself in here and have a little fun before I leave. <laughs> <laughs> you can come in. Like I said, you can wait a couple minutes. Ask yourself. I mean, we know you're still watching. You can jump back in. You could jump back in, ask yourself. Let's see. And you guys remember, we, do, we got open lines here. Anyone's welcome to call in. If you ask yourself, we'll see what happens when you call in. <laughs> but I did say anyone's welcome to call in. Of course, he was watching. Of course, he was watching. Ask yourself. All right, you guys, uh, make sure to check out uh, Father Deacon Dr. Ananias' channel as well. He has a channel on YouTube, Norwegian News, N-O-U-S. The Norwegian Thank you. news, right? I've been bad about getting stuff up. Um, I'd wait for my mics and stuff um, to get up here and get settled. But yeah. Hopefully, we'll... and uh, we should do a stream together. We'll yeah, about... yeah. Do you have any? Do you have any ideas on topics? Um, how about animal ethics? Ooh. Do animals have a right? Do animals have rights? There we go. Now that's that's a I kind believe of... animals do have rights. They have a right to be um, eaten. Um, they have a right to be um, our pets. Yeah. They have, a... have you heard that joke? They they do. I mean, they they have a right to be eaten. They have a right to be our pets. They have a right to be put to work. Right. They they great workers sometimes. Like ox. Um, here a lot of uh, a lot of people use oxes and. Uh, they'll till with the ox. Now, I'm not big on tilling. I think tilling, uh, you can you can do a lot better for the soil without tilling it so much. But it is it's a tool that's been used for forever. And um, yeah, the the, uh, the whole argument against the like you shouldn't eat animals. 
why shouldn't you eat animals? It's always interesting to see what people come with, right? Like what, what is the argument against eating animals that people come with? And I've never, I've never heard a valid one. I've yet to hear a valid one. Now there, there is the, the guy that was trying to come earlier. He likes to play the game, the ask, the, uh, what is it, name the trait game. So I guess, yeah, I mean, he could he oh, come back on though. Yeah. Could, that's that's that an interesting mean? one. Name the trait. They think that, that it's like the golden bullet. They think it's the silver, the golden gun, silver bullet for, for the carnists is name the trait that makes it to where you can eat an animal. No, wait, this name the trait that makes it okay to kill and eat an animal, but not okay to kill and eat a human. That's the, tr the game. And they think that that's a great argument. I guess it works on materialists. It works on uh, nihilists, which is mostly what they prey upon. So what if we flip it on them and say, name the trait that allows um, an animal to eat an animal? Exactly. That's that's what I do. You name the trait that makes it okay for animals to eat animals, but doesn't make it but makes it wrong for humans to eat animals. That's an interesting one. So if ask yourself if you wanted to come in and talk about your name the trait, maybe we could. Maybe we could. Even though even though you're you're a disingenuous, pathetic, obnoxious obsessed little spurg you could come on and we could play your game we could play the game and see and see what's up like yeah Is welcome it? name that tree ba -ba 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 -na -ba -na -ba. <laughs> name the tree for 200 that allows one yeah um that would be i think that would be a good stream to do about ethics yeah um yeah i'd love to do that and we could uh i mean you're a just to give the audience a little background, you are a philosophy professor, right? I mean, you have a you have a PhD in philosophy, don't you? And I'll actually be teaching ethics next semester, so yeah, that's cool. Yeah, we'll say I don't I don't I don't see our our friend coming in here. He doesn't seem like he wants to uh, to join. By the way, I'm gonna actually do that with my students. I'm gonna give them some issue to think through with um, animal, quote unquote, ethics, um, humans eating animals and stuff like that. And I, I'd just be curious to see them work through these things without me. Mm. So the kind of idea is that you would allow a student to, um, you know, before they learned all the tools of how to think through these ethical issues and the various principles. Yeah. Allow them to work through it through themselves, then you give them the tools and they learn and then have revisit. Do you think differently about um, how you would approach this? What do you think about it now? So I'd just be curious what, I've done this before just in my philosophy class that, and I think you and I've talked about this before, the issue in philosophy will come up of distinguishing, um, for example, Aristotle has a definition for human beings is the rational animal. And so what he does is he says, to find an essential definition for something, you locate its genus, its general category. So we're all animals, we know that. Um, we have a biological animal life. But then he says, to find the essential definition, then locate the specific difference. So you might, um, recognize the word general specific and genus species. Mm. That's essentially what the essential definition of a thing would be. So you have us in the genre animal. What makes us um, specifically different from the rest of the animals? And there's a funny joke. Um, I guess one of the students had said, oh, a featherless biped. And so somebody took a chicken, plucked out and put a sign on it, featherless biped equals um, human being, mm -hmm. and threw it over the school wall um, at the Lyceum to illustrate that was a bad definition. And what he realizes is that what makes us specifically different is rationality. And we can go into, that's different than intelligence because animals can be intelligent. And I know you and I have talked about, you know, rooted theologically, this is in the image of God, ultimately. 
but I go through with the students um, various things of what rationality is and what animals, what the other animals can't do. Um, the level of abstraction, um, judgments, predications, and the difficulty level that the jump between that and say, let's uh, a highly developed chimpanzee that learns uh, sign language. I think they can learn up to 76 words or something like that. Well, that's funny. So there's a limit. So it's like there, there's so much that they can take on and handle and then, and then they're unable to go past that. So this is the distinction that I make. The chimp can learn the sign language for red ball. But guess what the chimp will never be able to get? The ball is red. And if you think on that, you might think there's not a difference, but there's almost an infinite difference between red ball versus the ball is red. The first one's a name. In fact, you could just call it um, Zaza Zaza or something like that. You're pointing out something and you're giving it a name. Red ball, the words we use, whether that be English or Spanish, um, what is it, rojo? Uh, mm -hmm. Can't remember ball in Spanish. Mm. You remember? You, you speak Spanish. Ball is it balloon. I mean, there's a bunch of different words you could use. Pelota, balloon. Balloon. Pelota. Balloon rojo. Sí, un balón, un pelota rojo. Um, that's just a name. The I. When you say the ball is red. What you have to do is you have to go through, um, think about when a child, you give them a baseball and you say ball and they imitate it. They're at the level of like an animal, ball. And then you give them a soccer ball and you, they're really confused, you're like ball. Cause they thought that was the unique name for the tennis ball or something like that. You give them a football and you go on and on and they get confused until they get a eureka moment and they get it. That that's not a name, it's an idea. Mm -hmm. They have a level of abstraction. So an animal will need to do that, then be able to take other concepts and abstractions like redness and say it belongs and attaches it to in the form of a judgment in which they have semantics, not just syntax, uh, the order of words, but the apprehension of meaning through abstract concepts and the further level of being able to make predicates um, and judgments. Mm -hmm. No animal can do that. Um, and, and you see this within um, human language versus kind of prototype, proto languages like sign language that you could teach a chimpanzee. So really what I would say is that animals are nominalists. Like if anybody's familiar mm, with yeah, the and and most pe and a lot of people in the West right now are also nominalists. I mean, like I guess uh, yeah, they reduce themselves to the level of animals. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a common feature actually in the history of philosophy is that you go back to um, the beast and the beast. Mm. And what what, do you, what would you say are some of the issues with nominalism? What would be some of the uh, uh, what would you say would be some of the logical, but then also maybe even you know, spiritual and metaphysical issues with nominalism. Like, you want to define so, it? Like, how would you define it also for if there's, you know, some, some folks in the chat who've never read much about nominalism? Yeah, it's to deny universals. Universals are the one thing common in many. So if I have, um, for example, I have different books here with red but red is not identical this is not redness itself mm -hmm. it's an instance and so the idea is there's are they similar are the two books similar and you say yes they are well by what are they similar and you say they're both red that means you're at the very least appealing to some idea which you think those two objects i.e the books share of which that one thing is not identical with any one book. That is a universal. So the one among many that's not simply identified with any one thing. Uh, we could say the same thing with 
what is it that you and I ha uh, have in, in common? Uh, you could say we're human beings, but it would be strange to say um, I am human being. I'm identical with an uniquely human being. There's not a one-to-one -one correspondence. Um, so we both, in a sense, participate in what's called the one universal. Now the questions come up that does that actually have a real existence? And separately from the objects in our minds, then you're what you call a realist. I believe universals like redness, triangleness, human beingness exist separate from all particular instances, exist separate from a mind and are mind independent, then you're a realist. If you think, oh, they exist, but they don't exist separate from a mind, then you're what you call a conceptualist. Anomalous will say they don't exist at all. They're just names. And there are several kind of refutations of that. Um, Bertrand Russell gave a really good one. Um, but one way to just look at it is if you say things are resembling, if everything's just a particular as opposed to a universal. So universal means all. Yeah. So when I say red, I mean all red things, correct? Mm -hmm. Versus a particular red thing. So in logic, that's how we distinguish. Universal is all, in particular is, is one or a few. So anomalous is gonna say, there really is no all. All is just another particular. Mm -hmm. But if you ask them, okay, well, how is it that these things, what is it that they, the particular things have in common by which we call red? they're going to appeal to something beyond the particular. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to say, you're going to try to get them and say, okay, you got a universal. No, no, that's just another particular. And what Bertrand Russell says is they get involved in an infinite regress. Like it'll never stop. In other words, um, there is no meaning behind it. If, if the buck doesn't stop somewhere, sort of like, um, you remember when we were kids and you ask your parents, um, a question um, and they say, well, because of this. And you were like, why, why, why that? Because of this, because of this. Um, we always felt that if they didn't get to the bottom of it, if you just kept, if our parents just kept saying, well, because this, because this, because this, we wouldn't feel like that would be a coherent, a cogent answer. Like they don't know what they're talking about. They just keep literally passing the buck. Mm -hmm. um, so it has to stop someone. So it's kind of Bertrand Russell's argument that nominalism is, is self-refuting. Um, you either, in an attempt to explain what's like family resemblances is what Wittgenstein's thing was, um, in an attempt to explain how um, things resemble, you either appeal to a universal if you try to get out of that by identifying universals as particulars, you get involved in infinite regress and it's self stultifying So that's kind of a quick run through. I know it's much more complicated than that, but that's just for the, the audience, kind of a general run through on universals. Cool. Yeah, thank you, man. Yeah, I, think, I think Ask Yourself does want to jump back in and actually, uh, we'll see. We'll see what he has to say. If he wants to come in, he can come in, and we'll see if he wants to. I don't know if he can, because we kicked him from the call, I don't, let me make sure he has permission. Participants. I gotta open my window, man, it's getting hot in here. It's getting cold over here. It's getting late over here, too. What's that? Uh, what time zone are you on, Central? Mountain. So what is that? So it's what, nine, one nine hour behind me. All right, so it's 10, 15. What are you? Are you like 10 or 11? We're central time right now. Sometimes we are, sometimes 10, we're, 15. we switch like, because when you guys do daylight savings time in the US, for yeah. a period of the year, we're Eastern. And then for a period of the year, yeah. we're central. And right now I believe we're central. Right, I guess yeah, he's, yeah. I don't know. He's like trying to get in, I guess, but I don't know if, I don't think when you, when you say, when you remove somebody from a call, they're still allowed to get back in if they have the link, right? 
Yeah, you, you can just... All he has to do is, I mean, because he already did it twice. He already jumped in twice. He, so he says it's not letting him join. Let me see if I've got, I'll just send an invite. Copy invitation. Yeah, you can. Here's an invite. We'll see if that works. All right. So anyways, here we go. We'll have a little bit more patience this time. So anyways, background information on uh, the whole, uh, what's his face? The whole uh, Isaac situation. Isaac, vegan gains, Jay and I debated like two years ago. Dude has been obsessively begging to come back on and debate ever since then. Um, you know, always with the same, oh, you're stupid. I'm going to come on and smash you. I'm going to come on and smash you, smash you, smash you. Um, and... Both Jay and I said before, like, there is no reason to re-engage with him because he was so disingenuous and seemingly so dishonest, but maybe we read it wrong. Maybe he just genuinely wants to have a conversation. Maybe he is, uh, may maybe I'm just being a jerk, and maybe he wants to have a genuine discussion. So we'll see if he, uh, we'll see if this works, if he can join. Because we've already been going for, we've already been streaming for a while. And man, you stream. You're you're an animal, man. If if that ain't, it's not letting him join. Like, like this, the best commercial for um, carnivore keto, man. If you <laughs> you get on the carnivore, you can stream for five hours straight uh -huh. every day. I haven't even peed. I haven't even peed in this five hours. Um, <laughs> Um, you got your, your, your stream lab. Calculator. The host, okay, so if the host go. removes you from a meeting, apparently you can't come back in. Uh, okay, let's figure this out. Um, navigate, allow removed. Okay, meeting tab, in meeting basic. I have to go to, a, okay. Let's see. Meetings. All right, sorry for the dead air time, guys. Hey, for those of you watching, I know we've had, we've, it, it's slowed down. The stream has slowed down now, but we enjoy doing these streams. I'm glad we could have Father Deacon Dr. Ananias on here. I guess ask yourself trying to, uh, to join. Um, and we're going to see if he can come on. If you guys like these streams, support the streams. Streamlabs is the only way to support YouTube. Uh, don't don't support YouTube by setting the super chats there. Um, beard man bad. <laughs> beard, bald man bad. Beard man bad. Navigate to the meetings tab. Meeting basic and switch on the allow. Where is that? Switch on. Edit. Ask yourself, you know you have like five alt accounts on everything. Just sign into a different account and join the meeting. Why does it have to be? Um, let's see. While you're waiting, I'm going to read Tristan's poetry to all of you that he... Tristan's poetry? What are you... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> read some like yeah. some lame Jim Morrison poem. <laughs> have you ever read that Jim, was, Jim that Morrison's wasn't poetry? That was you that sent me that po uh, book of poems from Tristan. <laughs> that's supposed to, that was just the DMs, man. That's supposed Oops. to be private, bro. That's supposed to be private. Show me the invitation. Okay. That'd be totally Skateboarding team in Hawaii. Hawaii. Let's sit. Right, and uh, you just imagine them shirtless all day. Right. Thanks, Kellyanne French. Kellyanne French just sent 15 via the Streamlabs. Appreciate that, Kelly. We we know who that is. Jessica says, oh, Kelly. She's over here. Not knitting. Cross stitching. He can't sign into all the... All right, I got to figure this out. Allow remove. Okay. I'm going to figure this out. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't you worry, everybody. Um, all right. Yeah, I don't, I don't like having dead airtime on streams, but... Okay, I'll, I'll talk while you... You talk. You just talk. Just say random words. Random word generator. Oh yeah, that's interesting. Um, pick a, a book and just pick out the rant. Oh, do you remember Mad Lips? 
You guys remember Mad yes, Libs? Yes, I do. I do. Whatever happened, that was good. I had fun with Mad Libs. Speaking of random words. All right, here we go. I'm figuring out the setting here. I got to toggle the... How did Mad Libs work? So it was something like, you have to pick a noun. Like it would tell you, right? Pick a noun and then here would be a verb. All right, there you go. He can rejoin now. But he was able to rejoin earlier, though. So that's what's funny. I guess maybe when it happens twice. I'm, I'm going to do the stream like this. So. Is this okay? Is that, a, is that what they call a man bun in the back there? What do they call that? Is that a man bun? That's called a monk. That's because you're clergy. I was going to say, because you're clergy, I feel like we can't call it a man I, bun. I, I, yeah, I wouldn't wear this thing if I wasn't clergy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know, if yeah, I... That's it, like, when people are like, oh, man, check out the... Is that a man? Hey, that's a cool man bun. I was like, man, man bun? You worth about been wearing this for 2,000 years. Now you're going to come up on here and... Yeah, you notice if I'm wearing my cassock, nobody would... Be like, mm. look at that priest wearing a man bun. <laughs> Is he coming on? I don't you know. Got it? I don't know. Let's see. I just changed the settings on the back end. Here's what I'll do. You know what I'll do? I'm going to, I'll just, here, I'm going to end, let's see. Okay, he just tried. Let me end this Zoom call. I'll just, I'll just make a new Zoom call. One second. Okay. You join, uh, join this Zoom yeah. call again. I'm going to put the link back in the, okay. uh, in the description. And I'll just end this one. I'll do a new one. I'll be right back. All right. Okay. It's getting late, but you know, in the in the spirit of this channel, we got to make it to at least four hours. On the <laughs> it's like five four hour streams in a row. Um, let's see if this works. Okay. Now I'm gonna send an invite to both of you. No, actually. Oops, that's the wrong one. Here, let's just do a new leave meeting. All right, all right, everybody. Sorry for the dead air time. We're trying to make this Zoom thing work. We're trying to get get this guy that was just kicked, that's been obsessively trying to debate for so long. We're gonna see what he wants to talk about. And all right, here we go. I got a new Zoom meeting here, and I will start videos, join audio, and I'm gonna invite participants. Copy invitation. Here we go. There's for you. And then I'm going to put a link for other audience members. Because we can still do call-ins. You guys still want to call in? You can still call in. You guys can still call in. How's everybody doing in the chat? 150 viewers in the chat. Took so many calls today. We've got all sorts of... All sorts of fun on the show today. Here we go. We finally. Change the description here. And I'm going to remove that part of it. Okay. All right, now, 
Discord is pulled up. Let's see. I just put the link. There's a new link. Father Deacon Dr. Ananias. There's a new link. I'll send it to you in Skype. Oh, wait. No, they're both in the waiting room. Cool. There we go. And I just have to remove... Oops. I'm going to hide my self-view. There we go. Okay. So now we have... Father Deacon Ananias, Father Deacon Dr. Ananias, and oh. is Fidelio. There you go. No, that's a different. You like, you like that? You like that? The uh, Eyes Wide Shut no. reference? Exactly. Fidelio. Fidelio. All right, so now, now we got it. You look way too excited, Isaac. <laughs> oh, I'm just laughing at some shit over here, dude. Cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm always, I'm always happy to talk to, uh, you know, talk to people who. Well, you've been, you've been trying to talk to me for, it's been like two years and you've been trying really hard. And I have to say, I appreciate persistence. <laughs> I do appreciate persistence and I appreciate the, uh, the, the desire to talk. And I hope it's like a desire to have an actual conversation and have an actual, and you say you want to debate, but uh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure why. You believed you won the last debate, didn't you? Didn't you think you beat? You beat me and Jay in the last debate. You're so sure of that. Oh yeah, I mean, I think it was pretty brutal. But it's pretty brutal. I, mean, so I, I don't see why that would preclude uh -huh. wanting to talk further. Well, it just, it just seems like you're uh, you're very excited to talk. So I'm glad I'm glad you're here now. And um, yeah, what did what did you want to talk about? Ask yourself. Well, I'll, I'll address what you just said. I mean, I'm perfectly happy to have a good faith conversation. Oh really? Um, oh really? That's new. As well. Huh. Well, I, I don't think it's new, but I do think it should go okay. both ways. Oh, yeah, well, well, Jay and I, when we had our conversation with you before, it was always in good faith, right? But you tried to poison the well right off the bat and destroy the ability to even have a debate about the topic that we were discussing. So I think that you weren't acting in good faith at all, and I think it was abundantly clear. And the fact that you're so butthurt for the last two years, obsessively trying to get some rematch and get, your, uh, and get this uh, vindication, I think that kind of shows that you did have sort of a narcissistic wound, and you've been obsessing over Jay, stalking him for like two years now, and he didn't want to have you, he didn't want to debate you again. He was like, dude, if Ask Yourself comes on, because we knew you were going to do it, we saw that, we saw your little puppet, uh, what's what? his... Come, come on your show? You know, we, we knew you were going to be the one from like five days before that, uh, what's his face, Lifting Vegan Logic, we knew that it was going to be you because of the way he was like typing his, uh, his little arguments. We could tell that you'd been talking to him. So it's like, okay, he's going to bring Ask Yourself. Poisoning his mind with my... No, no, it's not poisoning his mind. You could just tell that you're, you're trying to use him to get in and actually try and just you know, have the, as you call it, a good faith conversation with Jay and I. Uh, but hey, if it, is, if it is a good faith conversation, it's a good faith conversation and, and that's fine. You know, we don't have to... We can just forget about the past and have a conversation. That's cool. Yeah, well, I mean, all I'll say is that I disagree with your characterization there, but I have a feeling you'll really want to uh, really defend that. So if I press on it, that will become the conversation, right? And oh, that's, it, it is what it is. People, like can, people can go back. People can go back and look. It is, it, it, yeah, I would encourage them to, absolutely. Yeah, me too. Uh, so what, what do you want to talk about, man? What do you want, Isaac? Well, so on the last stream, where I, I mean, I thought that I was coming on to debate, whatever. If there's a miscommunication, that's fine. That's the vibe I got. No, he, he, he never told me it was you coming on. And it was, it, was, uh, it was pretty clear that you weren't welcome on. Especially Jay doesn't want to debate you again. He thinks you're, he thinks you're a, a okay. weirdo and he's, he's sick of you stalking him. But <laughs> I, you, I blocked you on, those, on a few platforms so you couldn't stalk me anymore. So it's okay. You don't annoy me that much. That stalking is quite the take, but... Anyway, let's just talk about the topic, right? Yeah, so yeah. what I heard you say on that stream or what I heard Jay say was that the trait that differentiates animals from humans. On what stream? Oh, wait, what stream? Well, you, if you have a question or if you have a proposition, you can make, you can make an argument, but you, don't, you can't characterize myself or Jay. Jay's not even here. I'm not sure why you're well, still I'm just, talking about I'm Jay. I'm just going to quote him verbatim. You can tell me if the I'm not debating. Right. We're not debating about Jay. If you have an argument to bring with myself, or there's also Father Deacon Dr. Well, Ananias here. Me, if you'd let me complete the sentence, it'd be good. You can't, no, but if you're so, going to make my argument for me, that's not how it works. I haven't made an argument. You're the one who's no, here to argue. Do I'm you gonna, have an argument? Just, just, like, just like you can do, I'm going to ask, is that your position? What position? And then if it is, then I have something to say to it. 
So what I heard Jay say um, in the last conversation that you guys had, mm -hmm. the stream that I thought was going to be a debate, was that the trait that differentiates animals from humans, such that it's ethical to murder the one, but not the other, although he didn't use the word murder, but that's what I take it to be. What is murder? Uh, what I is murder? That, define murder? Said, Excuse me, first of all, you have to define that, murder. Well, uh, we if can, we're gonna have we a can, good we faith can, debate, if I'm, we're gonna have I'm, a good- I'm happy to say, I'm happy to say kill in the context that we're currently- If we're gonna have a good faith right. debate, we have to be able to just, we have to, we have to be able- Hey, Tristan, stop, stop talking I, for a second. The, no, 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 shut the fuck up for a second. We're gonna have a good faith debate if we're going to have a good can, faith debate, we have to be able to define the terms that we're debating. And we have to come to an okay. agreement on what these terms mean. So if you say murder, murder is the unlawful, the mere... murder is the unlawful killing of human. One second, then we don't need to... But if you keep abusing the mute, we can't have... No, no, this is my stream, so... you idiot. You're coming on to talk to me. So no. it's not, this is not a neutral okay. ground. You're no. coming to talk to me. No. Go ahead. Okay, so... Right. Okay. So okay. 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 What I okay, heard okay. is that the yeah. thing that makes it ethical. Yeah. Well, you're, you're starting to get triggered already. I no, no, I'm it. not triggered. It's just you. You don't. You don't are speak you in good faith. Are you going to let me get through the argument, Tristan? How long are you going to take to make an argument? You're trying to make my argument for yeah. me. What is my argument? No, I'm. I'm trying to characterize what I take the position to be. Ask you if you hold uh, it, and then raise an issue with it. So what I heard Jay say is the thing that makes the Jay's not difference. here. Jay's not here. What is this? That's why I'm asking you. What does you, this have to do with Just like Jay? I said a second ago, just like I said a second ago, that's why I'm asking you if you hold the position, right? I heard him say that the thing that makes the moral difference is uh, having a soul. Do you take that view? What are you talking about? What is your argument? That's just a question right now. Do, I'm asking do humans you, have a soul? You're asking me if I believe that humans have a soul. I wasn't asking if you believe they have a soul. I'm asking if you think that having a soul is the thing that differentiates animals and humans morally, such that it's okay to stab the one in the throat and not the other. What's the question? I'm asking if, okay, if you think that... in Hawaii. Oh, right, sorry, you're, you're breaking things for me. Right? I mean, hold on, hold on. I got to read a super chat. It. Let me read a super chat real quick. Sure. We got a few super chats to read. <clears throat> DB sends $5, mm -hmm. says LOL. Kellyanne French donates 15. She didn't say anything. We already read that one, though. Uh, thank you, DB. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Isaac, what is your question? Do you have an argument or a question? Well, right now, I'm just trying to understand what the position is. What I position? You want to, You say you want to come debate. Your debate. position. My Obviously position on your what? Your position, Tristan. I'm talking to you. My position on what? Your position on the question I just asked, which is, do you take the view that the thing that differentiates animals... <clears throat> from humans morally, such that it's okay to stab one in the throat, but not the other, is having a soul. Well, I would say that... I wasn't asking you. No, no, he's, he's here and you're coming I mean, to talk. I can debate you both, but I was, I was curious what Tristan's view is. Dude, this Wait. is a stream, dude. This is not a formal debate, dork. If you want to talk, talk. Don't be a spurred. Yeah, do you want, do you want me to... Do you want to actually have a conversation talk? or you just want to play stupid games? If, sure, if Tristan wants you, if Tristan wants to leave you to defend the view, that's... No, fine. he's been here serious. the whole... He's been here... Be he was here before you came, dude. Do you have... I don't I'll think keep, that changes I'll what I just said. Mouth. You don't have to keep your mouth shut. I just... If Tristan doesn't want to defend the view, then I'm happy to have you do it. But if Tristan wants well, to, I'd be curious what he has to I, say. I know the view that Tristan holds, Angela. Well, I would like to know if he actually holds it. No, no, no. You're trying <laughs> you to make... You're trying to make my... You're trying to make an argument for me. What is your question? No, I'm just, what is I'm your not, argument? I haven't even made an argument yet. I'm just asking you if you hold the view. I'm asking you, I, do you take the view? If I take a view that human beings have souls. Tristan, you have to speak to me and then I'll speak. So, How funny would that be? So, so Isaac, you can't speak to Tristan. You have to speak to me. And then on the stream, I'll relay the message to Tristan. And then Tristan, <laughs> you relay the message to me and I'll give it to you. Let, wait, wait, wait. Like Isaac, let me, so, let me frame your, let me tell you what your position is. And then I will argue I mean, with dodging. what you, with but what I tell is, you. This is bad faith though. No, no, no. You're bad faith. The question. What, are, what are you arguing? You're just not answering. You're asking me what I've my argument three times, is. Tristan. Is, what are you asking me again? So for the fourth time, I'm asking you, do you hold the view? That, that human that beings have a soul. A human, no, that's not the question. That the thing that distinguishes mm. humans from animals morally, such that it's ethical, it's okay, to mm. stab the one in the throat, but not the other, is having a soul. I'm asking if the soul makes the moral difference so you can stab one and not the other. That's the question. If you want to have a conversation, here, all right, so good question. If you want to have a conversation Thank about you. morality and ethics, Isaac, 
we're going to have to base our, we're going to have to talk about where we derive morality. No, no. Are you going to shut up? Are you going to shut up and let me speak? Look, you're on my channel. Here, look, if you want to have a conversation about morality, if you want to have a, look, 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 you asked me a question and I'm answering your question. Shut up and let me answer your question. I didn't hear the answer. Shut up and let me answer your question. You see, this is why, this is what you do. You don't respond in good faith. You want to play yes or no games. You're dodging. Shut, listen, you're, you can shut up and you can let me speak if you want to talk to me on my stream, dork. You can talk all- Listen, I just listen, Isaac, involved. listen, Isaac. Do you want to get kicked again, dude? Do you want to continue the conversation? Listen, if, listen, if Isaac, you answer. listen. This is why people don't debate you. You fucking because dork. Dodge, this is why people don't debate you, you pathetic spurg. Because you don't debate in good faith. You ask me a question, and I will respond to you, and you will listen to me. Uh, before I supplemented, so I you stop you unmuting yourself. You're muted. <laughs> if you don't, right, let's wait for let's wait for your. All right. So, Dr. Gregor, just keep quiet for a second. Stop speaking. Stop interrupting me. You came on my stream. I allowed you on here. You just sit there and you listen. Okay? Do you understand? Oh, I'm happy to. As long. Hey, Spurg. Hey, Spurg. Just stand. Listen. I'll kick you if you don't listen. You're not here to play. This Answer. is what. All right. I will. If you interrupt one more time, you're going to get kicked out. Do you understand? Do you understand? You know what it kind of reminds I, me of? I understand. No, no ben, Isaac. It kind of reminds me of. You know, remember, like, we'd be arguing with our parents growing up. Not interested. Like, Tristan, hey. go ahead. I want to, I want to hear Tristan. See how Dude, he's not answering? You're the, such you're not you're on my stream, you dork. Eric, you're, on my stream, you dork. you're on my Does stream, you dork. You're on my stream. Does the audience see he's not answering? Does the audience see he's not answering? Listen he's to this spurg. Look at this spurg. He's just dodging. He's just dodging. He's just dodging. Let's shut the answer. Hey, Isaac, shut your fucking mouth for two minutes. Just, you're on my stream, you dork. I'm gonna, all right, you interrupt one more time and I will kick you off. Do you understand? Do you understand? I'm your question is, hey, shut the fuck up. Your question is, your question is, what is the trait? Name the trait that makes it okay for a human being to kill another. You're trying to. That's not. No. You want to have a more. You want to talk about morality, right? You want to talk about morality. That wasn't the question. <laughs> That's my question. Do you want to talk about morality? So you're not answering mine. Do you want to talk about morality? you wait. Are you gonna answer or not? <laughs> this is what he does. You guys, for, for, you guys want to see, this is how Isaac debates. He comes on and he wants to play his little spur. Yeah, he wants to play this little spur game of answer the question. Is answer the question. Isaac, shut up for a second. Do you think? All right. Anyways, Isaac, nobody can hear you right now. Nobody can hear you on the stream. Now I'm going to speak. Okay. I don't even have to mute you. I just have to turn off the speaker so nobody can hear you. We can just see you with your cute little spaceman suit writhing around there all uncomfortable now you're gonna hear me speak isaac you are dodging isaac my question to you is if you want to speak about morality and ethics if you want to ask about morality if you want to have a conversation about what is moral we have to come to certain agreements on what these things mean what is morality what is ethics we need to understand, we need to have a mutual understanding of what is morality, what is ethics, what is right and wrong, and where do we derive right and wrong from? So my question to you is, how do we know what is morally right and wrong? How do we know what is good and bad, morally right and wrong? You're asking me to, to, to justify a moral action. I'm asking you if you believe that morality is objective or subjective. And then we can move on to get deeper into the morality and ethics and the ethical questions and the quandaries that you have. So is morality objective or subjective? And how do we know what is morally right and wrong? Now, I'm going to turn the sound up and I'll be able to hear now, you. Now, what I would say, Tristan, is that here's how I view a debate, okay? If someone asks... No, no, I'm question, asking you, is, is morality subjective or objective? Tristan... If you, Isaac, I'm going to say the same thing as long as I you know you are. You're going right? to say the fact, the fact, the fact. You're going to so say the why same don't thing. You let me... Go ahead and speak. Is morality objective or subjective? Okay. So in a debate, I think that if someone asks a question, 
the other party ought answer. You now, think they ought? Wait, wait, why should they ought? Why should the other party ought answer? Now, there are Why? That's a moral, that's a moral statement you just made. Not to answer. And those conditions would be, for example, if they didn't understand the question, um, that would be one instance. Mm -hmm. So, do you so you're not going to answer my question? Understanding the question. No, I asked first. You have trouble understanding the question. No, I, I, I don't have trouble understanding your question. Okay. So do you have a, Do you have trouble understanding my question? What is morality? I, I understand exactly what you're asking, but you're dodging my question. <laughs> why I'm not what is morality, right? dude? You're asking me if Kristen, something is morally you're justified. Just, you're asking me if something is morally justified. Nobody can hear you now, Isaac. You're asking me if something is morally justified. I'm asking you to define morality, please. My question is, what is morality? And how do we know what is morally right and wrong? Okay, go ahead. What is morality? Okay. What is morality? Tristan, I'm just going to wait for you to answer the question. <laughs> this is how you debate? This is what you want to do? This is why people laugh at you and say you're a fucking joke spurg, Isaac. Do you understand <clears throat> this? This is why we think you're pathetic. What is morality? And how do we determine what is morally right and wrong? You're asking me a moral question. You're saying I ought to do something. How do you derive an ought without morality? And by the way, Isaac, he doesn't have to... Now, um, interest. He doesn't have to answer the question. Answer the question. He doesn't that's have all, to answer all. the question because. Have you ever seen a debate, correct. Isaac? In order to now, answer the if, question, you have to get to a more fundamental level of um, what is morality and ethics. So exactly. Okay, wait, 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 well, let me then ask ask you. Sorry, what's your name? What's what's your name, Doctor? Hey, you're you're on my channel. Listen, Isaac, you came on my channel. You can't answer a simple question. I'm asking you. You're asking me a question about morality and ethics, and you're saying you want to talk about ethics and morality. What is ethics and morality? How do we determine what is morally right and wrong? You just said I ought to answer your question, which implies that there is a moral imperative for me to answer your question. I'm asking you, how do we know what we ought to do? How do we know what is morally imperative and what we ought to do? So go ahead and answer. He's dodging. Go yeah, ahead he's and answer. dodging. Will you answer? Excuse me? He doesn't have to answer the question. Sorry, you're just dodging. No, Will no, we, we need answer to answer the question. Isaac, we need to clear up the basic framework for this debate. We need to be able to talk about the framework and to move forward we have to be able to discuss these things so if you say you say you want to debate in good faith yet you come on here and you nobody can hear you isaac i don't know if you realize nobody can hear you no one can hear you isaac isaac you're talking to nobody nobody can hear you so anyways um if you want to go ahead and answer my question i will answer your question and you must answer my question as well so you can, if, I, know you, I know it's really hard for you to stop speaking, but nobody can hear you on the stream. You're speaking into a mirror, faggot. Nobody hears you. Nobody hears you, dude. Yeah, I know, I know you, just, you just think that if you just keep blabbering that you somehow, that you think you can make yourself feel like you win a debate. But nobody hears your screams here, Isaac. In the Primal Edge channel. No one hears your screams. You are screaming into the void, Isaac. Happens, right? Now, you ask Tristan, do you want to answer now, the question? Tristan, do you want to answer the... Listen, Isaac, when you're in a debate, Tristan, it is perfectly... Listen, so in a debate, Isaac, I don't know if you realize, uh, Mr. Spurg, you, when you're in a debate, you can answer a question with a question. And if somebody asks you a question, you can clarify some of, yes, do you not understand that? You cannot answer a question with a question? Oh, is that funny to you, Isaac? Is that so funny to you? Okay, so again, again, nobody, nobody hears you right now, Isaac. Nobody hears you, Spurt. I know you have a really hard time shutting the fuck up for a few minutes and just hearing and just listening. I know you love the sound of your own little soyum voice, Isaac. I know you love the sound of your own voice, Isaac. Okay, so listen, you asked the question, you asked your name the trait. Yes. You asked the question, you asked the name the trait. 
My question to you is, there are so many assumptions built into your name the trait question. First of all, morality, shoulds and oughts. What makes it okay to do this? What makes anything okay, right? Is there such thing as objective morality? You're over here trying to ask me objective moral questions about what is right and wrong. So we need to understand, do you believe morality is objective or subjective? That is the question. We have to agree on basic fundamental principles before we can move forward in good faith. This is the nature of the debate. And this is actually why the West is so fucked, right? Because people have no idea, people like you have no idea, trans, uh, trans activists like you have no idea, have no idea how to answer simple questions about where morality comes from, what morality is, and is there even right and wrong? So please, Answer the question, is there right and wrong, and is morality subjective or objective? It's, it's, it's so funny, because I'd love to talk about all that, but I just on principle won't until you answer the question. Oh, you, you just on principle answer, won't. all of that afterwards, right? Okay, so the trait is Isaac. I didn't, is ask, it, what the, I didn't ask what the trait is. Tristan, can what I is your, clarify See, this question? is what, you come on my stream and you want to, me to answer a yes or no question, and that's all you want, a yes or no question. And then if I answer your yes or no question, you think that you can map this out and somehow win a fake debate that you framed. This is a conversation about ethics and morality, dude. This is a conversation about ethics and morality. If you're not gonna answer the basic question, you're just gonna get kicked. What is morality? How do we know what is morally right and wrong? And will you please, will you please, in good faith, actually have a conversation? Nobody can hear you. Okay, so I remember when we first started this conversation, Somebody in the chat was complaining, oh, you're being so mean, let Isaac on. I let you on, dude. And you can't have a human conversation in good faith. You can't have a real human conversation. You just malfunction like a robot. Please answer my question, which is my response to your question. What is morality and how do we know what is morally right and wrong? If you wanna have an, a debate about ethics and morality, we have to talk about how we know what is ethically and morally right or wrong. Um, you, you listening now, Tristan? Yeah, I'm waiting for the answer. Go ahead. Okay, so I'm happy to talk about metaethics once you answer my question. Do you want to affirm if that's your position or are you just going to refuse to clarify? No, I'm not affirming any, not? I'm not going to let you determine my hey, position. My position on what, dude? My Look, if you just admit you won't answer, then I'll talk to you about metaethics. If you admit that you will not answer the question. You are so fucking weird, dude. You're so just, fucking just, weird. Why don't you just why don't you just admit it? Just say I won't answer your question. I, I just answered your engage. question with I answer your question with a question. <laughs> That's not an answer. <laughs> a question I'm not isn't an answer to a question. I'm not required to give you an answer, dude. <laughs> I'm not okay, required say, to give you an answer. I, won't answer. I just, just told you okay. I'm not. I told you fifty times I'm not required to answer your dumb it's, question. It's, it's, it sounds and if like we, you said that you. It, at one point, it sounds like you said that you. Listen, Isaac. Then it sounds like you said you don't have to answer. Did no, you no, answer I, or not? I don't <laughs> have to answer your question, dude. Why would I okay, have? Okay, so just just to be clear, and yeah. then I'm happy to talk about metaethics. Good, 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 good. Answer. We can finally get to step one. We can finally open the door to actually have a discussion now. Let me just say, just to, just to be clear. Hey, you, hey Isaac. So I'm happy now. One, one second, one second. No, 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 no. You let you here. shut the fuck up and let him speak. No. Shut up. Shut up and mm -hmm. let him speak. All right, go so ahead. Trist Tristan doesn't have to answer that question because he perceives that it's a loaded question. Because let's suppose for the sake of the argument, he is going to answer, it is because of soul, but that is not a clear term, what soul means. Animal soul, human soul, within what paradigm. So, <laughs> and so yeah, in did order to answer that, he can move to the next question to ask about meta-ethics. That's, that's hilarious. That, that's right? hilarious. What's, what's hilarious? What's hilarious? Hold on, what's hilarious? What is hilarious? I, I know it's it's funny. What, <laughs> what is funny? Answer. What is funny? Sorry, I'm 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 just I'm waiting. Is he done you talking? Don't have one, to one sec, Adi. Sorry, what? Just one, just one sec, Adi. Okay. Oh, sorry, so I, you're I'm not just, even. I wasn't. I wasn't. Okay. So Isaac, do you want do you want to, want to have a discussion so, or not, dude? Are you going to actually discuss? Yeah, absolutely. What is absolutely. what is morality? Just to be clear. No, no, no. What is? I'm happy. 
what is morality? I'm happy to talk about what is morality and what is ethics, Isaac? What is morality and ethics? You're muted again, and nobody can hear you. I know you think that if you just keep talking over somebody, that you somehow win a debate. The fact that you're so obsessed with coming on here, the fact that you want to rerun this over and over again, and try to make it to where you don't have to answer simple questions about your worldview. I know you. If you think you think if you just laugh and smirk into a camera, that you somehow seem intelligent. But you're not, yeah, nobody hears you. You like talking into the void. This is what you do. You're a coomer who cooms into the void all day long. And you come over here and you act like you want to have a discussion, but you can't even get to square one of how we start a discussion and debate about morality and ethics. So if you want to actually discuss this, you can stay and discuss, but you have to stop doing the circles, coomer boy. Stop going in circles. I can engage with him if he wants to, but I'm just going to get him to just admit before he does that, that he hasn't actually answered. Okay, wait, he stopped talking. Tristan, if you admit, Tristan, if you admit, if you admit the your- The fact, the fact, the fact. Dude. Sorry, is, uh, you want to talk what? metaethics, right? I'm happy to do that if you want to just admit that you will not answer the question. Then how I many times did I tell you, questions there's you no- how many times did I tell you I'm not answering the question until we talk about the basics okay, okay, of ethics and morality? You won't, you won't answer the question. Oh, All there right. you go. You think you got what you want. Do you understand how yes, disingenuous? Now, 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 okay, now, now. Okay, oh. so now if you want to talk about meta ethics, that's fine. We oh, that, but oh. I just want it to be I'm totally asking you. you no, no, no. Sh- I just Isaac. want to be totally clear that you won't, <laughs> this is that. You won't actually address the critique. All right. right. No, so no, no I will address the critique. You won't, I will address the critique and you won't even, you don't even have, look at this. You pretend like you want to, you want to debate in good faith, yet you come and you do this again. I cannot fucking believe how long I spent talking to you and you can't even answer a simple question. What is morality, dude? What is morality? Yeah, it's funny. See, the funny thing is I know they can hear me because the other, the other guy goes, who's Avi? So I know they can hear me, right? No, he can um, hear me, but yeah, I can't. Tr- Tristan, if you want to ask, ask your question, you can go ahead. You've made it clear you won't answer the critique. That's no, 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 What's no. What's your no. question about metaethics? I'll field all your questions before, before what, we... What is morality? So what is morality? How do we know what is morally right and wrong? First of all, though, is morality objective or... answer to that? Is morality objective well, or subjective? The, the first question is a bit easier. Do you mind if I address the first question? My first question is morality is it objective or is it subjective? What is morality? Well, that, que- that question I need to ask, I need to respond to by knowing what we mean by morality. The first question, if I clarify that, will make it easier. Yes. When you ask, what, what, is, what is morality? What is morality, buddy? Right. So I just take, I don't know what morality would really be if it's not just about our desires. Are you unhappy with that kind of construal? I take a statement like so X desires. is wrong to just mean... Sorry, do you want to do you want to hear my answer? I take a statement like Wait, X is wrong, or it's that. wrong to rape a baby. It's yeah, that's what I'm doing. I take a statement like X is wrong, or it's wrong to rape a baby, to more or less just be some kind of expression. Uh, don't, hey, how about you use a little bit more YouTube friendly terms, except for talking about raping babies? I know you Spurgs like to talk about you're disgusting. Oh, but sure, yeah, that, yeah. that's you, fine. That's fine. Take no, kill, I, I say you, kill, I, I or murder, that. or something. Okay. That, that, that's, that's okay. I, I know you and V, you and vegan games so, like to talk about these things a lot. Now, now. Okay, so if someone says it's wrong to, you know, murder or it's wrong to steal or whatever it is they're saying, I take that to be in some way or another an expression of what their desires are, what their preferences are. Now, do you disagree with that kind of view on morality? Yeah, that's retarded. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, what fucking do you retarded. take morality to be, Tristan? Do you, no, no, I'm at, first of all, you have to answer the question, is morality objective I, or I, subjective? So the sense in which I would say it's subjective is that desires are subjective experiences. Is truth subjective or objective? Probably depends what we mean by truth. Why did it take us so long to be able to just get to this point? Why did you have to spend 30 minutes acting like a disingenuous oh, I, I just, Spurg to get I, to this point? Oh, I'd, I'd, be, I'd, be, I'd be happy to answer that. So I just thought that I'd make it really clear for a good you know, half hour that you refuse to actually deal with the critique of your view. No, no, I, 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 that, I'll deal with some of your- you uh, haven't, I haven't even questions. defined my view. I haven't even stated my view, dork. 
You're so well, you yeah, the, right, right, you're right, so you won't, disingenuous. You won't even, you won't, right, you wouldn't answer the question of if that is your view. You won't even clarify what my your view my is. view is. No, whatever your characterization of my view is incorrect. I'm asking you: Is morality subjective okay, so you, or objective? You, you, hold on, hold on. Is truth subjective? <laughs> is truth objective or subjective? It probably depends what we mean by truth. I don't really have strong views on truth theories. Do you believe that objective truth exists? Depends what we mean by objective truth, like some kind of like mind independent truth. Is there truth that exists outside of your perception and your mind? What, what yeah. do you mean by truth? What do you mean by truth? Yeah, what do you mean by truth? What do you mean by morality? What do you mean by right or wrong? When you I say told you what, what I mean by morality. What is it I again? You what What's your definition right of morality? It's just your personal preference? Personal preference. Yeah, I just take it to be that's statements weird... about our desires. Okay, what so do you take it to be morality is why your personal. I, 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 I answered a few of your questions. What do you take morality to be, Tristan? No, no, no I'm asking. You're you're the one who's making a moral argument. I don't Wait, give a look, shit. You're, you're saying, saying one, I should one, be one, vegan. One second. One second. You're one saying second. I no, should be vegan. Tristan, you're... Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're saying I should be vegan. You're coming over here arguing for a vegan worldview. I'm asking you: Is morality tr is morality subjective or objective? You say it's subjective. I'm asking you, is truth objective or subjective? You ask me to define truth, right? Is that what you're saying? Man, it's, it's very difficult to talk to you. No, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're not talking to me. That's the problem. You're not talking to anybody. You're talking to a mirror, ask yourself. Right? You talk to a mirror. You don't talk to people. You're an algorithm, and you talk to mirrors, okay? Oh, it's so brutal. This guy just won't defend his view. I don't know. I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> okay, can I, can I no, ask? Are you are you are you back now, Tristan? Are you? No, are you hold on. He, Father Hello? Deacon on, Father Deacon Ananias has a question for you. Father okay, Deacon Doctor Ananias. Why don't why don't why don't we just let's try talking to this guy, Father Deacon, for a minute? Because I honestly like you're just it's hopeless to try to interact with. You. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, there's no way to get an answer out of you. No, no, no. Ask I yourself. Assume, you keep, I assume that this guy. You keep is, saying, is, okay, you keep saying, ask yourself. Nobody can hear you, by the way. Nobody can hear you. Father Deacon Ananias can probably hear you spouting on, 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 but nobody on the channel can hear you. I know you're over there in your echo chamber talking to your Spurg army of Coomer Spurgs. Okay, so, hey, Coomer King, Coomer King, sit back there in your, in your gamer chair for a second, pull your hands out of your pants. Pull your hands out your pants, Coomer King, for one moment, okay? You say that morality is subjective. You say that truth is subjective, right? But you want to press, you want to press, you, you still, you, you don't even, you can't, you can't hear. What's the point? What's the point? What's the point of talking to you? Right, I'm on, when you mute me, when you mute me, I just start talking to Avi. If you want to have a good faith. I expect not to just be muted. When I see the mute go off, I just start talking Navi. So what is your what is so, your point? What do you want to talk about? What do you want to talk about? Okay. Well, if if I get to set the topic, I'd like to ask the question that I initially asked. <laughs> no, 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 Hi. Oh, wait, All right. So, anyways, should we just kick him? I don't know. I've, Father Deacon Ananias has a lot of patience you, here. What is your? I, I'm happy to talk to Father Deacon. I initially didn't want to, but talking to you is very hopeless. So, Father oh, Deacon, yes. I assume you're also like you're Christian, like this guy, <laughs> Reese up Christian. No, you, you're you're making all sorts of assumptions that nobody has agreed to, and you want no, to debate I'm, straw I'm men. Asking a question. You right? want I'm to asking... debate straw men. Will you let us speak, Isaac? I can't believe this, dude. I can't believe this. Go ahead, Father Deacon Ananias. Yeah, do you want me to? Yeah, go ahead. Do you want me to chime in? Yeah, please do. Um, so let's just set like a kind of common understanding of what we mean by morality is correct human behavior. Um, sorry, so Father Deacon, if you're talking now, what what are? Go ahead, Father. Wait, you're you're like, go ahead. Keep, keep, 
when, when no, no, hey, Isaac, Isaac, he's already been talking. Shut mysterious. up and listen. Hey, shut be... up and listen, Isaac. Shut up and listen for no, once. No, I, I think... I shut think up and listen. No, uh, you can't... I'm ask a question here. You can't listen? So, Father Deacon, This is. You, you wonder why, Isaac, here? you wonder why... Hold on. Nobody can hear you except in your own Discord echo chamber, faggot. Hey, you want to listen? Do you want to listen? Do you want to actually listen and have a conversation? Sorry, go ahead and That's answer. Kind of standard run-of-the-mill notion... Uh, morality and ethics. Is uh, sorry, Deacon. Deacon, I asked you a question there. So, D Deacon, uh, wait. Don't don't just answer the question first. Are you your precept Christian like Tristan? <laughs> or your 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 precept Christian? Or, or let me no, just straw man. Let me just go ahead and straw man you. Let me just go ahead and straw man you. I'm just you. asking him if that's. I'm asking him if that's his view. Tristan, or, dude, you uh, actually uh, think uh, you actually think that you're winning debates when you do these games? Do you actually think this is a way to win debates? Tristan, you know full well if you let go of that. If you let go of that, you'll just... Right. <laughs> right. I'm uh, Eastern Orthodox clergy, so I don't want to be long so, in. I'm just a Christian. I'm actually so, yeah, Eastern. You're not, you don't hey, stop me. interrupting him and let him speak. Have some yeah, respect, so dork. Hey, what that means is... You don't run Prisa. Let him speak. Pre hey, shut or up and let him I'm speak, not, Isaac. Shut no, up and let no, him I'm speak. Asking a question. I'll proceed with the question. I write a lot of papers <laughs> on presupposition. Okay, so what I'm curious, this? do you take the view that Jay takes that uh, all non-Christian worldviews are impossible? <laughs> uh, let me correct that. Jay takes the view that I hold. Jay, if you're watching. <laughs> okay, but is that... Of course I do. That's exactly what... Okay, so I have a question about that oh, view. So, oh, do you have an argument? Oh. Do you have an argument? Because at this point, I mean, it's hopeless to talk to Tristan. I'll just talk to you. So we'll change the topic <laughs> and talk about Christianity, I guess. Do you have actually an argument that <laughs> all non-Christian worldviews entail a contradiction? Yes, I do. I have two papers on that. Um, well, you don't need the paper. You can just deliver the argument. Oh, it's okay. oh, oh yes. You, I mean, you know, let me let me just go ahead and a straw man you. And will you just say yes or no for the rest of the conversation, and I'll just lead everything. Uh, oh, yeah. Deacon, did you? I, I'm interested to hear your argument. If you have an argument for oh. that view. Yes, yeah, so the view is that all other positions, mm -hmm. when analyzed, okay, and I can go later into detail with those, like I do in my paper, which requires going into detail, but in principle. Every other worldview, which can be boiled down to several principles, cannot account for a minimum of three things required in order to sustain knowledge. One is coherence. Um, the second one is explanatory power. And the third is juxtatory power. So I'm able to run through every worldview, okay, which boils down to only a limited possibilities as, as far as principles and able to show that either they're incoherent, they fail to explain the appearances, or they lack justifications. And part of that can include um, contradictions. All of so, which cannot get a coherent or justificatory account for the criteria for the justification, for their justification criteria. So, position. well, I mean, uh, why is this idiot? Why is this idiot? Why is this? Why is the idiot muting me? I'm trying to talk to this deacon. No, no, no. you let him finish De his deacon point, man. Let him finish his point. Let him finish his point. Respectful enough to talk to. Oh, respectful. So yeah, deacon, you would know. You would to know to about respect. It, uh, Tristan, just, just fuck off. I'm talking to this guy. So, no, you're on my channel, deacon, dork. When you, when you, you're like, on my channel, dork. Don't tell me to fuck off. I'll kick you. All right, Isaac's in the waiting room again. Isaac, listen, listen, Isaac. If you want to come and discuss. You want to come and discuss on our channel. You want to come over here. You can have some respect and you can let us speak. All right. We allowed you on here. It's been two years of you begging to come on here and play the exact same game that you did two years ago. If you want to come on and have a good faith discussion, I can allow you back in the room. But you need to shut up and let Father Deacon Dr. Ananias speak and you need to listen. <laughs> oh, now he leaves. He leaves. Okay. Wow. I didn't even get to the ethics. He can't, he can't, he can't do it, dude. He can't let it happen. Ugh. By the way, can I make a quick comment about the, the ethics? 
Yeah, um, no, you can say whatever you want now. There's no one to interrupt. He was doing what we call... He was doing what we call the naturalist, uh, naturalistic fallacy. So this is something that people always miss. He was describing preference as desire, and he was giving a description. Ethics is in the realm of prescription. So notice the difference. I could say, look at my room. It is very clean. Um, or I could have said, it's really dirty. That's a d description. Mm. If I say... Um, it ought to be clean. I've made a category distinction, right? Here is an is and an ought. Now, within the realm of oughts and should is what we call normativity. And this is the realm of ethics, and people always get this confused. They say, well, people believe that they're right. And people believe that this and that. All they're doing, and this is what Isaac did, is that he described what his desire is, He's making a category or he's at the level of description and he's not even within the ethical domain of normativity of what's called oughts and is. That's why I said, let's just take a standard run of the mill definition hmm. of morality as being correct human behavior. Well, what does correct mean? It doesn't mean anatomically correct. It means normativity, uh, how human beings ought to. And if we don't make this distinction between description, the way things are, people behave crazy. People believe all kinds of crazy stuff. Ought they to do that? Now we're in the realm of ethics. So that was the first mistake that I saw that he made. But he's obviously going to want to commit himself to some, probably some type of naive empiricism or something like that. And they really just, you know, struggle it oh, he just left he just left you know i finally he doesn't want to i guess he doesn't want to actually have a discussion as has been abundantly clear since the very beginning that all he wishes to do is poison the well all he wants to do is bulwark is uh is bulldoze through the conversation and try to control it in a way where he seems like he's somehow right and it's just this big stupid fake sparring game so that's why he left right he would still be here he just left. I put him in the waiting room so he could actually hear the argument, and then he took off. So I guess I guess Isaac doesn't. And by the way, repeating something over and over doesn't look good. Um, he thinks it does. As tactics, <laughs> I could probably mix it up. Like, if, let's let's suppose Tristan, for the sake of the argument, you weren't getting it. Okay, just bear with me here. Yeah, yeah. Um, I wouldn't repeat it. What I would do is I'd switch up. Hey, Tristan, let me put it another way. And I'd lay it out. It's very odd, and it's not conducive in any way to simply repeat the fact, the fact. Are you going to answer the question? Are you going to answer the question? Are you going to answer the question? Well, not if you keep repeating it like that. So why not mix up the tactics and maybe he doesn't have the ability to do that i don't know well let's see um, i think he's in the waiting room still let's let's see if he wants to come back in and actually also you don't have to answer any question i think you were and maybe i'm wrong for prejudging you but i think you're anticipating that that question was a loaded question Maybe they're actually going to answer now. No, no, it's just uh, here. Um, hold on, no, no, hold on. Don't interrupt. We're speaking, man. This is does, the thing. Does You're... the deacon? All right, he's. Sorry, does the deacon guy want? <laughs> no, no. See, he doesn't. It's so strange. He he acts like he wants to have a conversation, yet has zero respect for the other people in the conversation, and just wants to bulldoze through this. I don't think um, he can do it. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he can. I don't think he can actually have a discussion. So, I'm going to let him back in, Isaac. We'll let you back in, and if you have some sort of a response, if you have something to actually say other than just the same repetitive, the fact, the fact, the fact, come back in and try not to malfunction. And uh, remember, we very gracious you, graciously allowed you in here. After for two years, you've been begging for this. You've been begging for this for two years, dude. But you still can't get back, you still can't get past the basic, the basic first step to even have a debate. To even have an argument about this, you can't even get to the first step of defining morality, defining ethics. Right, you, let's let's see if we can get him back in here. Participants, all right. 
do you like my new do you like my new lighting or something like that nice and lighting yeah that's good lighting like, oh hey wait they let me in let's see if they're gonna engage the other guys seem like might engage um <laughs> yo, okay. uh yo what up so, so sorry father deacon did you want to pick up where we left off or or not Uh, can you can you hear me, Deacon Ananias? Yes. Yes. Okay. Cool. Um, I'm not sure what you're doing with. I'm just working on my lighting. Just trying to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the key is to get. So a, so Isaac, uh, you're back. You're back. So what is your argument? What are you saying? Well, uh, right now I'm just asking a question. Of okay. Deacon, in the same way, like when I tried to ask you a question, you dodged. And when no, 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 when I answered your question, I answered your question with a question, which is perfectly valid in a debate. Do, do you, you don't do understand you think that, that allows me to? Do, do you think that allows me to determine what your view is on the thing I asked about? No, you tried. <laughs> you tried to define my view for me. Is what you tried to no, do. No, I asked if that's your view. Well, you. I didn't, I didn't say that. And I said. I asked if it is. Okay. You, you what, didn't answer is what you did. <laughs> dude, I can't believe you, you can treat if you want, we can go to that. Right, right. Do you have a question for, I, I was going to talk to Deacon about his, you can talk to either one of us. You, Do you have a question to either one of us? Well, if you'll answer, then I'll ask just, you my original we're, we're question. Not, we're moving from, just so I'm clear, so, we're moving from ethics to religion now. Is that right? What do you want to talk well, about? Well, it depends. It, it, you don't want it to talk depends. about ethics. Well, it depends. So if Tristan's going to answer the question, then I'd still have an ethical question. But if he's just if he's no, going to no, no, stick no. to his prior position that he refuses, then I'd ask you some religious stuff. So huh? I'll try I'll try Tristan, and if he dodges, then we can. Hey, the the trait the trait. Hey, shut up, shut up for a second. The trait if is if he dodges. Do you? Hey, are you? Can you dodges, answer can questions too? Can you answer questions too? Are we allowed to answer you, ask you anything? Can we ask you anything? So, no, to answer so my I question. Can I? Ask, are we allowed to ask you any questions? Can we ask you questions, Isaac? Can I ask you a question? Can I ask, can we ask you questions? I'm asking you, can we ask you questions I, I here? I don't know, maybe he would, but I'm not Can sure I ask you, can we not. ask you questions here? That's the question. Can we ask you questions, Isaac? If you want to grant that you're now taking away the offer to ask you a question, I'll fix No, you can, ask, you can ask questions all you want, but can we ask you questions? Okay. Can we ask you? As, Is it, I'm, I'm happy to answer questions as long as they're not asked to dodge, right? In fact, maybe we should talk about when to dodge. What? No, no, you came. You came on our channel. I want to ask you yeah, a question. Yeah, I'm half your size. Uh, oh no! Wait a minute. I'm far bigger so, and far stronger. Hold on. Than you. Answer. Can I ask you a question, please? Is that okay? Is that is that is that permitted in in your if, sparring? If you want to grant, if you want to grant, huh? you're taking away. The if I want to grant, no, no, I want to ask you a question. Can I ask you a question? Just answer that question. Right. Can I ask so you a question? You, Can you answer that you question? Said I could ask. Can I ask you a question, Isaac? Right. So, so when you no, no, can I ask you a question? Yes or no? Right, so can we ask you questions? Yes or no? When you said I could ask a question, you're taking that back now, and you want to ask a question, correct? Huh? I already answered your question. Now, can I answer your? Can I ask you one? No, I mean when I just came back to this call, you said, "Do you want to ask a question?" Now, can I ask you a question, Isaac? Way, a Isaac, can I ask you a question? If, if 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 you want to make the honest statement that you're now taking away the offer, Isaac, ask I'm asking you if I can. No, no, I'm asking you if I can ask you a question. If you want to grant that you're taking away the huh? offer to ask you a question. Sure. Yeah, you can ask me questions. Can I ask you a question? Okay. Can I ask you a question? Yes or no? Okay, so the question... No, no, Isaac, Isaac, can I ask you a question? Yes Sorry, or no? Sorry, are you taking away... Can I ask you a question? Yes or no? Taking away the Isaac, offer. Isaac, Isaac, can I ask you a question? Yes or no? Can I ask you a question? Please. Isaac, let me ask you a question. Oh, you're muted, Isaac. So just just to be clear, I just mute. So when you when you mute okay. me, I start talking obvious. I don't really pay attention. So if you I know, I know, I know. Though, you I'll don't like pay attention. You can screen. I ask you? Can I ask so you a question, if Isaac? You need to get my attention when you've got me muted. Just do this, and I can like unmute. Dude, Isaac, can I ask? Can I ask you a question? What I said. What can I ask you a question? What I said is that if you want to grant that you're now taking away the offer to ask you a question, and you instead want to ask one, if you want to just grant that, that's grant true. what? No, 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 I'm not granting. No, I, I told you, I'll answer. I'll, I asked you. I answered your question. Now, can I ask you a question? No, you told me I could ask a question when I, right when I came back to this call a few minutes ago. Oh, so right? I can, and I didn't ask a question yet. So I'm not allowed to ask you. Are you taking that away? Am I allowed to ask you a question? Am I allowed to ask you a question? So, as I said, <laughs> I'm happy to answer your question, but just but first, first, you said that when I come into this, when I came into this call, you said. 
but I can ask you a question now. Are no, 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 I said, I said, what's your argument? You I said, what's your that? argument? I asked you what your you argument know, you, is. You, you asked if I, you said I could ask a question. Yeah, you can, can ask, ask a question. question or not. Go ahead. Okay. Ask right, me so a question. Here's my question. And then I'll, all right, I'll answer your question. Hold up. Shut up for a second. When you ask you, so, after you ask your question, Isaac, after you ask your question, can I ask you a question? As long as it's not dodging, Tristan. Dodging. So who defines, maybe, who maybe defines should, dodging? Maybe, who gets to define what maybe, dodging is? Let's, can let's I, see if we can. Wait, wait. Can I ask you questions? Is that okay? Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can agree. Can I ask you questions? Maybe we can agree on what dodging is. Mm. So maybe presumably, we can. if someone asks a question, it ought to be answered unless the thing that the other person is saying in response is something that's required in order to answer the question. Okay, so, for I'm example, if I ask you yes, yes, what, yes, you know, yes, flubber yes. jubber is or something like that, and you say, oh. look, I can't answer. I need to know what flubber jubber is before, oh. before I can answer whatever you're asking. Is flubber jubber red or something like that? Okay. That's fine. I'd accept something like that. If you say you don't understand a term in the question, if you say, um, you know, I don't understand what the question means, can you clarify the question? But if you just ask an irrelevant question and you can't demonstrate that that question is actually necessary to answer in order for you to answer my question, which of course you granted earlier is not the case when you said, I understand what you're asking, right? So you're not confused about the question, you're just dodging. Dude, I can't but wait, I cannot wait for the remix of this. I can't wait for the remixes. If, hey, if can I ask you a question? If it's, can I ask you a question? If Sorry, do you disagree with that, Tristan? I'm just asking you if I can ask a question. I'm trying to get you're an just, answer. You're, you're, can I you're ask just questions? The most dishonest person. Oh! <laughs> Says you said okay. So I'm asking you, dude. You have a question for me, and so, then I'm like, what? What do you want? As uh, okay. So here's a question. Okay. Can I ask you a question do after you, that? Can I ask you a question after that? As long as it's not a dodge. As long as it's not a dodge. Okay, so, you're you're Tristan, dodging my question. Can I ask you a question? Mm. One's okay, shut up and let me ask you. Shut up and let me dodging. ask you. Then. You're gonna let me ask you the if, question. You're gonna I'm let me ask. I'm happy to let you ask if you grant that you're taking away the offer that you made when I came in here. That's the question. I didn't make any offers when you came in here. In fact, I never okay. offered you to come in here. I wanted you to come okay. here because well, I wanted well, to see this. I wanted to put this. <laughs> I, have, I, have I wanted. Of you me I to wanted to put this on full display, and this is beautiful. And you've delivered. You've delivered perfectly. Ask yourself. Can I ask you a question? You can ask me a question and I'll answer, but then after that, directly after that, will you answer mine? Go ahead. Isaac, tell me, will you answer my question after you ask me a question? Please, Isaac. I mean, do you think that he'll try to answer? We'll see. I'm asking Tristan. you a question. And I told you, I told you that if you want to grant that you're in fact not allowing me to ask a question, mm -hmm. and you are instead insisting I answer your question, then I'll answer it. But if you're <laughs> oh, gonna, you want me to let you just, put words in my mouth, and then I'll, I can answer a question? You put whatever words in my like mouth you want. Seems like it's what you're saying. Okay, so here's the question, Tristan. Okay? So my question is, do you hold the same view as Jay, which is that the trait is having a soul, right? No. Just to say, no, I don't know what trait no. you're talking about. We have to, we have to get. Hold on. All right, now. Okay. Oh, I you, ask okay, I no. you ask the question. I say no. You ask the question. I say no. Now you. Now let me ask you a question. Okay. I asked you. Wait, your, but you I said answered, you didn't understand the question. No, I answered your question. I said no. Now let me talk. Can I? Wait, can I but talk? you said you don't know what I'm talking about. No, <laughs> that's right. Do you know what I'm talking about or not? Can I ask a question? No. You said, no, I don't know wait, what you're talking sorry, about. Wait, no. No, I don't. Okay, wait. Then let me. Then let me clarify. Hey, I want an hey, sweaty. Hey, sweaty Spurg. Can I ask you a question now? I said no. Now let me ask you a question. No. No, I want to clarify the question you didn't. Oh, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, understand. the answer is no. Okay. The answer is no. Now okay. let me ask so, you a question. So when you, just to be clear, when you say, I don't know what the trade is, so what I'm talking about is what is it that's... What? Do you take the view that the thing that distinguishes animals from humans... No, now let me ask you. No, 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 no. Now let me ask you a question. Can I ask you a question? So you don't, you, you just to be clear, I just want to make sure huh? I'm getting a clear answer from huh? you. You don't. What? You don't. Huh? You don't. Right? What? I don't. What? What? Can I ask? Can I? All right. I, I answered your question. Hey, hey. I answered your question. Oh, I know. The question is. I asked you. I answered. All right. So I answered the question. It's no. Now, can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question, please? He won't let you do it. I guess I can't ask him a question. He, wow. Once he wants me to unmute. One second. No, no, I, okay. want, I want to ask you a question. Tristan, may I, may Tristan, I ask you a question? Tristan, no, because Isaac, you know you Isaac. Can, you oh, not, I can't? Right? Okay, so go ahead, go ahead. 
Go ahead. You just steamroll. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Yes, right. sir. So I'll clarify. Oh, the yes, reason Isaac. you may not is because I asked a question and you said no, <laughs> but then you said oh. that you don't actually understand the question. So I never got an answer to a question you understood. Right? Oh. So now I want to clarify the question and get an answer oh. to it. Okay, cool. Go ahead. So when I say the trait, talking about, do you what think trait? the thing that morally distinguishes an animal from a human such that it's okay to stab one but not the other is having a soul? Do you understand what's no. being asked there? No, that's not what I said. No. no. Oh, okay. All right. So in that case, what do you think makes a difference? I answered that your question. That, now I'm going to Can I ask you a question now? I answered your question. I said no. Can I ask you a question? Well, it seems like you're dodging the line of questioning, Tristan. Huh? Like, why don't you why won't you let me run my entire argument why won't you do that right what? in fact you know what i'll let you go first how about this okay <laughs> what i want if you, you if you him, if you give me a promise <laughs> Tristan, that you will actually quiet, let me complete you want line. can we have promise rings can we do rings like a ring right. promise can we do promise right. rings? i'll if give I, you a promise if i actually ring, get can i can we do promise rings please a clear commitment from you <laughs> that you're actually willing to la allow me to complete my critique, then I'm happy to answer your questions first. I answered your question. I'll even I answered let you your question first. Can we just no, have no, promise I'm not rings? Asking, I'm not asking to be able to ask one question. Can we have friendship off, rings right? or friendship bracelets? Tristan, the I whole want French. I, look, nobody can hear you again. I'm just going to turn you down. I, if we're going to do promises, I want rings, dude. I want commitment. I don't want just like this, uh, you know, this half-ass thing. Um, I've been through this before. I've had, I've had. I've been hurt, right? I've, I've had pain. I've had hard relationships. And if we're going to do promises, I want some sort of a physical token of it. And I want us to both have a ring. I want us to, we could, or a necklace, a necklace with like a heart and it's broken half. Can we do that? Can we do that? He knows that if he allows me to just ask a direct line of questioning, he'll just fall apart, right? So he's kind of relying on things like the mute button or like being right. able to cut me off or whatever. Yeah, I, he's, be, he's being quiet. He might have. He might. He might be able to answer. So, Tristan, just to be clear, I will answer. In fact, here's here's a deal I'll make you. Okay. I'll oh, you're gonna make a deal? Hold on. We're we gonna make deals. Are we making deals? Hey, Tristan, you want to stop being a sophist? It would be really nice. Buddy. Sophist? Okay? What's a sophist? Now, is that like like a soft? Like, now, is, now, what's a sophist? Is that like a coomer term? Is that like a like a pornography term? Like a cooming pornography term or something? Sophist? Soft? Um, excuse me. Isaac, can I ask you a question now? I re you said I could ask you a question. You said I could ask you a question. Can I ask you one? Hold on, I'm gonna go urinate. I'll let you, I'll let you and Father Deacon, here, you just talk. I'll, you just talk, I'm gonna go pee, and then if I can ask a question when I get back, and the promise ring thing is really promising. I think that's a good idea. We're, we're getting Telling somewhere. You. We're really getting somewhere, okay, I'll be back. Okay, so just, just to be clear, now, oh, he wants me to talk to you. Okay, well, you, you haven't seemed that bad. I mean, I don't, I don't know why you put up with that guy's bullshit, but let's, let's try it. So what I was asking you, Father mm -hmm. Deacon, before this whole thing happened, and by the way, I'd love to talk to you on a neutral platform, right? Where you don't have Tristan, like, basically hiding you with his little cucky mute button. That would be amazing. Um, but so you take the view that all non-Christian worldviews are contradictory. But when you started explaining why, I didn't hear a clear well, I pulled, I pulled even further that... That's why I don't want you to help me with Christian views because I actually. Um, that, that's fine. But there's no lumping, okay? I'm just, let me let me Christian deliver you the critique. No, let, yeah. let me complete. Let me complete the critique, please. Okay, now you've said that. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that, and I'll let you do the same, of course. Now, you've said that all non-Christian worldviews are contradictory. Now, setting aside whether you go further, whether you should be lumped in with all other Christians, and I'll, I'll just grant you you shouldn't, and that you do. Okay, I, that's fine. We just grant that for the sake of argument. What I want to know is what is the argument that all non-Christian worldviews are contradictory? And before, before I answering that, actually, oh, you don't hold that view. Okay, so you just so I clear said you. that there's three things in order. So my argument. Oh well, wait, you said sorry, sorry. One sec, Deacon. You you said that you go further than that. So what you actually meant is you don't go that far. You don't hold the view that all non-Christian. No, no, are I didn't actually say the argument simply. Um, relies on a contradiction. Somebody, uh, uh, could, I, could, I get, could I ask you which is now deleted itself without deacon, contradiction? Could, could I get a clear answer to that? Thing? <laughs> I, I just want a clear answer to that question. Though. Do you yeah, take I'm that view you, or not? I didn't say that view. My view. I, 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 I didn't, didn't ask if you view. said it. I'm asking if you hold what? it. It's Jay's view. Jay, takes I don't. It. Jay, what does Jay have to do with I, it? <laughs> 
Yeah. What, what are you talking about? about? You want to know about yeah. my? Who cares what I'm asking you if you hold? I'm I'm asking if you hold the same kind of view as him. I'm asking. <laughs> it's a really simple question. It's just a yes or no. Hey, hey, just uh, uh, hold on. Nobody's going to be able to hear on the stream right now. He's going to keep going. Don't worry. He'll keep going. There's no end to it. He's got an endless tank of Spurgdom. Uh, if you guys enjoy these streams, support the dang stream. There's a link in the description for the Streamlabs. Um, I'm going to read some Streamlabs now. Let's read some Super Chats. We've got Luthi and the Mortal donated $4.99 through Super Chat. Says, A-Y, present your position. Yeah, story of tonight, right? I mean, this started out, we had Barquet, and this has turned into Ask Yourself Spurgatron Malfunction, and I love it. Garland Farms donates 10 bucks through Super Chat. There you go, Dar Garland Farms, what's up, dude? Hey, you guys, make sure to support Garland Farms. He's a grass-fed cattle rancher out there in Texas. Garland Farms has been doing this for a long time, regenerating soil. He's out there working on his farm to provide you guys with good quality food. So support local producers, support local food producers. And Garland Farms is one of those local food producers for you Texans. All you Texans out there. Um, man, there's probably not a lot of Texans listening to this anymore. I don't think many Texans have the patience to, uh, to hear Ask Yourselves games. But thank you for the super chat. Let's see if, if Ask Yourself wants to answer that. Um, Isaac, do you, I, I do you have an answer to that? You're saying. Isaac, do you yeah. have an answer to that so question? Just to be just to be clear, okay. So, yeah, Isaac, can, he won't if you okay, don't I, Isaac, and the, you're talking at the same time. I mean, the question, if Isaac. If Isaac, actually, the question is, if you, if you don't actually hold that view, then that's fair. I'm not going. Okay, let's just. I'm not going to try to hold you to. Okay, hold you to Isaac. Agree. The question is: Please ask the vegan. Can you please name the trait present in wild animals that threaten crops? which, if present in farm animals, would justify killing farm animals? Go ahead. Uh, Deacon, did you want to no, answer wait, did that? You, uh, answer the question, please. Can you answer that question ask yourself? Will you answer? Are you going to answer? Uh, Tristan, you're not involved right now. I'm, no, asking, I'm, I'm asking you a question. Do you want to answer? I'm asking a question of Deacon. So, Deacon. Oh, okay. Uh, so, have... uh, Father Deacon Ananias is being asked a question. Apparently, we're not allowed to speak. Excuse me. Let the Spurgs talk, and they will tell you when you're allowed to speak. Uh, let them misrepresent whatever argument, straw man, they want to try to chair down in order to try to beat Jay. And, um, and yeah, I guess he's not going to answer that question, Garland Farms. I, will, I don't expect an answer from him. Deacon, isn't it obvious to you that he is horrified to let me run a line of questioning on him? Right? He won't, he won't actually let me ask a line of questioning because he knows that he'll just get obliterated. Hey, excuse me, right? what? So you have questions? Him. You have questions, Isaac? Because you oh, said I, absolutely. You said I could if ask you, you a question, question, right? You said I could ask you a question. Not, not only. Can I ask you a question, Isaac? Not only will I let you ask a question, cool. I will let you ask. I will let you ask whatever questions you Perfect. want, as long as I get a commitment that you will let me complete my critique without running away after. Running away, you. I, I'm asking you to just make a critique. Yeah. Make your critique. Go ahead. What's your critique? Okay. Now I expect you not to run away during the critique. So oh no, you, you go ahead. Make your critique. I'm, I'm going to shut up. I'll mute myself. First, hey, hold on, hold on. I'll give you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Isaac, no, Isaac, no, Isaac, hold on, hold on, hold on. Isaac, Isaac, hold on. Kristen, hold on. All right, Isaac. Do you want? Do you want to make your critique? If you want to make your critique, you're. I'm more than willing to let you make your critique. Um, if you want to make your critique, Isaac. Excuse me, Isaac. Now the first question of the critique. No, no, Isaac. I'm. Hold on, Isaac. The first question. Isaac. Of let me make the first Isaac. Question, Isaac. The first question. Isaac. The first. Isaac. Question, the first question of the critique huh? would be, what do you think it is that is true of animals that, if true of humans, would make it okay in your view to stab them in the throat? That's the first question. Great. And my reply is, in order for us to have a conversation about ethics and morality, we're going to have to determine oh, you're not how we. Oh no, no. I'm, do you want to let me answer? Would you like me to answer? Are you saying what the distinction is, Tristan? Would you like? Or are me, you dodging? Would you like me to answer? Oh, I would love it, but you won't. You'll hide, right? Because if I actually force you to answer, <sighs> you'll just fail. Uh, just okay. I don't. I don't, I why don't, don't you stop hiding like hiding a little what? bitch? And why don't you answer the question? Hiding, what, what am I hiding from, Isaac? 
you're hiding from the line of questioning that you know if you allow me to run without muting me will make you look like a fucking retard. Now, here's the question. What is it that's true of animals that if true of humans cause you to say it's ethical to stab them in the throat? Oh, human beings are made in the image and likeness of God. Okay, now, what is the you argument? That you are hold on, hold on, hold on, we got... Speak out. Hold on. Come and speak to someone. Make friends within the vegan community. We've got some super chats here. Let's read some super chats. we got a couple questions on super chats, too. Um, okay. All right, so let's see. We've got... Thank you for the super chat. That was not Michelle Lowe. That was super chatting. That was just her speaking. Uh, Deputy Dave donates five pounds. Says, <sighs> says, I am stuck in Isaac's basement. Please send help. <laughs> Joshua donates five bucks. Says, I want to know how many times he cooms a week. Uh, who? Uh, I'm guessing. Isaac, how many times per week? Okay, so the question that I was asking. Isaac, Isaac, hold on, hold on, hold on. Will you answer a question, please? You're, do exactly. you're dodging. Just Isaac, like, the, you're dodging the question. Just like the I question just, I'm trying to like, Isaac, Isaac, I'm going to have to mute you. Uh, the question is how many times do you coom per week, Isaac? Go ahead and answer the question. How many times per week? It's just a simple number. You gonna hide? You gonna run away like a little bitch, Tristan? Excuse now, me. Now, here is the question. Hopefully this time you won't. Right. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure oh. if he's gonna answer that. So Luthien the Mortal donates $4.99 through Super Chat. Says, AY, present your position. Go ahead. Yeah, What's your keep, position? Keep hiding, Tristan. Okay. I'm hiding. So if you'll allow me to ask a question without hiding. The question is, what's true of animals if true of humans would allow Made in the image and likeness of God. Now, I answered a question. Now, okay. can I answer now, your... Can you answer my question? No, you're trying Look, to hide again. I'm not, how am I hiding? I want to ask you a but question. You won't, you won't let me you're complete the critique. Get. You won't let me complete the... What'd you... Huh? You'll just hide. You know if you let me run it, you'll get fucked. That's what you're doing. <laughs> you know it, don't you? If huh? you let me speak and complete my points, you get fucked in the ass. That's Dude, what happens here. You've right? been so why speaking. Don't, why don't you let me run the argument, you fucking coward? You, you've been you speaking. Gonna do it? You you've gonna been, hide? You gonna hide speaking. behind the Excuse me, can I talk? Can I talk on my channel? Am I allowed oh, to talk? Oh, if, if you want to answer the question, right? I can only so, talk if Tristan. I'm gonna answer the question. So. Oh, what? Yeah, you're gonna hide. I'm gonna, no, you're no. You're gonna hide again, Tristan? Can I please, keep hiding can like I please answer bitch? the question? Can I please answer the question? Well, do you know what the follow up question is? I bet you don't. I bet you're just rambling. You want me to ask? You want me to tell you what your question is? You don't, yeah, you don't know what the follow-up is. <laughs> you're, you're an idiot, dude. You're fucking I find that hilarious. So, oh, wait, no, 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 hold no, on. No. Wait, I'm what's your point? Once, Go ahead. One second. Point, how are you? Yeah, oh, you sorry. I'm, I'm happy to and deliver. You're so, so first of all, years of philosophy. what I was asking um, of you, <laughs> you hiding again behind the mute button, you little bitch? Excuse me? Uh, uh, what I do you, said, what do you I, wanna... I'll, I'll repeat myself. I asked, are you hiding behind the mute button, you little bitch? Is That's that, what I asked. Is, is that your question? That's your question to me? Yeah. Go ahead. Wait, wait. I, I don't understand the question. What is it? What's the question? Hide, hiding behind... What? Hiding behind this joke? Is, this Scared. is horrible, man. You, you guys are... This is Keeps killing muting. you. This is ridiculous. Right. He's, just, he's just a coward. He knows if he lets me ask the questions, he gets fucked. I so asked. You, you asked the questions. He'll hide behind the mute button. He'll Dude. hide behind humor. He'll hide behind super chats. I mean, uh, I'm you surprised asked... you're letting me talk this much because this is enough. But if this gets across, you look fucking stupid to everyone. Okay. Right. What's your so, Tristan, What is your argument? Do you have an argument? Right. Okay. So the first question, which you've now answered, was what is it? I hope you let me complete the sentence before hiding, right? Let's see if you can do that. So the first question which you answered was, what is it that's true of animals that if true of humans- Yeah, made, made in the image and likeness of God. Thing? Okay, now there's two pathways we could go down from here, but I'll pick this one, okay? What is the argument that God even exists, Tristan? And don't bitch out and rely on your buddy. What What's is the doing? argument that morality exists, Isaac? Oh, you hiding behind a question, you little coward? You want to answer? <laughs> You think you look good to your audience right now, Tristan? Anyone what is the evidence? What type of evidence? Not hiding right now. Can you let me? You, why won't you let me answer questions, Isaac? Oh, what I is, love you too. Please. What's what the is the God? what is the evidence that God exists? Is what you're asking me? What's the argument? Yeah. God is necessary for the existence of morality, ethics, right argument. or wrong, to even argue a position. You require you the think? existence mm -hmm. of God. To even argue that there that I should, to even say that I should, 
answer your questions. You're assuming that morality exists. You're assuming that there is an ought. And for there to be an ought, you require something outside of your own personal preference. You, you require something outside of Isaac, ask yourself, the King Coomer. You, ex, you require something other than Coomer Isaac's brain, right? To justify morality, objective truth. Okay. Uh, uh, all right, you want the response? Okay. No, no, so, no. no are see, you taking the view that. Can I ask you questions more? now? Can I ask you a question? Please? Oh, you, you, yeah, you want to dodge the critique some more, Tristan, or you want to let me keep going? No, I'm are just. You keep hiding like a little bitch, or do you want to let me keep going and see if you can survive? Oh, you're so you're so good at arguing. Right, go ahead. Right, you're so good right, at debate. Go right. ahead. You, you look you look almost a little scared. All right. I'm frightened. Tristan, I'm really frightened. I, oh, oh, you're gonna hide behind your buddy again here? Is he gonna come here? Okay. Now you wore the poor deep hiding behind the mute button. Dude, I don't know. Next you're just there's the mute button high classic tristan move no, 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 no i tristan. didn't mute you that was well, actually I, a super I, I chat follow... hold on i'm gonna read the super chats i got a super chat here jared bear donates five bucks says are you bitching behind a webcam you little hide i guess he's talking to me yeah i'm yeah. so scared um thank you jared bear for that okay super chat. now if you want to now if you want to stop hiding behind the super chats tristan or hiding behind humor or hiding behind the mute button what am i hiding, hiding from friends, what am i hiding from Oh, what you're hiding from with this very question right now is from me directly pressing you with a critique that will humiliate you. What? That's what you're hiding from, Tristan. What? Well, why don't we find out? Let's continue, okay? Now, are you taking the view that God is a necessary being? You say he's a necessary for all these things. I assume you're taking the view he's a necessary being. Huh? No. I'm not talking to you, Deacon. I'm asking Tristan a question. No. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't hide from him. No. You, why do you keep trying to make up... Okay. Why do you keep... Right. Okay. Look, dude, you keep okay. trying to make up an argument for me. You keep trying no, to... No, no, all right. I'm going to put him in the waiting room. You can go to the waiting room for a second. Man. This is stupid. I, I just... I, I'm too tired to deal with... What... No, I understand. You've been this very patient. A, a I've been trying thing. to be patient as well. I try to give a little entertainment. I try to have patience. Um, does he have an yeah, argument? Yeah, it was, it was actually pretty entertaining, but you'll never get anywhere with this guy. He's in the waiting room still. He I'm wants. Right. So, I don't know. I'm going to... Let's try to hear... He's making a fool of himself, so I guess I don't mind him if he keeps going, and I'm not about to fall asleep because this is just very entertaining to me. Father Deacon Ananias, I'm, I apologize. I know you don't spend your time. <laughs> I know you're you're not here. Um, you're not here for this. I, I know you didn't call in and expect this. This is supposed to be a a fun conversation. He said he was going to be talking in good faith. I'm not sure where he's going with this, but I don't know. If you want to go, I I completely uh, understand. He hasn't let either one of us talk at all. But I kind of want him to finish his point. And just see where he's going. Um, you go. You go with him. I'm gonna go um, do my evening prayers. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, uh, Father Deacon Ananias, Father Deacon Doctor Ananias. I. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I don't know. I'm. I'm. I'm dumbfounded. I'm dumbfounded. But well, yeah. You can. You can take off. I. Oh. If you want to be the that was man, that was hard to daddy. yeah you can't get anything edgewise you can yeah I don't I don't really know what's going on here but uh yeah I'll go I'll, I'm gonna let him back in I guess and if you want to leave it's, I understand thank you for coming All right on. hey thanks for having me it was great to see everybody on here and um, thanks for your prayers everybody yeah hey likewise um, please please uh, pray pray for my patience as well. Father Deacon, Dr. Ananias, it's always a blessing chatting, yeah. and I appreciate your patience, I appreciate your uh, resolve, and I apologize for my own uh, sometimes lack of patience, <laughs> and sometimes just uh, just lack of ability to bite my tongue, and um, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll let him back in, we'll see where Isaac wants to go with this, because it's yeah, very, it's entertaining. Jessica's up later than she's been all week, and she thinks it's hilarious. It's stupidly painful. Stupidly That's painful, funny. she says, but what is... Well, um, yeah. I, <laughs> God bless you, Jessica. That's awesome. All right. That's I'll, awesome. I'll see you later. Uh, Jessica, please have a blessed evening. And uh, yeah, let's do a stream soon. Like, ethics would be great. We could talk about meta ethics and these issues too. All right. All right. It's, it's been a blessing checking. Let's, we'll have another talk sometime soon where it's actually a legitimate conversation with, uh, with real, genuine humans. And um, 
Yeah. Uh, thank you, Father Deacon Dr. Ananias. Mm -hmm. You can find him at right. Norwegian Noose. Bye, guys. The Norwegian Thanks. Noose on YouTube. The Norwegian Noose, N-O-U-S, on YouTube. And thank you, Father. Thank you, guys. All right. Okay, so Father Deacon Dr. Ananias is gone. So, all right, anyways, Father Deacon, on, let's, let's Father Deacon Dr. Maybe Ananias we is We can out. get him to answer. Here, here we go. Hey, Isaac. So, Tristan, are, did, did, you, did you want to stop hiding like a little bitch, or you just, you want to hide and call it a night? If you want to go, you can you can flee. I guess you, you, you is that what you want? Right it seems like you sure want that. You sure want me to. Uh, no, I mean, I'm, I'm good to go. I'm happy to just stomp you for as many hours as you want, dude. I got the time. Well, I'm just, I'm wondering it's if there's an argument. I'm just, I'm wondering if there's an argument. Well, if you recall where we're at in the dialectic, you invoke the trait being made in the image of God. So the question to you is, what is the argument that God's, uh, that we require God? Now, Why should I, here, God here's my question. Can I, can I answer? Now, once, no, no, no I can't can, answer. You can stop dodging. Yeah, you can't answer? flee behind the mute button. You're going to hide again? I'm asking if I can so, answer you a question. It, 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 sounds, it sounds like you're trying to hide again, Tristan. So I'll just complete what I was going to say before you started trying to hide yet again, right? Now, you said God is necessary for certain things, right? So I thought maybe I can save some time and just ask him if he thinks God is necessary generally, right? So oh, absolutely. No, you can't, you can't have any of this. God is the creator of all things, visible and invisible. Okay, now please also observe that... Am I allowed to ask you questions? You can I ask you questions? Are we just, not, are you just, gonna, are we just doing an interrogation? Is this not, an interrogation? Not as, not, is this an interrogation yeah, or a debate? Right, right now it is because I don't think you can handle it. I think mm. that you have to flee because you know if I get to push, you're just going to fail. Right? Push what? You think you can? Handle, you won't let me you speak. Think you can handle the interrogation. You won't let me then speak. I'll keep going. If, but if you want to hide, you can do that. What kind of, am I allowed to? Well, actually, am I allowed to talk? To am I allowed to talk, what I was Isaac? To say is that you're going to hide behind that again? I'm so asking you, you if you have an argument, dude. You're telling me that there's a moral imperative. Right. You're trying to trying to derail from the critique. <laughs> derail. Now, what? Well, yeah. Why don't you let me continue instead of trying to hide? Okay, go ahead and continue. So, Let's see where you go with this. Where are you right, going with this, right. buddy? Okay. Okay. Now, I'll also just point out that when I asked you, is God a necessary being, and you started actually answering the question, you'll notice my mouth went zip. The second you're actually addressing the point and not hiding, I'm in silence, my dude. Now, my dude. You said right, I'm your dude. I'm your is, dude. Am I your you dude? Said, call me your dude again. That's really cool. Gonna, Can you call me your hide, dude again? Gonna hide behind humor again? Is What's that he? another another dodge there? Huh? Flee, hovering on the mute button there, Tristan. Huh? Oh, he's scared. It's scared. I'm gonna wreck you. Now, you said that God is necessary, <laughs> right? So I take that to mean mm. that there is a contradiction entailed by the non-existence of God. So what's that contradiction, Tristan? No, I, I don't know what you're saying. It almost looks like you don't have an answer. Oh, you don't know what I'm saying. I don't know so what you you're even asking me. No, I don't even know what oh, you're sure, asking. Oh, sure, sure. Why don't I? Why? Oh, yeah, it's, it's almost like you don't have an answer. So why don't I repeat the question, okay? Uh -huh, yeah. You said God is necessary. Okay. So I'm asking you, what contradiction is entailed by his non-existence? What contradiction is entailed by God's non-existence? So you need a contradiction? You need that yeah, to say something is necessary, a contradiction that means logically necessary. Right? Yeah, yeah, no. What is logic? What is logic? Can you prove to me that logic oh, exists? Here's, 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 no, 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 I'm serious. No, I'm, will you prove to me that logic exists? What is logic? Behind the mute button again, Tristan. What is logic, I, Isaac? Are you going to keep hiding or are you going to let me run the critique, Tristan? No, I'm just, I'm getting bored with you. You're not doing anything. You're not yeah, saying you're just, anything. You just, you just want to hide or do you want to try to answer the critique? I want you to tell right me what now, logic it's, is. It's almost, it's almost like the second that I get you in a corner <laughs> where you can't answer something. What? Right? You start doing, you start doing the fake laugh. You start doing the super chats. You start trying to ask me questions, right? My worldview could be total bullshit. A Christian could ask you these same questions, right? I could be fucking some completely contradictory victory moron right you asking me what my view is is beside the point oh admitting some other people to hide behind classic no, this is Kristen. this is classic, not classic we we've got now, collins dude we're doing now, collins do, do, let's do, do you want do you want right, to we'll, let's put him back in the waiting room all right so that is amazing i am just i'm dumbfounded we got garland farms and maddie andrews we've got uh, maddie andrews he's, he's uh, gone he nobody nobody can get in a word I know you're loving I this. To, I know you I Zoomers are loving one. this. <laughs> no, I, look, honestly, to be honest, the only reason I was staying with, like, I'm supposed to be, like... Keep it YouTube I'm friendly. Keep it YouTube friendly, please. Yeah, I've got class, uh, okay, class early, so uh, 
I was gonna go to bed, but he joined, and I I saw the face from the remix on Jay Dyer's Instagram, and I was like, oh, I gotta stay to see what he says, and it's just retarded. So I I, I was gonna come in and make fun of him, but he's being too spurg. So he's having these little ticks that are really retarded. I don't I don't understand like why he asked you the question about uh, the uh, the morality or whatever, like why what is different between an animal and a human being or whatever, uh-huh. and then you tried to like. Like, like, you have to agree on the terms of morality. To yeah. even, but what is morality? Then what do you mean? Like, what is, where is this moral imperative coming from? He won't let us talk about right. that. He just wants to lead us in this weird... I don't understand what he's doing. It's very autistic. It is what it is. But, you know, he says he's smashing me. So I guess, I guess he's... Uh, yeah. I guess he wins. <laughs> it's, it's gay. And then uh, when you were in the bathroom, he was a guy. He... Uh, he uh, wouldn't let uh, make his views clear either. He was just art, like, inter- and, and the thing is, is like, no matter what you you're right or wrong, like, you have to agree, like, it has to come from somewhere, because let's take, like, hate speech. You have to do that it's wrong to be mean to each other. Exactly. What so, is, like, so what is right and wrong? What do you mean? What makes it morally right or wrong to do something? I want to know what you mean by right or wrong, dude. What do you mean morally right or Do right. you mean objectively or do you mean subjectively? If you mean subjectively, if you mean that morality is subjective and right or wrong is just whatever we choose, then it doesn't matter what I choose to say my morals are to you. If you just believe morality is subjective and everybody just makes it up by themselves, you have no argument. But when I ask him the question, is morality subjective or objective, he won't, he won't answer. I don't understand that. What do you think he's doing there? Yeah, I don't know. He uh, <laughs> he was definitely having some sort of like autistic problem. Oh, there's, there's a that. lot of problems that go beyond just the autism. There's a lot of problems that go <laughs> just beyond that. Um, we got Garland Farms. What's up, Garland Farms? Hey, Tristan. How are you? Good, man. Great to hear your voice. It's been a while since we chatted. Yeah, it's been a long time. How's everything out in Texas right now? Uh, well, it's a little hotter than I wish it was, but uh, and we're a little bit dry again, but things are good. Nice, nice. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like both of you guys probably wanted to talk to the other caller, but I don't think he's going to allow any conversation outside of his, uh, uh, his strange just gonna games. Fun. That's, yeah, yeah could... we'll see. Let's see if we, let, we'll pull him back in and see what he has, has to say. Let's see what... Uh, Oh gosh! Here we go. All right, let's see if he wants to come back. I'll keep it optical. He's 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 so he's oh sorry oh oh, no I was just gonna say he's so cocky and I've just been wanting to humiliate him like that for so long and I knew he wouldn't be able to answer any of the questions and just start hiding. I know I did I answered your questions Isaac I did answer your questions. Hey one sec you let me back in one sec. (laughs) Okay yo hey little bitch you gonna you gonna answer some questions oh you got you stop hiding. Wait, uh, you, 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 you no, think you that are, insulting? You're gonna hide behind these people, Tristan. You're gonna hide behind your buddies. You're such a virgin, dude. Please did, get did some. You wanna, did you wanna? Did you wanna? Did you wanna let me? Uh, you should think that's noble, buddy. You're Christian, are you? Are you Tom Lord? Tristan, did you did you wanna deal with the critique, or you wanna hide behind your friends? Yeah, I don't hear a critique. I just you. I see you steal. Oh well, then why I, don't I continue? You won't so even you allow me to that talk. God is a necessary. You oh said that God is a necessary being. Now, I asked you what contradiction is entailed by God's non-existence. Yeah, don't cock your head at me, you fucking idiot. That's what you said, dumbass. Now, what contradiction is entailed by God? You know what's also <laughs> funny? You know what's this funny? Kid just <laughs> watch his words the first. You, you can just, you know, say his garbage. No, right? no, you're just a pathetic, pathetic answer, answer to the question. For asking for can you... You're just going to hide behind this guy, Tristan? You're going to hide behind this shubby I'm not sure. Working? I'm not sure what's going on here, Isaac. I'm kind of confused, man. You seem... Oh, I'm, I'm trying to get sure. an answer to a question. Yeah. I asked you to name the trait. You said being made in God's image. I asked you what the argument for God is. You said he's a necessary being. I no, asked no, what I'm, not, I'm asking you. You're, you're asking me. And you started hiding. What is so what's hiding? the contradiction, Tristan? What is hi- How am I hiding? Exactly how Jay got destroyed, too, by the way. Jay <laughs> <laughs> so, died. <laughs> oh, there's, there's, there's the cringy right, we fake got a, laugh. We got a we, Luthi in the mortal sends 499 super chat. Says oh, Isaac. Hiding behind the super chats. Yeah, I want to find out. Find out. We can't. We, find out. Uh, hiding behind so, the you'll Come at me and you'll find out how strong I am eating a plant-based diet. I wonder how long he'll just okay? keep doing you'll this. You'll find like, out. 
This is amazing. This is this is fantastic. I am just I don't know. I'm dumbfounded. Um, wait, where's I don't want to see my view. I want to see your view. Okay. Anyways, we got a super chat there. Let's read that super chat. We got Luthi and the Mortal donated four ninety nine through super chat. It says Isaac is cringe. Boom boom goes the room. Donates five bucks through super chat. It says Tristan is a girl's name. Eat some veggies and learn how to answer questions. Dang, dude, that's I. I feel so emasculated that you just said my name is a girl's name. Um, BTFO me, I guess. Thank you. Um, all right, we got we got Matt and, and Garland Farms. I don't know if, if Isaac will will let us any of us talk. It doesn't seem like he's gonna allow any of us to speak. But it's it's entertaining. I'm so why he's obsessed with Jay Dyer. It doesn't make any sense. To why me. is he so <laughs> obsessed with Jay? He's so obsessed with him. It's like it's yeah. almost midnight here. It's getting late. It's been like five hours of streaming. Should we it's let him back in? It's one a.m. Where I, <laughs> it's one a.m. I gotta wake up at seven or eight o'clock late at the latest, no matter what tomorrow. But Jessica's getting. I have class in seven hours. But... You should be in bed. I wouldn't stay up for this. This is. I mean, it's Dude, just was, oh all we're doing God. is we're just collecting. We're just collecting stuff for Young Virus to make remixes. This is basically all we're doing at this point. We're just collecting clips for Young Viruses videos. Yes. All right, let's get people want. You guys want Ay back on? You guys want Ay back on? Will he let me ask okay. him a question? You should add him. But uh, I, why does the muting let him unmute himself? That's oh, my know. question. Yeah, I don't know. He's he's very. Let's see. We got two people in the waiting room. Let's see. We got Bryn Meikle. Let's see what Bryn has to say. We'll let Bryn in first. Hey, Bryn. What's up, Bryn? Bryn, you're live with Garland Farms, Matt Andrews, and myself. What's up, Bryn? Hi, I'm just calling in. Uh, I've been watching over the last little bit. Um, I'm just interested in uh, talking to you. I'm not sure what the uh, guy in the red shirt's name is. I, I sort of missed his first name, but he seemed like he could be someone that is reasoned with, and I was wondering if you'd be interested in talking about some of what appears to be misconceptions about what NTT is trying to do. Uh, NTT? What? Yeah, yeah so name, name the trait, which I take to be um, ask yourselves um, extension upon or uh, like reformulation of a kind of argument that argues for animal rights from tethered like human rights using an appeal to non-contradiction or consistency. I have no clue what you're talking about. Okay, I, 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 that, that, that's fair. I think that those are all like very inside baseball terms. One of the things that I, I think sort of demonstrated that you, you might have been confused about what was going on that I think that can be cleared up really easily is that the point of the argument is to actually agree with the meta-ethics. So, uh, let's say, like, I'm a, I, I might be, like, a subjectivist. Um, but okay. I, I'm talking about... You, wait, okay, I'm talking so about anyways, you. hey, hey, caller, hey, caller, Brian. It, so you believe morality is subjective, right? No, 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 I'm, I'm an objectivist, actually. I'm, okay. I'm actually a theist. Okay, so you believe morality is objective and that there is truth that is outside of our subjective perception. That's right. Okay, go, go ahead. But yeah, so I just want to clarify what, what Name the Trait purports to do. One of the ideas is that even though if I'm running the argument, if I'm a subjectivist like Isaac, I can be talking to an objectivist and just let them have their own meta-ethics. Because the, the point of the argument is that what I think as the person running the argument doesn't matter at all. The idea is that if I'm an objectivist who thinks that it is wrong to murder humans, there has to be something that accounts for why it is wrong to murder humans, but it is not wrong to kill non-human animals. And the question is, what, what is that supposed to be? Now, it's I, a I stupid it question. Be, the, whole thing, with... the whole thing is ridiculous in the first place, right? So I should ask, the, the way that to, really, to really crush this argument is you just turn around the argument. And you say, what is true of animals that it makes it okay for animals to kill and eat other animals, but not okay for, for human beings to kill and eat animals? How do you answer that if, if you were positive Wait. to that question? 
Sorry, to, to, to be honest, I, I, I turned out for a bit if you don't mind just restating the question and then I'll try to answer. What is true of animals that makes it okay for animals to kill and eat other animals, but it's not morally okay for human beings to kill and eat animals? The, the difference that's most often cited by vegans and sort of like working philosophers is that... He, working uh, animals, what do you mean working uh, philosophers? You mean like ask yourself? Is he a working philosopher? I don't think that Ask Yourself would claim to be a working philosopher. I'm more talking about people like um, Christine Korsgaard or um, like Tom Reagan. Yeah, I don't know that either one of them, but okay. Yeah, why are we rambling on about autistic yeah, things? Why do, why do the I question go? to... But, but no, I, no, 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 I want to I I I answer Tristan's question. So the, the answer that's usually given is that... Um, no, but what's your answer? I don't care what answer is usually given. I don't care about games. What's the truth? That's what I want. I want truth. What is the answer? The, the, the truth is that uh, the animals do not have the rationality to be responsible, but they do have the ability to feel pain. Okay, so what um, is pain? Define pain. Pain, I just take it to be, is the ability for like a mind to be in a state of discontent. Okay, so discontent is bad? Something like that, yeah. All right, how do you and determine what is right and wrong? How do you determine what is right and wrong and good and bad? Um, so personally, uh, I think like theistic accounts are going to be the most successful. Okay, but why? Okay. Yeah, well, that's the only like way. I, I, that is, you're, you're right on that. I agree. Like the only way yeah. to objectively determine right or wrong is you have to account for, this is a metaphysical concept. Morality is metaphysical. Ought and should is metaphysical. This guy, um, ask yourself, refuses to reconcile his denial of the metaphysical but his assumption of the metaphysical, and that's his, that's his problem. He assumes no, 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 metaphysics, it, but denies metaphysics. He denies the very foundation that he stands on to try to make his argument, which is why he can't allow anybody to ask him any questions. Luthien the Mortal just sent 999 through a super chat. says, AY is a cringe Lord Spurg. His bed sheets are full of his coom. He washes his hands <laughs> after he cooms so it doesn't get on his mouse when he angrily surfs Twitter on his own. To, I'm sorry, to own non-vegans. I think that's a decent uh, characterization. I'm not there. having any difficulty. Um, all right, Again, we're going to... I'm bigger than you. I'm stronger call her, uh, than you. Brian, Brian Meikle, I wanna, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and, and let you go. If you got any last words, thank you for calling in, man. Um, we'll see if Ask Yourself yeah, wants to come in one more time. But yeah, do you have anything else to say? I appreciate the call. Yeah, if you, if you don't mind, I, I think that you've misunderstood the clarification. Mm -hmm. the, the point is, is that he doesn't have to talk about his metaphysics at all. Oh, he just yeah, has I mean, to ask. We, he just has leading questions world, yeah. and try to straw man you, which is his game. Okay, cool. Um, thank you for hanging out. Appreciate it. Let's see. Um, I don't know what he was saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Um, all right, Matt. I'm gonna let you go, man. I'm gonna talk to Garland Farms here for a second. Thanks for jumping back in, dude. Yeah, no problem. All right. Sure. I, don't, I don't want to remove you, but you. Yeah, there you go. JD. Yes. What, uh, what's your assessment? <laughs> <laughs> I want to, I want to rope the guy around the neck and drag him by a horse. That's what I want to do. I cannot, I cannot believe the level of dishonesty that has been shown tonight. The level of absolute spurdom is just, it's, it really is dumbfounding. I, <laughs> That's. The, one of the most disrespectful individuals that I have ever witnessed in my life. Why do you think he's, if he believes he wins these arguments, why do you think he's so mad? Why do you think he keeps lashing out? If he thinks he wins these debates, why is he spurging out all the time? Why is he so obsessed with trying to, uh, to somehow get back at, and he's obsessed with Jay. That's the funniest thing is it's like he keeps bringing up, do you agree with Jay's argument? Are you doing Jay's argument? Like, what does Jay have did to do with our debate, conversation? Did he debate you and Jay together on? on yeah, yeah. It, it was me and uh, Jay against him and Vegan Gains, and he's apparently he really he believes he won. He says, um, but I don't know. His actions don't seem to indicate uh, much confidence. But uh, I don't know. Let's should we should I pull him back in? What does the audience think? We're still super chats are still coming. I don't, I don't know how much more patience I have for this. It's like, it's the same, it's the same loop. And he'll sit there all day in the waiting room and he'll try and call back 50 times 
every single night he'll try to call back. He'll tag you 20 times a day. This dude is legit unhinged right now. Um, I want a chance at him. Let me let me talk to him. All right, let's let's pull him back in. We'll see. We'll see if ask yourself how much you want to bet he starts out with insults. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, he, he seems to be showboating. One, showboating one for his vegan friends. I'm gonna deafen for a second. Try to talk. Here he comes. Him. He's gonna destroy us now. Hey, hey, ask yourself, uh, Isaac. What's going on? Did man? you want to answer the question, or are you gonna gonna keep hiding, Tristan? What's your question? Okay, so the question, as it was before, is what contradiction is entailed by the non-existence of God? Uh, the logic, uh, reason, um, truth, right and wrong. Those are nouns. Morality. Those are nouns. That's all of those depend. Excuse me. All of those depend on the existence of the metaphysics. All those depend on the existence of something outside of Isaac's cum brain. Okay. All Where do morals those, and ethics okay. come from in a world without do, sorry, a God? Do, are you going to hide behind this guy, or can I address what no, you No, nobody's said. hiding behind everybody. This is oh. open lines, oh, dude. I, I think, it's not I about you. I know, I know you think it's always about you, but this is open You're lines. Grateful. Look, there's the mute. There's the mute, right? There you go. There you go again, hiding, right? Like a little bitch. Now, Tristan, what you just said, as far as I understood, correct me if I'm wrong, right? You're saying... I asked, what's the contradiction that's entailed by God's non-existence? And you went on and said something about God is necessary for, for logic or truth. Or yeah, 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 things. exactly. So do you understand what a contradiction is, Tristan? Because what you just said, no, the contradiction, not a contradiction. What I'm just telling you is you are a living contradiction. You stand oh, there's on- there's the non-answer, there's the dodge. You won't let me, dodge. so you won't let me speak. This is the thing. Well, you, you're dodging. Uh, Why don't you answer the question what am I instead dodging? of hiding? What is I the you know contradiction? What a contradiction is? I, yeah, Do I? Yes, I know what a contradiction is. Okay, define it formally. Okay. <laughs> define it. Formally. Oh, there's the oh, laugh. Man. There's the laugh and the dodge. You want me to define you contradiction Tristan? formally? You could just admit that you don't know what a contradiction is. No, no, you, you are a walking contradiction. You oh, are there's, living there's contradiction. There's another statement that's not not defining it. You're just saying some shit about me, right? Let's say I'm a contradictory moron. Who right, cares? See, it's irrelevant, right? Do you know what a contradiction is, Tristan? Let's say I don't know what a contradiction is. I'm a contradictory moron. Let's say that uh, uh, that uh, let's say yeah, that uh, everything if you, if everything you is you no, nobody to... knows nobody knows anything except I'm Isaac. Just, oh, now, you're, you're what just, is your argument? Just dodging. What is your argument? To, it, it's oh, here's here's the dodge, right? Now you might notice that you're the one. What is the argument here? here? You might What's notice the argument? that there, here's the dodge, right? Here's you trying to dodge by asking me questions, right? <laughs> now, Tristan, can you actually handle the line of questioning, or are you going to try to grab I just the line of questioning question, and run yeah. your own? Because you know that I'll just corner you if you let me talk, right? That's I'm listening, you're... Isaac. I'm <laughs> listening. Go ahead. We're like, all you know, listening. You know what? Dude. I actually appreciate that, but I, I hope, I hope, and you know, if you're going to be reasonable, then sorry for being a dick to you, but I hope that you won't give this guy cover, okay? I really want him to actually grapple with what's being said instead of hiding behind people, super chats, fake laughter, and other garbage, <laughs> asking questions that aren't necessary to answer my questions, et cetera, okay. right? I really right, hope you- Isaac, you get to go back in the waiting room, fag. Um, man, I just, it, it's just one thing after another. It's just the same line over and over again. I don't know. I don't know. Do you, do you see where he's going with this? You see where he's going with this? I don't see where he's going with it because I don't understand the vegan logic. They tend to be atheists and, and to each his own. But uh, how do you come up with these ethics, these vegan ethics? Where did these vegan ethics come from? Is there, if there's no God, where do vegan ethics come from? What makes killing animals bad in you, the mind of a vegan? Apparently that's derailing. He says if you, if you ask him any questions, that's derailing. He wants to play this sparring game where he goes, what is the contradiction that requires God? If, if, what is the contradiction? What is the contradiction? Define it. Say it, say it in a formal, present it in a formal syllogism, please. Uh, I, I, there's, no, there's no argument. So, I mean, I don't know. I think he's shown over and over again just the level of, the level of dishonesty, the level of patheticness that, uh, that he's willing to, that, that he's displaying. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of, it's just kind of a broken record at this point. 
So I don't know. We'll, well, he's he's doing what he he accused you of answering a question with a question, and his argument was that was not how you debate. But he's now answering a question with a question. I can't ask him questions. You. I can't ask him any questions. It's only he's going to do an interrogation, and he's going to disprove. Right, is, and his whole thing is he's going to disprove God. He's going he's gonna to disprove the existence of God. So he wants to disprove metaphysics while relying on metaphysical assumptions like that we should believe in truth, that we should believe in logic. Logic is metaphysical. Reason is metaphysical. This is why he won't answer these questions. He won't discuss this. Um, I guess I, well, you get one more chance, Isaac. We'll pull him in one more time. And let's see. Let's see if he can actually... Let's see what happens here. Hey, so so are we able to? So can I ask you a question, right, Isaac? Can we ask? Can I finally oh, ask you a question? Me, he's letting me back. I'm gonna mute. You hey, can, Isaac. Give them the links. So you can watch. Hey there, Isaac. You know, uh, okay, Tristan, are you gonna keep hiding, or did you want to try to answer the question? Hiding what from what? Contradiction. Okay. By the no, no, not the, I'm not gonna. I'm there's asking. no reason to answer a loaded question. Why? Oh, you're gonna. Can I ask? Gonna hide from the question. Isaac. Hide you're you're coming, let me you're coming the across question. as someone no, who just wants no, to insult. Oh, you're gonna hide behind. You're just this insulting. Guy you're just insulting over and over. You're insulting him. Trying to avoid. Right? Can you can you debate without insults? Line of questions. You can't hey, debate without insults. Right? Why are you trying to insult him every time you turn around? I Do you realize whose live stream you're on, Isaac? Isaac, do you realize whose live stream you're on? Are you just showboating for your vegan friends? Are you showboating for your vegan friends that you have on Discord? You can't you can't stop trying to show off for your friends long enough. There's the mute to have a debate. Little Trist little Tristan hiding again. It's on my stream. Remember, you can't actually debate. Who, whose stream is it? Every question. Who you want to grapple with the critique? You have to preface every you question to with an with insult. The critique, there is no critique. You have to this preface guy every question with an insult. Super chat side behind. Every question that you ask Kristen, is an insult. Tristan, how about you answer? Just gonna hide? You gonna let this guy you talk to you? You have to insult you? before you, you and after. Bitch, not not man enough to challenge me yourself. You gonna hide behind this guy? Isaac, I'm that right here, dude. I'm waiting for you to actually engage okay, with me in a conversation. You, oh, you I'm, I'm happy me, to. You you want to right. play this okay, stupid so here's little the question? <laughs> no, no, you. Here's the question. Oh, you know you're gonna hide again? Okay, yeah. You're gonna oh, hide? Oh, you're gonna hide? You gonna hide? You gonna hide? You think you're winning? Seems like you think this is how you? Sure seems like it. You think you're actually now if. If you want to answer the question, the question is what contradiction is entailed by God's non-existence? Now, you don't have an answer, so are you going to hide behind the super chat, behind this guy, behind a fake laugh? So you want to try to answer it? Your point here is you're here to disprove God, right? You're here to pr disprove the existence I, of God. Nope, nope. I'm asking you to prove your claim that God's a necessary God, being by explaining what contradiction is entailed by his non-existence. And I just told you. Okay, and I'm now asking you, do you understand, you do you understand what a contradiction <laughs> is? Because what you delivered. All right, I got a super chat here from Luthi and the Mortal. Luthi and the Mortal donates four ninety nine through super chat, and he says Isaac hasn't left his room because of Canada liberal lockdown. He's been cooming so much his brain is melted. Sounds about right. Um, got another super chat. Jessica C just donated seven dollars twelve cents seven twelve via super chat. Says ask yourself is being very disrespectful. You have a lot of patience. I mean, it's, it's very entertaining to me. Uh, the guy, he, he's making a bigger fool of himself than he's ever made publicly that I've seen. Um, so Kristen, I, did you want to answer the question? Or are you gonna keep we got a super chat here for Eli Hernandez. Two bucks through super chat says, Isaac 11 Fact Pro. <laughs> Isaac 11 Fact Pro. I like that. That's a good one. Um, so anyways, so... Yeah, oh, are you done hiding? You, so you're, you're, you're I'm trying... ready to ask you a question if you're done hiding. You just what is the source of vegan ethics? Are you, oh, you're going to hide behind this guy now. What is the yeah, source so can of I ask you a question? I can't, can I ask you? I, you have a question, Isaac. I think it's been what like two hours. Are you hiding, you hiding behind this ethics? guy, or can I get an answer to my question? I'm asking you Isaac, a question, you Isaac. Speak. Answer my question. Tristan, Where, what is the source of vegan ethics? Oh, you got to hide behind the mute button and your button. What is you can't. Is that? <laughs> imagine imagine Isaac, being scared of me, Tristan. You're scared Isaac, of me. You so are all scared. people. So you scared. are a punk. Just, just imagine that. What, what kind of reality are you living imagine, in? Look, you got to invite a what is the Isaac. You, what is the I, bet you, I bet you you're too... I bet you're too... I bet you're too of a bitch. Oh, there you go. Hiding. Mute button. As per usual. Won't answer the question. 
Just hide behind the mute button, Tristan. <gasps> Dude, Don't Isaac, you, you said I could ask you I questions. Bet, Isaac, I can bet, I ask, oh, am, now, am I allowed to ask you questions Oh, now too? you're trying to hide Are behind. We, Oh, it's now you're me? hiding behind questions. So Isaac, what are you when gonna you, hide behind this guy? Or? When you so when Isaac asks a question, when Isaac asks a question, apparently it's debating. When I answer his question, he says it's deflecting. When I ask him a question, he says it's hiding. Where's the logic there? How, what kind of a debate is this? I'm not allowed to ask any questions. And when I answer his question, he could just say it's a deflection, and then when I ask him a question, he'll say that I'm hiding. And this guy, for last, the last two years, he has been obsessed with Jay and I, especially Jay. He's got a really big chip on his shoulders from what Jay did to him. And he's absolute, look at, look at the eyes, look at the face. Look at this Coomer pale spurred face with his big ass grapefruit looking eye lid bags. He's so obsessed with us but he can't even engage in a conversation. It's been two years he's been begging for this. And this is how he treats it. This is what he does. It's been two years. All right, Luthien the Mortal. What's up, Luthien? Luthien the Mortal says uh, 4 dollars through Super Chat. Imagine being scared of me. Isaac just BTFO himself. You gonna answer says. a question, Tristan? Uh, okay, so he's hide. still going. Uh, we'll, see how long, we'll see how long he'll do that for. So I guess we'll mute him for a second. Garland Farms has almost as much patience as Father Deacon Dr. Ananias. Uh, who, ask yourself here, was very disrespectful too. Um, I don't know. Um, let's see. Garland Farms, do you, you got anything to say? You got any, uh, you got any questions or things to say to the audience? Or Tristan, did you want well, to produce... See, you gotta, oh, are you just going to hide? All right, here, well, we'll you going to hide him. or did you want to try to deal... We'll, we'll, we'll put him in the waiting room for a second. We'll put, the, uh, okay. we'll put the bot over there in the waiting room and eventually get back to him. Um, Shit, well, the man. question I keep asking the vegans is what makes it wrong to kill an animal and eat it? And what makes it right to kill an animal because it's threatening to eat your spinach or your cabbage? The difference is, is that we're going to eat the animal that we kill, and they're going to let the animal lay in the field and rot. What makes it more ethical to leave the animal to lay and rot <clears throat> than eating it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, I mean, the, the, they'll say, oh, crop deaths though, crop deaths though. <laughs> That'll be the response. It's, oh, yeah. it's the intent, harvest, they'll say it's the intention. Harvest death, mm -hmm. but, but they never do acknowledge the, the crop protection industry. That's a multi-billion dollar industry. Like I've said before, it involves poisons, it involves shooting, uh, trapping, uh, gassing. They trap and gas molds and bowls. Yes. They trap them and then they put them in a container and they, uh, they fill it with carbon dioxide and asphyxiate the animal. Sometimes they'll start up a, a, a Briggs and Stratton engine and run a pipe <clears throat> from the tailpipe down into a a rodent hull and gas the rodents that way mm. but that's okay because they don't eat the animals they let the animals rot underneath the ground where they ex they've been asphyxiated and of course the only response that they can come up with when you point this out is uh well uh cattle and sheep eat crops too so you're just as guilty as we are when uh Obviously, uh, they're speaking to a regenerative grass-fed beef and goat producer here who doesn't feed crops at all. It's all natural forages, uh, the same way that the, the bison that originally built the high-carbon soil that we found on the North American continent a few, few hundred years ago, mm -hmm. same method uh, uh, that we find in nature is what guys like me are using to sequester carbon and put it back into the soil where it belongs. I don't think that any of them actually care about animals. Um, it's more about their ego and uh, some of them it's about ego and others it's, it's about an agenda. Yeah. 
Uh, and and obviously ask yourself here, he really cares about the animals, right? It's been abundantly clear since the very beginning that he's just there as a compassionate vegan for the animals. And that's why he's so obsessed with trying to frame some sort of, I don't know what he's trying to tell himself, but it's getting, it, it really is weird at this point. It was weird for the last two years, him, him obsessively trying to engage again. But the fact that he finally gets a chance and this is what he does, it's, um, yeah, it's kind of next level. But I, I don't know. His only hope is to come on here and insult you to try to, in, <clears throat> to, try to impress his friends and his followers and if he comes on and has a, an honest debate, he knows he will lose. So the only thing he can do is come on here and be belligerent and insult you. And meanwhile, his little vegan kill cult is in the background clapping, saying, yes, you won, which they always claim to have won. <laughs> it's pathetic. Debate. It's pathetic, man. It's like it, I, nobody – I can't ask him a single question. I can't ask him a single question. And the only thing I'm allowed to do – is give him the exact answer that he wants, right? So I, this is the most disingenuous way of debating. And this is how they always frame it, him and vegan gains. They play these little fake sparring matches. Um, but hey, man, I, yeah. I appreciate you jumping in. I'm sorry that, I don't know, I'm, I'm glad you were, I'm glad you were, um, you know, patient and, uh, you know, you tried and you had a good question there, but he refused to answer. And it is a question that you bring up really often on your channel and something that, a lot of people don't talk about, a lot of people don't think about how many animals these vegans are killing so that they can, uh, you know, malnourish themselves on their soylent diet and, and turn themselves into um, uh, healthy, mentally healthy, totally well-adjusted adults like Isaac um, with their vegan diet. So, dude, I uh, appreciate yeah. you coming on and I'll, I'll let you go. I'll, I think I'll pull Isaac in one more time and just see if he wants to, if he has an actual point or if he's just gonna run the same bottle it's fun to watch him reboot right it's kind of i like watching him reboot it's um i don't know it's there's something that's that's just amazing about this robotic nature that he uh that he exudes but yeah man where, where can people find more of your work man i know you've got a great youtube channel where can people find your your beef well they can just go to the garland farms youtube channel or they can uh, go to uh, texasfoodmiracle.com and i've got some ground beef up there and I'm getting ready to put some steak boxes together. If you'll go ahead and order some ground beef, I will Guys, stick a couple of steaks. If you want to be the, the big box. man, the big daddy. Mm, there we go. Hey, uh, sorry for the interruption. Eli Hernandez has got a question for you, though. He says, is Garland Farms hiring workers or employees? We're not hiring right now. No, but uh, you can check back with us in about six months. Sweet. See what happens. Hey, how about, how about a... Uh, what is it? internship? Just like non-paid manual. What about slaves? Will you accept him as a slave? <laughs> as a <laughs> unpaid manual laborer? Will you accept those? Well, I am I'm looking into uh, Joel Salatin's concept of mm. uh, stacking fiefdoms. Yeah. Where someone could come in and, and take a, uh, an animal that I'm not dealing in and improve the soil in an area that's not currently being used. And uh, mm. I don't have pigs right now, so if someone uh, knows how to raise pigs and understands the Salatin method in regenerative agriculture, then uh, I'd be willing to have a conversation with them. I've been thinking about bringing... If you Ooh. believe that you are being gaslighted, then speak out. Gaslighted. Come and speak to someone. Make friends within the vegan community. Treadmill technician through five bucks says the fact, the fact, the fact, the fact, the fact is that we need to consume meat. That should be the main concern. Our, our intellect makes us worrying about ethics, resulting in these subjective and conflictive ethics and arbitrary constructs like animal rights. Thank you, treadmill technician. I hope that is Dr. Gregor's treadmill technician. Dr. Gregor did not show up today. Unfortunately, but we did talk to Vegan Gaines. We did talk to, uh, who else? Rob Bliss. And even Ask Yourself. The real Ask Yourself. Um, cool. Uh, hey, JD. It's, it's been great chatting, man. It's a uh, very, very nice break from the uh, robotic conversation that I was dealing with before you jumped in. But yeah, man, I'll, I'll talk to you soon. And look forward to seeing more of your content over there at uh, Garland Farms on YouTube. 
Yeah. Thanks for having me, Chris, uh, Tristan. Yeah, bro. Have a good night. Yeah, take it easy, man. Thanks a lot, JD. Take care of those animals. JD's got he's got cows to rape in the morning, so he's gonna go to bed right now. He's gotta he's gotta go whip those cows and make sure that they uh here, I'm gonna come over here. Let's check the participants. Alright. Matthew Edelstein. We got Matthew Edelstein. Let's see, I don't know Matthew. Let's Matthew, you're live. What's up? Matthew, you're live. How you doing? Senor. Senor Edelstein. You there? Hello. Hello, 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 Matthew Edelstein. Hello. Um, sure, so uh, what's the position that you, like, so I, I'm on Ask Yourself's Discord, and you were defending some position. Um, what was the position that you were defending? No position. It was just Ask Yourself trying to straw man me the whole time, and I'm trying to get him okay. to actually engage in a legitimate conversation about ethics. He keeps trying to ask me these ethical questions, yet he won't answer any of my questions. He just wants to lead this strange little dance where he feels like he won in the end. Um, but I, I don't know. I'm not sure if you're... If you're okay, asking. sure. So what? So, okay. So you objected to the name, the trade question. So I assume. So so so. Let me ask you a question. What is the trait that makes it okay for animals to kill and eat other animals, but not okay for human beings to eat and kill animals? Name it. Well, sure. So two things. One, I don't think it's generally okay for animals to eat other animals. The thing is, if I have a well-reasoned discussion with a bear. The bear will not listen to my well-reasoned discussion, and then will like eat a horse still. So my yeah. well-reasoned discussion is unable to convince a bear. However, my well-reasoned discussion—I mean, I, I don't think I may like—it is able to convince people. The diff. So I'm a strict utilitarian. So Are you? Like, hold on, hold on. Are you ask? You're strict utilitarian. So it's just whatever. Whatever gets you to your desired ends is justifies what you're saying. If you're utilitarian, that is right? not what utilitarianism is. Utilitarianism is the principle that we ought to maximize well-being and minimize suffering. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes, so whatever you want, you get to do because no, it makes your whatever I want your well-being maximizes suffering and minimizes well-being. Define suffering. Suffering is a negative sensory experience. So positive sensory experience, if we just hook up everybody to a giant opioid creating machine and fry their brains with opium and send them into this blissful state and fry them into death, that's giving them well-being because um, it feels good. Yeah, because but what if we hook you up to the opium machine and we put you in front of a bunch of your hentai and you guys can coom while you're getting your opium dope, uh, dopamine hit at the same time? Wouldn't that improve your well-being? Uh, no, so I think a person gets more quality of life from the long run. Who decides what is quality of life? Who decides well, what is quality of life? Whoever is making the decision should make the value judgment at what they think will maximally improve quality of life. Okay, so what maximally improves my quality of life is telling you and Isaac that you're stupid spurgs and have no idea what you're talking about and come off like total fools. So that makes me feel better. It might makes me have better quality of life just because I said so. And also, it gives me better quality of life well, to kill okay. and eat animals. So therefore, it's justified in your worldview. Sure. So again, what you okay. Hey, hey, vegan gains on helium, as uh, more <laughs> Monica says. Vegan gains on helium. What, what is wrong with just hooking everything up to a giant dopamine creating opioid machine and frying them to death to make them feel good? So that would not be the most effective way of maximizing well-being because people get more value to their lives than would be achieved by just a one-shot hit of dopamine. Who decides what value? Who decides what value? However, if there was a way, you just asked me that, but yeah. my, the second part of the answer is uh -huh. that, however, if there was a way to maximally achieve people's well-being such that it did, uh, if the best way to, to maximize people's well-being was to hook everyone up to an opiate, then that would be entirely fine. Okay. Um, you asked yeah. me who dies. Whoever is so you think? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. So it's yeah. not okay for animals to kill and eat other animals. Like a bear is immoral for killing and eating a bear, or for killing yeah, they um, eat their own well, young. Is that immoral? 
Sure. So I don't think morality really applies to agents. I think morality applies to the action. I think that the act of an, if a bear eating a horse is an immoral action, even if because it has bad consequences, yeah. is where I think morality is wise. Okay. Can I ask you, what is morality and how do we know what is morally right and wrong? Uh, so uh, I'm a moral objectivist. What? You just said you're a moral subjectivist, and you said it's all subjective. Now you're an objectivist? Wait, wait, when did I say it was subjective? You just Literally said that like... you're a pragmatist, and whoever decides what their well-being is maximized. You just said morality is defined by well-being, which is individually decided by whoever wants to decide whatever they want about their own well-being. And now you say it's objective. Wait, okay. Wait, you think that the idea of utilitarianism is mutually exclusive with moral realism moral realism i'm saying objective and subject okay, moral morality. realism is what is synonymous with more objective morality the idea of are you ask yourselves little brother is this ask yourselves brother i am not now um but so so again i mean ask yourself he's a subjectivist um, and so, so are you. Yes. And so are you. Where does objective morality come from? How Wait. do you determine? Hey, shut up. How do you determine what is objectively morally right and wrong? Um, I, whatever maximizes well-being is objectively morally right. And how do you? Who decides what maximizes well-being? You said that's subjective, you idiot. You said that it's. You said morality is objective, but then whatever maximizes well-being, but well-being is subjective. How fucking this is why Isaac this is why Isaac won't let anybody ask any questions and he wants the wants the bulldoze through a fake conversation. Do you understand how stupid and self contradictory this is? How old are you? Question. How old are you? How old are you? How old am I? Yes. How old are you? Why well, why is that a relevant consideration? Why is it a relevant consideration? How old are you? Please tell me. Why I would mean, you I, why are you ashamed to tell me how old you are? Why? You know, I'm really, I'm really ashamed of my minimal age. You know. How old are you? Tell us. We want to know. I'm, I'm a minor. You're less than 18 years old. True. Okay, and you haven't even graduated high school. Um. Uh, yes. I. I do not. I don't think you have made an argument. No, no. My argument is your argument is self-contradictory. You silly okay, what? fool. Wait, name yes. the contradiction. What is the, con what is the, the contradiction? contradiction? You just said that morality is objective. I asked you, how do we determine what's objectively right or wrong? You said subjectively. You're no, 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 stupid. you're mis- You're mis- no. you're so <laughs> Okay, how do you determine Wait, okay, what's- How do you determine Wait, what's- Wait. How do you determine what's morally right and wrong? So, you look at what maximizes expected well-being. Expected well-being, and who decides what expected well-being is and how you maximize it? Who decides that? So, uh, the, so whoever still, is making still, the decision still. decides that. That is the same way- So it's subjective! You just said it's subjective! Tristan, Tristan, <laughs> you believe in objective morality, right? You believe in objective morality, correct? Morality is objective. It cannot be subjective. Right. You believe in objective morality, okay? How do you determine what best meets your objective morality? How do I determine? How do you I don't it? determine what is objectively right or wrong because no, I, I. I know you don't determine what is objectively right or wrong, but if you're making practical decisions under your moral framework, how do you determine? <laughs> I'm asking you about objective morality. I'm asking you about morality yes, I and even objective morality. Wait, and wait, you're wait, asking wait, me wait, how wait, I determine. Your answer to my question <laughs> will defeat your argument because what I have said, you're tackling. <laughs> All right, we got another. This is. Are they, is he cloning himself? Is ask yourself a deep fake cloned AI bot that is able to self replicate with little mini soy voice versions of himself? I am in, I feel like I'm in an alternate reality. I feel like I'm in an alternate reality right now. What, in what reality can you say that morality is objective, but we get determine it, we get to determine it subjectively? What, what reality are you in, dude? What reality are you in? Matthew Edelstein, you get one more chance to tell me how you determine what is objectively right or wrong. How do you determine what's objectively right or wrong? Great. So the way morality works is that objective morality means that there is a right answer at the end of the day. That is my view of At the end ethics. of the day. So there's a right answer at the end of the day. And, yes. And how do you know so, what so that answer is? 
How do you know what the right answer is under your moral system? Under any moral system, what you, what actions you take is what actions you think best adheres to your moral system. You cackling is not an answer to the argument. <laughs> really, really, no, so the no, question no, of no, 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 no. Dude, how many hours have you, you're like, you said you're a minor. How many hours have you spent soaking in? Ask yourself's voice. You sound like him. Everything about you is ask yourself. You're like a miniature bot version of ask yourself, dude. Get off the internet, get off of Discord, and go live your life, little boy. I cannot believe what I'm hearing here. This is fucking pathetic. Go, where's your father, dude? Where's your dad? He's le he left. He left. This is what happens when you don't have fathers. This is what happens when your fathers are not around. Dads, moms, raise your children. Please don't put your children in the public school system. Please don't give your children access to pornography at a young age. This is the result. This is the result. <laughs> this is, you're fucking pathetic. <laughs> Ask yourself. Why don't you come? I knew your little brother was here. Let's see if Ask Yourself... We'll let, we'll let Ask Yourself run one more round. Let's see if he'll reboot. Let's reboot Ask Yourself just one more time because it's freaking entertaining. And we'll see if Ax Yourself has anything to say. Here we go. What's up, buddy? Oh, we're back. All right. Oh, hey, no one to hide behind. Holy shit. Are you actually going to face me face to face and let me run a line of questioning without trying to hide between super chats, friends, fake laughter, um, questions? <laughs> hey, are we going to? Hey, hey, hey can, I ask, remember, can I ask you questions? Can I ask you a question? And there's the mute. Button. Am I allowed to ask you a so, question? No, you're welcome to answer the question. No, I'm not allowed to ask you a question. I just have to answer them. Nope, nope. You're welcome to answer the critique. I can right? only add, I can want, only answer questions. I can't ask you any questions. If you, if you want to get to a stage of asking me questions, you may concede that you're incapable of replying to the critique. Then you may ask me questions. If not, I will be asking you questions. Okay, so now the question is the same as it was before. Same question you've been dodging this whole time. Okay, so again, he rebooted. We can't get past the phase one. We can't get past phase one. He just reboots. How boot that? He just reboots. It's, a, it's, it's nonstop. It doesn't stop. I could go all night. It's 1230 here. I got to wake up at like, the latest I can sleep in is like 8 o'clock. The sun comes through the window. I got cows to milk. I got children to take care of. I have a beautiful wife to eat breakfast with in the morning. Um, I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure how many more times we can reboot, but I'm really curious just how many times this soy boy freaking, <laughs> I don't even, coomer brain can reboot. I don't understand. I don't understand. Let's, 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 let's reboot the tick one more time and we'll see if, uh, we'll see if he wants to actually let me ask him some questions. Am I allowed to ask you questions? No, I'm only allowed to give him the responses that he wants. That's the only thing that's allowed. Hey Isaac, can we reboot? You want to reboot? Go ahead, reboot. Hey Isaac, how you doing? Sorry, one second. Uh, can you hear me, Tristan? Am yeah, yeah. Right? sorry, just wanted to reboot real quick. You, you there? Okay, so we're gonna try, we're gonna try again, okay? Yeah. Here, let me just get my recorder over here. I've, I've recorded all of your hiding. Here. Perfect, all of my perfect, hiding. yeah. So everyone can see what you I'm hiding, going yeah. On. What am I hiding from again? This question. Okay, so let me ask you your question first. Can I ask you a question? Let me ask you, can I ask you your question now? You said I could ask you You're questions earlier. You. Did, you, can, you can ask me questions after you produce an answer to the series of questions I'm asking you or concede that you can't react to the line of questions. Okay, can I ask you a question first though before you ask me a question? question that you've been dodging. Can I ask you a question no, first? No, the question that you've been dodging is. Why can't I ask you a question? What contradiction is entailed by God's non-existence, Tristan? That's not even my argument, dude. Why can't I ask you a question? Oh, no, you said that God is a necessary being, right? Yes, you know, God, God is logically necessary. Absolutely, absolutely. And denying God okay. and the fact the fact that okay. you're... Do you understand? No, no, listen, listen, second. listen. You're going to let me explain? You, under, you want... I can't speak? I can't speak? Can I speak? It, it bet you, <laughs> just, can I speak? You're going to reboot? Clear. You're going to reboot? Can I speak? What? You said God's necessary, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. For morals, okay. for right okay. and wrong, for there to be an now, ought, to, God is to necessary. Say, to say God's necessary is to say that a contradiction is entailed by his non-existence. No, 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 no. What? 
To say oh, God so is necessary. Sorry. God is ne- <laughs> shut up for a second. God is necessary for the very preconditions that you require to be able to ask a question. God is necessary for there to be morality, for there to be right or wrong, for there to be objective morality, for there to be objective truth. You require something outside of Isaac's Coomer brain to determine what is right or wrong. So you pretend like there is right or wrong, yet you want so to you, deny it. Just to be clear, you want to answer instead of hiding, Tristan. I just, just answered. To be clear, I just answered. You take. Uh, there's more to follow, right? You don't get to just answer one and then run for the hills like a little cowardly rat, right? I'm hoping you can actually address the whole critique instead of fleeing like go a ahead. coward, right? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Now, go ahead. When boy. you just just to be clear, yeah, go you ahead. You will I... concede that there's no contradiction entailed by God not existing. Will you admit that? No, I don't know what you, you can't put words. Okay, around. then what's the contradiction? Go, there's what contradiction? What are you saying? Oh, it's almost like you're completely fucked, Tristan. Okay, so I'll ask you again, right? Will you concede that no contradiction is entailed by God not existing? <laughs> that's your argument? Oh, you, no, no, that's a question. That's your argument? There, I haven't. I, you don't know what an argument is. An argument is a set of premises and conclusion. You're obviously too stupid to know any formal logic. The question, Tristan, it's a question, not an argument, okay, okay. is will you concede that <laughs> no. there's no contradiction entailed by God not existing? Well, I concede. No, I'm not going to concede any of your silly okay, little frame game. Okay, then what is the argument? Show me. What's In fact, just before can an I, argument, Can I ask questions? Me. Can what I ask con- questions too? No, you can answer the line of questions. I can't ask questions? Scurry okay, away reboot. From. You're going to scurry, scurry into the gutter, Christian? Scurry into Christian? the gutter. Scurry yeah, into the gutter. Yeah, into the gutter. it seems like that's what you're doing because you know if you let me run the critique, you get <laughs> fucked, right? I take my dick, I bend you over and just insert it in that ass and just fucking smack you, right? That's what happens if you actually talk to me. Dude, you have a disgusting so mind. You, you have a disgusting do, Coomer ra- mind and you're out of here, dude. What you, oh, there you're, you, go, you have a hiding. disgusting Coomer yeah, adult no mind. That's fine. That's fine. Yep. That was the most disgusting okay. thing I've ever that's, seen. That's fine. That's fine. You have, you have no oh, argument. Whenever you're ready, All whenever you you're do ready is to insult. deal with the critique, I'm waiting. I'm happy to fucking destroy you and ever. You've you destroyed try again, nothing. You destroyed nothing except the little there, bit. There's the mute. You destroyed there. nothing except yourself the over and over again, dude. Where you gonna kick me, Tristan? You gonna hide? Or See, do you want to? That's what you want team? because then you could think that you win, and this gonna, is what you do you're every time. Scurry away. You're gonna. Scurry I've answered away all your like questions, a dude. Rodent. Oh, okay, great. So why don't you produce an answer to this question, Where's, Kristen? Can I, am I allowed to answer said, questions? Can I answer questions? No, yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Can so I ask questions question, too? Right? Can I ask questions nope, also? You're welcome. Nope, you're welcome to I can't ask questions. Question that you're scurrying I'm away only from allowed to answer rat, questions here, right? Tristan. I can only answer so questions. Take take your little your little ratty mind. Yeah, yeah. Focus it on the Oh, my ratty mind. My ratty mind. You're the one who is just humping oh, the air. There's the you're the one who's button. just fantasizing about sodomy. Oh, he's hiding again. He's fantasizing again. about sodomy, dude. Well, Putting your pee-pee and poo-poo. You're gonna, you're gonna mute? You're gonna mute or you're gonna answer, you little bitch? You're gonna answer? So here is the question, this is... Tristan. You said that a contradiction is entailed by God's non-existence, right? I asked you. Will you just concede there's no contradiction? You won't you let me. No, okay? You won't let me. You won't now, let me answer. You won't let me what? speak. You won't let me speak. Oh, I will absolutely let you answer. Okay, then shut what? up. So then shut up. Okay, and shut make, up and let me speak. Can I speak? Make sure you're saying what the contradiction. No, you, is. you only That's want me to say what the question, Tristan. The fact. The fact. The fact. You want me to say what you oh, want. More, more humor, Dodge. More humor, oh, Dodge. Right? Humor. Oh, oh. You, you humor. can't do a straight up call. humor for the coomer. Hey, hey, sodomite. Hey, you disgusting little coomer addled faggot. Hey, ask yourself, you disgusting little weasel. Here's my answer. Just keep. Here's my answer. Yeah, let's hear it. Here's my answer. You require, you require Mm -hmm. God for Mm -hmm. morality, logic. I heard this repeat yourself. You are trying to base your up. you're trying to base your argument on logic and I've morality. Heard all this, excuse I've heard me, and replied to all of. No, you haven't replied to anything. You, you haven't want to hear the reply? To I hear. Look, I heard what you said. I heard what you said. When okay. I ask what's the contradiction, you say God is necessary for truth. God's necessary for objective morality. Mm-hmm. God's necessary for logic. You can't yeah. have any of that without God, right? That's your answer, or am I getting absolutely? Wrong? Absolutely, you cannot have logic without God. You can't have morality without okay. God. You can't have okay. truth without God. So, do you want to hear the problem with that answer, Tristan? 
Oh. I'll repeat it for you since your little brain didn't manage to catch it the first time. What is you your argument? What is your possible? argument, dude? What is your argument? So the wait a second, it's not an argument. I'm not delivering premises and a conclusion right now. I and understand. I, what's you don't your know argument? The first thing about formal logic, that's fine, right? So no, no, no. Just don't what's, use what's words your like argument? argument when you don't know what they mean. You have you nothing but insults. Like All you've so got is insults. All you've oh, got no. is insults. Well, here's the if you want to hear the reply to what you just said. Go okay. Ahead. What's your now, argument? I asked. Just try to follow. I'm sure you can make it through. Just you won't, you won't give an argument. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, I, I will if you'll just let me talk. Okay. Well, it's to wait. There's questions before an argument. But <laughs> the question initially. Uh, the question yeah, initially yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. What's was, your question? What's, uh, Tristan, I'll walk you through the whole thing and we'll get right up to the okay, answer ahead, you just go gave. Ahead. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. I appreciate yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Now, the first, the first thing that I asked was, what's the trait? You said being made in God's image, right? I said, okay. So what's the argument that God exists? And then you say, he's, you said all this stuff about he's necessary for logic, necessary for this, necessary for that. I said, okay, Tristan, do you take the view that he's a necessary being? You said, yes. I say, okay, Tristan, what contradiction is entailed by his non-existence? Now, your reply to that, which you just <laughs> told me, I characterize- Listen to oh, this straw man. Dodge all, all, you, all you have is a giant straw man. Sorry, all what you did have I is say a giant there straw man. man. What, what did I say there that's not- Everything is a straw man that you just presented here. What, wait, sorry, what's the straw man? Can I ask you a question now, Isaac? No, 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 if you think I'm- I can't ask you any questions. What is no, this, no, no. your just, entire just argument that you just if you if you if you want to ask questions, Dude. you can admit that you can't deal with the critique. Then I, I'm happy to take right. your question. There it is. Yet again, another reboot. Well, telling vegans that they've been brainwashed another reboot. is actually just one <laughs> of the gaslighting techniques uh, I want to highlight. Michelle Lowe. All right. I mean, I don't know how many more hours we can go with this. This dude is legit. He's legit broken. You're legit broken, dude. And you have a disgusting mind. You have a disgusting little coomer brain. We'll let him, one more time, we'll say bye to Isaac here. Um, let's see, one more time to Isaac. We'll just say goodbye. Let's see, he'll reboot one more time. Reboot one more time. Here he goes, reboot, Shit. reboot. If you ever start talking on me since it happens. He's got me back again. Reboot, <laughs> reboot. All right, hey Isaac, hey Isaac, if you're, not gonna, if you're not gonna actually bring an argument, if you're gonna, not gonna let me actually oh, explain yeah, my position, I, if you're not gonna let me speak, if you're not gonna let me actually give you my answers oh, or on, ask you any answers. questions, if I can't ask you any questions, what's the point, dude? You can just, yeah, your name is, Isaac, whatever excuse, excuse you want. Your, your name is so apt, right? Ask yourself, you want because deal, all you do is talk you to yourself. You want to critique or you want to hide? Interesting. Right, I, critique or hide? Yeah, yeah. It, it's all hiding, right? It's all hiding. Yeah, you won't yeah, let me. You won't let me run the critique. Can, can I ask? Can I ask you any questions? You wanna? If you wanna admit that you can't reply to the critique, sure. But oh, if I, not, oh, I then can't, I'm gonna ask you. The, I can't ask you questions. And and when you ask a question, not unless you want to admit that you can't address the. Critique, can I ask you something? Tristan. Can I ask you something? Nope. Not unless you want to admit. Can that I ask you, you any questions it. at all? Nope. Not until you admit that you can't address it. Okay. Isaac's gone. <laughs> Isaac's gone for good. And that was the last reboot that we have for, for Isaac here. And his little brother, his little brother is still there, Matthew Edelstein. Wow. Wow. So there we go. There we go. For all you vegans out there. Oh, and I'm sure the vegans will say, oh, Isaac just destroyed him. That was amazing. Not the vegans, but the, the small vegan fan base that Isaac does have. Um... I, I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. It is, it is abundantly clear. Abundantly clear that Isaac uh, is fucking insane. How dare you? Insane. Luthien the Mortal. What pharmaceuticals are you on, AY? Right? What drugs are you on? Uh, Florio donates 299 says, thanks for the good content. I appreciate that. This was great content tonight. I hope, I hope Young Virus is ready to pull some funny clips. That was absolutely insane. This guy has no idea how debates work. When you ask a question in a debate, it is perfectly reasonable to respond to a question with another question. Okay, master debater Isaac, master Coomer debater Isaac. I am amazed, dude. I en enjoy your life, man. That's definitely the last time we're doing that. And for anybody wondering why, Isaac was not welcome on this channel for the last two years when he's been begging, obsessing over coming back on. 
That's it right there. There is absolutely no reason to debate this dishonest, disingenuous kid. Isaac, you're a child. You're a freaking child. I don't know how much Adderall you're on. <laughs> but it's clearly not enough. Um, Shining Diamond says, I'm bigger and stronger than AY. He, and he's hoping that Hench Herbivore pops up with the notification. Um, Guys, if you want to be the big man, the big daddy. So now everybody can see why Isaac is not welcome. Now everybody can see Isaac's disgusting mind on full display. Um, legendary. Vegan Phobic Chad donates four ninety nine. dollars says, I'm donating to show my wife the Greta pop-up. She's laughing at it. Let's find that Greta pop-up. I can just, I can pop the Greta one. There's two Greta pop-ups. Let's find it. Come to the alert box here. Damn, that was, it's almost one o'clock. I can't believe that just happened. Oh, so long. I mean, it was nice talking to Bar K. We had some good call-ins. Carnists will try Carnists. to friend you. They'll Oops. try to say, the vegan ideology, you've been brainwashed. Come over here. That's brainwashing. I got a pee so <laughs> that bad. That is the actual brainwashing. So don't do drugs, kids. And this, again, just like we've been talking about, this is what happens when you don't have a father in your household. This is what happens when your father is either an absent or a complete degenerate or when your father is, um, is raised by the toxic pop culture, by the toxic weaponized pop culture. That's what it results in. And this is why our culture is degrading. This is why... Our culture is falling apart. This is why the West... Well, again, I'm bigger and stronger than you, so I won't worry too much. This is why the West is in decline. So I, I cannot, I cannot believe how dishonest, disingenuous some of these people are. But I got to get for vegan phobic, for you vegan phobe. There's a couple Greta ones. Let's see. You got the stolen dreams. He wants the Greta notification. Let's find it. Just because I, cause I like vegan phobic. Because he's my buddy. Here you go. You have stolen my dreams and my childhood. You got that one. And then you also have the how dare you, of course. You also get the how dare you. Um, where is how dare you? There's how dare you. You get both of them. Just for you, vegan phobic. You vegan phobe. How dare you? Oh man, that that thing where you where you hump the air. I can't believe that. <laughs> I can't believe that. What a child. What a freaking child, man. Carissa says, "Oh, gee, my kids don't have a dad now. They're gonna be vegan too." No, no, no. Look, you you can still raise them without a dad, but you gotta be a dang good mom. You gotta be a dang good mom, and they do need positive male role models, and that's what happens when you don't have that, though. Luthien the Mortal says, I've had family members addicted to speed. I see it in Isaac. He's on pharmas, no doubt. The drugs were confirmed by scientists. Telling vegans that they've been brainwashed is actually just one of the gaslighting techniques I want to highlight. Oh, man, my bladder's about to burst, guys. I'm out of here. It's been the longest stream we've ever done. It's been fun. Thank you guys for the support for the, uh, the Super Chats, the Streamlabs. Um, I look forward to seeing some of the clips. I, Young Virus, Young Virus, where you at? Let's get some of that. Um, where, who else? Uh, um, Phoenix Compilations, let's see some of it. But anyways, guys, it's been fun. It's been hilarious. It's been kind of frustrating at times, but also just funny. It's just been really funny. I had no idea that was gonna happen tonight, but you know, it is what it is. Dude's been stalking us for like two years, and now you see, now you see. Now you see why he wasn't invited. Big shout out to Ask Yourself. Uh, this stream has been sponsored by Ritalin and Adderall. Uh, and uh, <laughs> Isaac.exe has crashed. I'm out of here, guys. See you next time.